So I was going to lead into that. How amazing are your kits oh, today? Love, and that love, piece love of jewellery, I saw it on Facebook. Which is this one? No, the oh, wire work one. Oh, 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 this one. Yes, this one. Oh, my goodness, she's going back to her room. I am. The opals are incredible. I know, there's quite... 12 o'clock, don't miss them. Yeah, Sorry. And, and you do get all of them. I know. Well, I've made amazing. so much jewellery and I had opals left over. I know. In abundance. In a positive abundance. parcel. I know. Yes, well, that's Crazy. happening at Big Day today. Yeah. So, um, keep your eyes peeled for Alison's Amazing Masterclass. Nine o'clock kits are lovely, too. I, I remember, because oh, I had the right. joy of launching these. You did. These. You did. And there he is. Has he got a name? Him? Well, he's yeah. a baby. He hasn't really got a name. Um, oh, how yeah. about Puff? Puff, the magic dragon. As in Puff, the magic dragon. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, that's quite sweet, Lives by it? the sea. Eh? Lives by the sea. Yeah. Do you remember that song? Puff. Puff, the magic dragon. the magic dragon. Sorry, I'm singing very Welsh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, is it a Welsh it, thing? I think it is. Is it a Welsh yeah, song? I is don't it? Know. I popped in to see my mum yesterday. I showed, uh, oh, I showed the. I, I, I showed saw you, that. Uh, that video. Um, and yeah, mum's, um, mum's in a care home now. And in I walk, and honestly, it's, it was like, it's like I'd walked into a male voice choir. Oh. Oh, it was beautiful. You had this wonderful singing sort of radiating from the rooms. In I go, and there's mum and, and, and um, all the other residents sort of sat down having a proper little sing song. It was oh, so heartwarming. Yeah. Really lovely. Singing songs you. like Puff the Magic, Magic Dragon. Dragon. Yeah, yeah, why not? Um, okay, <coughs> yes, this Wednesday is going to be very exciting. We've got some lovely kids. Yes, including, yes. What's this technique? So this is Selene Spiral, uh -huh. which I love. Um, which you can create from your nine o'clock kit. Which kits. you can create from your nine o'clock kit. And you've got those statement clasps as well. Oh, we've which got have the, dragon. Oh, the dragon clasps. How beautiful are they? I know. And you can interlink them. Can you? Uh, yeah, so you can yeah, yeah. One as so you well. can make three bracelets and then interlink oh, them. Oh, love you've got it. The three love it, love it. So they're at nine o'clock today. Your deal of the day, as you have already seen, we're going to be joined by the very lovely, oh. give her the hugest welcome, won't you, um, Ellis from our sister channel. Now, um, as you probably uh, have gathered from the um, promotion that we've actually been uh, sending out to you all, Ellis is, is an avid puzzler. Um, and came up with the idea of actually launching her own puzzle collections. They're Fabulous. absolutely beautiful. They've been sort of dotted around the office for, well, since yeah. their launch. Are they all hers? Yeah, they're all hers. Oh. And they all come with a little gemstone wow. piece. But because it's the first time ever being broadcast on Jewellery Maker, you are going to get a little added surprise as oh. well. So that's very exciting. So this is your deal of the day today. Um, you know, I wouldn't consider myself a puzzler. However, oh, I when, if I think back to when I was younger, I definitely was. And it's escapism, isn't it? I oh, suppose. yeah. It, you, it, it's very mindful because you can, you can lose hours. Yeah. I mean, we do them on the boat. It's the only oh, place we've got space enough to do them, yeah. to be fair. Yeah. I love doing them. Love them. Yeah. And I guess, I guess you know, if you're a jewellery maker, if you're a crafter, yeah. then yeah. you're going to enjoy something like this. It's a sense of achievement at the end oh, of it. Oh, gosh, yeah. And it is the sort of thing you can put to one side and do other things yeah. and come back to and not have to think, where did I leave off? It's very difficult. I find it very difficult to put it to one side. Yeah, I bet, to walk away from Oh, yeah, yeah. How beautiful. And of course, you can lovely. see the connection. You've got those lovely pearls and shells there as well. So that's happening at 10 o'clock today. Um, we've also got your early bird. We're going to start today's show, which, by the way, you can shop ahead and pre-order on, um, is this oh. beautiful Olmec Type A Jadeite Master Carving. It is back in stock by very popular demand. Um, there are only 50, oh. however, so you will need to be quite quick on this That's one. That's one of Mum's favourites. It's beautiful, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, she's always loved that she's one. It's got great taste. Um, and if you... Um, where, yeah, there we go. You can see on the recording, there is a little drill hole. So if you want to just turn those into beautiful yeah. earrings or a simple pendant, um, you absolutely could. Not everybody likes the big carvings. Not no. everybody wants the big statement no. master carvings. Some people would prefer um, the smaller pieces. They make lovely earrings. Oh, beautiful yeah. earrings. And <gasps> something we didn't get the chance to bring you the other day is the most beautiful topaz strand. Um, oh. I'm just going to give you a little sneaky peek. Oh, that, yes. Yes, we didn't get a chance to bring we it didn't. the other day. Um, it's actually coming up in the next hour after the kit. Um, we've got a little a little wow. showcase of three Have millimeters. We? Yes. Oh. Um, so some beautiful examples of faceted three mils. So these are coming up in the nine o'clock hour. Your kits are going to be bang on nine o'clock today. Yep. 
just so you know, we're not running over today as we sometimes do, but um, the kits are going to be bang on nine o'clock and we're going to go straight into the demonstration and then we'll be bringing your three millimeter um, selection thereafter. Um, so yes, make sure you tune for that because it's going to be an amazing deal for an amazing quality topaz. Um, you've got the most beautiful Akoya pearl strand in today's mm. show as well. We've got some of our coveted collections. You've got, can, I don't know if you can see this. Oh, well, perfect. Um, your bead sorting trays. Perfect with the nine o'clock. Amazing with the nine o'clock. Yeah. Thing. And we've got them in the two different colours as well. Um, it's a completely jam-packed show. Also, you have a showcase on um, your Arizonian ge gemstones. So, yeah, the warm, arid state that Arizona is produces some beautiful mm. examples. We have to say, of course, turquoise. Um, so, yes, that's coming up as well. Right then, but starting your Wednesday morning show, as we always do, showing off your talents, your creations, and also making you, some of you, jewellery maker mm. richer in the Wall of Fame. <laughs> I love how Adam does Yeah. That. Adam, it feels like ages since you've been here. He's been off. He's That's had a nice so rude. He's back. <laughs> you had a holiday, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah chilled. Yeah. Been on the allotment. Yeah. <laughs> Sorted your shed. Well done. <laughs> nice and got, got stung by a bee. Oh no. He did on his cheek. And then your 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 beautiful girlfriend Ruth, also stung by a bee on her lip. Ooh. Mm. I'm not sure which one I prefer, to be honest. You'd prefer that one, do you reckon? Yeah. I guess there's room for this one to grow, isn't there, on well, your Well, you've got a week through there, haven't you? You That's don't. True. Your cheek's kind of just there, isn't it? Yes, yeah, so just suck it up, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean that in the <laughs> What are you complaining now. about? Ruth had it far worse than you. Um, anyway, it's nice to have you back, Adam. We've missed you. Yeah. Right, starting us off this morning, number 215 is Barry. Good morning, yeah. Barry. What a lovely, bright and cheerful photograph it as is, well. It is, isn't it? Lovely jewellery, Barry. Uh, and Barry says, hi, all at Jewellery Maker. This week I've attached my Wall of Fame entry, which is a necklace um, and earring set. Um, everything was purchased from yourselves. The necklace is made from sodalite rounds and silver plated spacer, spacers, chain, clasp and wire. The earrings are used sodalite rounds, silver plated spacers, head pins and shepherd hooks. Take care everybody in kind regards. Barry, it's absolutely beautiful. Good luck Stunning, to you. Stunning, isn't it? Number 216 is from Denise. Good morning, Denise. Oh, oh wow. Oh, That's talking so off. Absolutely. Stunning, that is, Denise. Hi, all. This is my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. Um, a friend who's having health issues and will be sitting in hospital um, in, in a hospital waiting room. I thought this smiling Buddha had a lovely tummy to rub to keep her calm Aww. while she is waiting. Good luck to all, Denise. Oh, we'll send yeah. your, your friend lots and lots of well wishes. And yes, absolutely. what a lovely, thoughtful piece. Mm, absolutely. How amazing that we can do this. Yes. So very kind. Uh, 217 is from Caroline. Good morning, Aww. Caroline. Oh, well, I like that. Beautiful. Um, okay. Hello, everybody. This is my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's one of Mark's designs and is made from uh, hill beads, yep. uh, Mayuki and Czech seed beads. Best wishes. Nice. Absolutely nice. beautiful. Um, we have number 218 from Jane. Oh, oh look at that. Um, this week I had a go at making something with all the sea beads that I've got from <laughs> It's Turned out lovely. Totally yeah. agree, Jane. Number 219 is from Julia. Hello to you, Julia. Oh, okay. Oh, lovely. It makes today. I don't remember um, that one. How lovely is that? I love the bale. Yeah. Um, hello, everyone. Here's my latest uh, make for this week's Wall of Fame. Love the quality of Jewelry Maker's Amethyst. Yeah. Um, I've created this necklace using 8mm amethyst rounds and amethyst cabochon embellished with a lovely tree of life. I hope everyone had a lovely Easter um, with love and hugs and hugs to you. As yeah, well, nice As done. always, beautiful jewellery. Last one for me, number 220 is from Katura. Good morning, Katura. Um, amazing. Uh, hello, all at Jewelry Maker. This is my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's a simple stretchy bracelet with black tumble tourmaline gemstones and sterling silver spacer beads all from jewelry maker good Lovely. luck to all the wonder entries love that that's good beautiful luck yeah over to you over to me i've got 221 that's susan james and she says oh lovely um she says good morning to all at jm and the waffers uh, i love kumahimo because it's so relaxing and here's my latest entry with some bracelets uh, wish all the waffles good luck have a lovely day and many thanks for the great bargains and beautiful gemstones they look fabulous don't they amazing i love kumahimo as well 
Um, I tell you what, the, the, the clasps we've got coming up in the 9am will be great with Kumahimo. Perfect. Sorry. 222, Trevor Edgar. Uh, morning to all at JM. My entry this week uh, is a trizantine bracelet made with gold-plated 5 mil ID um, jump rings and boat clasp. All components from JM. Good luck to all in the draw. Love That's that, Trevor. Lovely. That's beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Um, 223. Uh, Heather Marlow. Good morning, everyone. Here is my entry. It's a ruby and sterling silver Buddha, um, all from yourself. Oh, it's ruby and sterling silver bud Buddha. Sorry, all from yourselves. Um, it is on one of my Herkimers. Yeah. Oh wow. my gosh. That's a big. Good look to all. Wow, that that is amazing. amazing. Beautiful. Um, number two two four is Angela Smith. It says hi, everyone. Uh, oh, nice. You guys oh, are doing really good on your photography. Um, this week's entry to the WAF is a necklace and bracelet set using aquamarine and delicate seed beads um, with gold-plated clasps. All components from JM. Love to all. Love that. That looks so pretty, doesn't it? Very delicate. Very talented. That's lovely. Very, very talented. And right it's then. Wednesday. And it's Wednesday. Right, go on. You do the winner. Oh, I'll do the runner-up. Oh. Pass it over. If you've oh. got the space, that is. Sorry. There we go. Give it a good old spin, Alison. Hang on, I'll pull it forward. I don't want to knock that. There. there you go. Yes. Our winner for this week. Oh, oh let's have a little look. <laughs> Opens the wrong There side. you are. Winner this week receiving a hundred pound credited to their jewelry maker account is one nine four. Kim Hopkins! Kim Hopkins. Wow. Well done, lovely. You're very lucky on the Wall of Fame, aren't you? £100 being credited wow. to the Wall of Fame. To get your Love entry it. Thing. You need to play the lottery as well now. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Um, OK, giving it another whiz. Just let me see if I can be equally oh, as I lucky see. for you all. You control it. <laughs> I just let it spin. <coughs> Sorry. The runner-up. Oh, two, two, two. I've read it out today. Sorry. Hang on. The that is Trevor Edgar. Trevor! Trevor. You're our runner-up this week. Amazing. Wow. So you're £50 fabulous. credited to your Joy Maker account. Oh, oh, oh. Woohoo! Well done. <laughs> Sorry, I do that because I do it. Tiggy does that all the time. Two, two, two. Mummy, I did a yeah. win on the party. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 Trevor, oh. Trevor, <gasps> Trevor Chainmail. Amazing. Well done, everybody. Well done. Passing that to Gorgeous Dan. Good morning, Gorgeous Dan. How are you doing? Good, there you are. There's our winner and runner-up as well. There we are, lovely. Right then. <laughs> I like um, the little bow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> all the wobble use at jewelrymaker.com. Check out our website because all items that we're going to put in, uh, we're squeezing in today's hour, in this hour rather, today's hour, uh, this hour, um, is locked and loaded. Some will be at their price, some will be going even lower. But remember, we are very strictly leaving at nine o'clock today to go immediately into the kits and the demonstration. Yeah. Um, okay, so. <sighs> Don't forget, sorry, almost almost sneeze then. You know when you get, it comes across like a... <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Anyway, and you can shop ahead on your early bird as well, that beautiful Olmec. Mm. What was that, Roscoe? Um, no. Sorry. Uh, no. Okay, yeah, we're going we're gonna to bring you some crimp beads in a few moments, but wow. I'll tell you what, while we're waiting, have a little look at your early bird. This is Stunning. back by popular demand. One of the few Olmec blue Guatemalan jadeite carvings that we have. We don't mm. have that many. Um, this one's been incredibly popular, I guess. But, well, known is it beautifully carved, but also because of the size. Yeah. Um, so you can shop ahead on that one. I'm just going to scooch those yeah, over yeah. for a little second. Pass the dragons over. Um, Okie dokie. Right. Should we get cracking with some of your essentials? Some of your lovely crimps. You need crimps, don't you? you do. No. Now, they are set at that price point. We've got a big old quantity. Um, again, have a look on the website and you can shop ahead. These are item number five. There we go. Thanks, thanks Dan. <laughs> item number five. So if you want to snap these up, we have got quantity. Have I got the, have I got the wrong ones? Are we yeah. doing crimp beads covers? Sorry, are we? Sorry. And then we're doing the crimps. <laughs> That's all right. That's right. Alison went, the other one. <laughs> you can shop ahead for both. So um, £2.99 or £1.99. So you need your crimp and then you need your crimpy cover, don't you? Yep. But also, if you're knotting a, any, any knotting, so elastic or anything, you can pop a crimp bead cover over the knot. Uh-huh. And it, it just looks like a bead. If something's a bit loose, you that can pop a bead all in. The time. All you, the time. You, you can pop, pop a crimp bead in because <laughs> you don't need to thread <laughs> it on. It covers up lots of mistakes, doesn't it? It covers up loads of mistakes. Yeah, yeah, so, for absolutely. example, if you've got a baggy knot, 
Yeah. You know, nothing worse than a baggy knot. No, exactly. Hide that baggy knot with yeah. different B covers. Um, hello, Kim, lovely. Hi, L, Alison, and team. OMG, oh. can't believe I've won again. Thank you for picking my number out. Um, oh. I have, you've made my day. Stay safe, everybody. You're so oh, well lucky, done. Kim. But if you don't enter it, exactly. We can't pull you out. Exactly. You've got to enter it. Exactly. Um, and it is luck of the draw, hence why it we is. do it on here. Yeah. You must just you must just have real good magnetic luck. number. Play the lottery today, Kim. Yes. I think you need <laughs> get to. a ticket. Um, you can shop ahead as well on your crimps. So these are the covers. You can get the crimps as well. But they do Brilliant. so much more than just cover a crimp. Yeah, don't yeah, they? absolutely. As you I, just say. Yeah, I'll use them as beads. Yeah. You can actually you can actually depending on what threading material you're using, you can actually s s slip the crimp and use the crimps as beads. Yeah. And use the covers just to cover your knot or whatever. There you go, perfect. So multifunctional. Yeah. They're at that price point, so £2.99. We have That's got a brilliant. big quantity. That's because they are absolutely one of yeah. your essentials. Um, if you are new to jewellery making, you'll need these. You will yeah. need these. I use a lot of crimp bead covers because it hides imperfections. Well, it hides the ugly bits of a necklace, yes. which are generally the bits where, where you're fastening yeah, know. or tying, aren't yeah, they? Or absolutely. Tying together. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and yeah, the idea is, just to explain, um, you kind of very gently squeeze them round so that you sort of close um, the mouth of the Pac-Man, yeah. if yeah. that makes sense. Absolutely. So, And it becomes a perfect spherical bead. You only yeah. need to do it gently. Uh, £2.99 only. Hello to Selena, Karen, Geraldine, Lynn, Dawn, Barbara, Lynn, Pearl, Deborah, Helen, Nancy, Maker, Diane, Elaine, Annette, Jane, uh, Anne. Good morning, everybody. Gloria, Patricia, nice to see see you all i hope you're well yeah mertha tidville's in mertha tidville hello yeah i was going to say mertha tidville uh, hiya trevor thank you uh, well for the 50 pounds and alison for uh from your birthday 25 pound oh, draw oh yes trevor won trevor won 25 pounds you need birthday. to play the lottery Absolutely. as well goodness me how lucky yeah how amazing play, put, That's for, you brilliant. Know, it's worth a couple of quid trevor isn't it but yeah on the, on the, you never know you might win the euro millions or something like that <laughs> Um, okay, let's do the crimps now, which are, they, yes, the idea is that you squash a crimp bead, but they are a bead at the end exactly. of the day as well. Exactly. I always say that because yeah. whether they're the tubes or the rounder ones, they mm. both work, that you, you squash them the same or use them with your crimp um, pliers the same. Yeah. Um, but look, they're just beautiful little beads. Yes, yeah, little spacers. They could be spacer beads. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and you're getting a hundred of them as well. One pound and ninety nine pence only. Oh, for only. goodness sake! I w again would say definite essential. Yeah, you need spacer beads. Um, are you definitely crimp beads as well? I need. I need some other stock up then. Yeah, you definitely. Stock up. We had, good job. We've got a big quantity, and they are beautiful gold plated. So you've got that lovely mm. uh, sort of buttery yellow. Um, again, loads of you getting involved. I know we've needed them, haven't we? And you yes. use it. You use a crimp with all different threading material, don't yeah, you? Yeah. It's not just your tiger tail. No, no, not just your tiger tail. You can crimp. Um, I think it was Mark I saw do it first. Crimp. You know, fine chain. So if you get the fine chain yes. chains on a reel, you can create a loop and then crimp it. Yeah. Perfect. So you Absolutely. Can you can do, you can, if you're going to crimp your beading thread, I would knot it first and then crimp over the knot, but be careful. Okay. Um, but I'm more inclined to save the bead, use the bead on the beading thread yeah. and tie your knot and put the, the, the bead cover over it. Yeah. And, and have double double the money. Double, the, there we go. There we go. Right, keep dialing through everybody because we have got quantity of those. Um, do I have? Oh. No. No. Yes. Yes, I have. Just hiding behind a strand of appetite. Oh, Sorry, gorgeous. Dan. Stand down. Um, <laughs> now, do you remember that zircon strand? Yeah. This was that strand's. It was. It, it was. It was the canary colour. Wow. Um, that we played after it launched. Not that long ago, it absolutely flew out the door. Now, we had 500 of the pure white zircon. Just That's to highlight beautiful. the rarity of this colour, we had 50 of this one. Yeah. Um, and I know we haven't got a vast quantity of them left within the vault. So zircon, which is a genuine gemstone, not to be confused with zirconia. Um, um, zircon, like your diamonds, comes in, comes in a multitude of colours. They are referred oh, wow. to as sort of your fancy shades. Um, this is canary, which obviously brings you those beautiful sort of champagne lemon colours and even some of the warm reds, which are incredibly rare. Um, so £69.99. This is an, a, a genuine gemstone. Um, celebrate 
rated for having double the refraction of, uh, of a diamond. So if you're thinking, goodness me, gosh, there's so much more fire. That's the spectrum of color that you can see on your screens right now. Um, that's what fire is. That's because zircon is doubly refractive. So that means light enters in, it splits, and you get that fire twice over. Wow. Um, so here's a great picture. I think this was taken off, um, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I think this was taken off the GIA. Um, yeah, um, just because they're print, it's quite familiar. But colourless zircon is well known for its brilliance and flashes of multicoloured light called fire. Um, these two zircon properties are close enough to the properties of a diamond to account for centuries of confusion between the two gemstones. Zircon occurs in an array of colours. Its wide and varied palette of yellow, green, red, reddish brown and blues make it a favourite amongst collectors as uh, well as informed consumers. And you can see in that photograph, you can see the lovely sort of champagne colors the ready colors it's stunningly beautiful it's absolutely a favorite for us here not just at jewelry maker but across the uh, entire partnership and that's because it works as a i don't want to say an alternative to a diamond because that almost sounds like it's a substitute it's no. uh, yeah it's not this is actually rarer than diamonds um, and actually gives much more dispersion as we've just discussed um, so here it is this is this is how disturb uh, dispersion works in a diamond so white light enters in obviously your facets the angles of your facets um, are intended to create fire so you can see it bounces around gives you that spectrum of color but when it comes to zircon you don't just get this once you get it twice so wow. the white light enters in and it splits immediately so you get twice the dispersion so it all accounts basically to a gemstone that looks absolutely incredible um, performs endlessly mm. now i've got 22 of these available and yeah, we, it's too beautiful to be sat within our warehouse. That's about half the stock that we originally had on the launch. So, are you going to do a clearance deal? <gasps> Brand new, low, never been seen before price tag, says Ross. Okay. In 60 seconds. Oh, that's, that, what did we launch it at, Ross? We wow. have brought this to air at forty nine ninety nine, but we closed it on the moment we were talking about alongside that zircon, the colourless one. We closed it at twenty nine ninety nine. Wow! It has closed at twenty four ninety nine. Today, all of those price points are out the window. Today oh is it, 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 look. Let's clear it. Let's clear it out the vault. It needs to be in your own personal collections. It needs to be creating some beautiful jewellery. Um, I'm guessing, you know, again, lots of your uh, techniques that we saw on the Wall of Fame, actually. There'd be some lovely techniques that, um, that this would work with. Never mind 69.99. But we need to see you there, though. If we're going to take it to that clearance price point, we need to make sure that we are clearing it. Remember, you've only got 36 minutes on this hour, and we are being quite stringent on timing today. Um, because we have got quite a lot um, to bring. You've got beautiful kits, beautiful demonstrations, of course, your deal of the day. We've got showcases to bring you. So we are going to try and be disciplined and stick to our own mm. timings. Um, under £20, a brand new low. When we launched that Zircon, the colourless that strand, this was the, you know, the, the subsequent launch. This is actually rarer in its colour. Coloured Zircons like your yellows, your champagnes, your reds and your blues are actually rarer than the colourless, colourless variety. So do snap it up. Well done Dawn in Warwickshire. Hello to you Selena in East Sussex. Um, hello to you Essex. Nice to see you as well. London getting involved. Congratulations. It is from the premium location of Source. Okay, look, we're, if, 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 we, if we're setting it out to be a clearance deal, that's what we've got to do. For whatever reason... No. It's not sold out yet. It should have done. Do you know what we're making today, Alison, with this strand? Friends. Yeah, exactly. Friends. Nothing else. Not, it's not about profits. We are making um, friends. Friends are important. Stunning strand, though. It is a beautiful strand. And you probably only need a couple. Yeah. I mean, if you're not confident with things like knotting, you could use this as an alternative. Yep. It would be, say, your yep. jadeite or maybe some of your acoya pearls that are coming up oh, a little yeah. bit later on. That would be lovely. Okay, purely because. Look, look. Okay. We are making purely friends on this opportunity. We're going even lower. 
Oh my God. Everybody pays that final low price point. Well done. So if you were <coughs> one of the many that have already checked out at 19.99, don't you worry. We, you'll benefit from this price drop as well. There were 22, I think Ross said at the beginning. Yeah, 22 remaining within the vault. It is a beautiful strand. And and thing is, what you're seeing on the back of my hand is not as remarkable as what you see in person. Um, you've got to remember it's going to translate through the TV screens. This is yeah. That I mean that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that fire. I'm seeing that scintillation, I'm seeing that lustre, I'm seeing that beautiful natural colour. And that is a giveaway deal. Fourteen wow. pounds and ninety-nine pence that's only. Crazy. That's yeah. crazy. It is. These it, are so good. So good as accents, so good as shoulders on, on a ring. Lovely. They like you say, as as spacers, but as a just a, a stacker bracelet. Yeah, beautiful. So beautiful. Simple tennis style bracelet. Use them with your loom. Yeah. Amazing. And don't forget we've got a three millimeter um showcase coming up mm. a little bit later on. So this you could absolutely in fact, shall I just shall I just give you a little sneaky peek? Oh, wow. You know, you can put them all alongside one another. I think they'd look absolutely oh, yeah. beautiful. Incredible. You know, if you maybe use tennis bracelets as your diamond tennis bracelets as your inspiration. But look at that. Coming up in about an hour's time, so not too long to wait for those. There's that lovely, um, amazing topaz. And you can see you've got some beautiful tourmaline in there as well. Susanna, well done. Denise, well done. Cheshire, well done. Janet, well done. Congratulations, everybody. Make sure you do check out those baskets to guarantee your success. Um, I'm going to move on to the most unbelievable strand. I'm amazed. I'm amazed this didn't sell out. Um, that being said, there is only 10 left. Um, yeah, and, and wow. I think when we launched this to air, we actually said it was probably one of the best strands of turquoise we'd ever seen, not just because of the quality of the colour, but also because how um, minimal the matrix is and how beautifully faceted each and every single one of those hearts they are. are. It's got to be one of the best so strands. Sweet. And we, we, if you remember, I, I didn't, I went to one of my PowerPoints, but it wasn't necessarily just referencing the jewellery. It was referencing the backdrop. I mean, look, look at the colour of the, um, of, of our, um, of our PowerPoint, and you can see it's that azure blue. Look at this photograph, which I just love. And this is our, the Arizona desert. Um, if you look up at the sky, that's what turquoise wants to look like. Those beautiful, yeah. they refer to it as a robin egg blue, azure blue. This strand is exceptional. And I think you only probably need one or two, much like, you know, your Tiffany's and Co and your Piaget's, you know, they use one simple stone, shop art. Here we go, um, 2,570 pound for that. Very simple, very elegant beautiful necklace but two and a half grand wow two and a half grand 49.99 for over 20 perfectly halved uh sorry halved carved Carved. turquoise hearts now we launched this strand at 49 pounds and 99 pence and then on saturday we took it to a brand new low should we match that brand new low for the last 10 Oh, gosh, yeah. If you weren't with me on Saturday, you've got half an hour to take advantage of this opportunity or until stocks last, which is all, uh, which is the reality. Even, I mean, these are very affordable turquoise earrings, you know, in, in terms of, you know, what the gemstone part yeah. normally commands. Yeah. £129, and that's using two. We're yeah. at 34 99 for the wow. entire strand. Just amazing deals. Now, if you all check out, we're getting very, very, very limited on their quantity. Um, we've matched that lowest price point um, that we brought to air on Saturday morning. So, yeah, snap them up. I mean, you could just have one, couldn't you, on a simple little delicate shepherd hook. Yeah. You could have yeah. one on a, a sterling silver chain. Yeah. Um, and your sort have of one in a ring. Lovely. Absolutely beautiful. And you're rubbing shoulders with the luxury jewelry yeah. brands, aren't you? With your yeah, Tiffies absolutely. and Co and your Shopards and your Piaget's. And you look at the colour, the colour's identical. Yeah. You've got, you know, because it's an opaque gemstone as well, what you get is, is what you see. Yeah. And, it, and, it, and it's exactly the same. Yeah. And this is genuine turquoise. You need Beautiful. to be mindful of turquoise. Um, um, I, I'm not saying, I'm not tarnishing everyone with the same brush, but there is a lot of imitation turquoise yeah. out there, whereas our is, is, is absolutely uh, um, laboratory tested and uh, certified. Make sure you check out those baskets. Hello to you, Valentina and Yorkshire. Congratulations, Channel wow. Hours London. You're there as well. Uh, yes. Oh, who launched this? Carol and Dave. Oh, wow. Oh, it's beautiful. 50 of these were available. Oh, look at that. I would just attach a, uh, a clasp. Yeah. 
I'd wear it as a long line Elsa Peretti inspired necklace. Now this is floating flower jade. So what that means oh, wow. is, well, if you can imagine, it almost visually looks like you have these little, beautiful little flowers um, that sort of, well, float basically within the Taipei jadeite. Um, it is completely and utterly natural. It's one of the rarer varieties <coughs> of jadeite because obviously you have the have to have sort of small areas um, of that condensed colour. Now again, taking inspiration from one of the leading designers, I think, of our uh, generation, Elsa Peretti. Um, you know instead of the diamonds we've substituted it for a gemstone which is significantly rarer and that's type a jadeite floating flower jade um how beautiful is this i mean i know that i don't know what we took what, what dave and Kara launched this at it's the first time i've actually seen it right now um there's only seven so it does tell me that there's gonna that it was a great deal and also it's dave you know 50 of these were ever connect uh, were ever created so yeah that gives you an indication of um of you know of the quality and the rarity that you're getting um out of curiosity roscoe what are you taking this to <gasps> wow yeah, I mean, you wouldn't get the jade for that, would you? No. If that was on a strand for floating flower jade, yeah, yeah. Um, which is more expensive, you, you'd be hard pushed to get hold of a strand yeah. of jade for the price that Ross is going to take it to. And consider you've got to add the sterling silver chain. 24 there are individual, wow. by the way. Totally natural. And you've got to factor in your time. Now, there's only seven available, so you're going to need to... It's going to be a race to the finish line. First one of these is already gone. Congratulations to you. It's All you need to do stunning. is attach a clasp. <coughs> it mm. is solid sterling silver. And because you've got those open links as well, you can yeah. just wrap loop it on. You don't have to be a silversmith, do no, you? No, no. You can wrap loop onto it. If you wanted to, you've got... How, how does it tell you how many flowers you've got? Uh, did how many beads was there, Ross? 24. So you've got 12 pairs of earrings. Oh, you could break if you it wanted, down. yeah, if you wanted to break it down, you could, and you'd have those drops, and they'd look Beautiful. stunning. I like, you know, it just, I'm very, I'm a very basic jewelry maker, but if you just attach a class, it can be like yeah. an over the head, yeah. wrap it around a couple of times as well. Now, there's five of them left. Even at £499, I think that's an amazing deal. Yeah. For floating flower jadeite, like I said, uh, and I'm sure Dave will have explained this as well, when it was launched with Carol, that is a rarer variety, and it does mean that you pay um, a higher price point for floating flower. Now, we are better than halving that price point. The final seven, well, actually four now, um, that we have within the vault are so beautiful. I mean, this it's is ultimate luxury. Me. Ultimate luxury. And I... And it, uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Ross is saying this is a variety of jade art that we very rarely see. I was just going to say that because I love the way it's it's got that almost leaf hugging yeah. effect, hasn't it? You've got you've got those those moments in it. I think it's stunning. Beautiful. Look at that, isn't it gorgeous? Now there's four left within the vault. Oh. Everybody is going to pay that final low. Nobody oh. is paying 199 pounds. Although that's already amazing. I, I misheard that because I thought that's what you said you were going to. Mm, no. Oh. No. Be quick, though. <gasps> oh, Be quick. Because at £99.99, and pence, they are not going to hang around, especially as we only had a limited quantity of them. So if you won the Wall of Fame, that's free. Ah! Yes. Wow. Wow. Yeah. If you've got the Wall of Fame, you've got yeah. a, just a free floating flower jade. Oh my gosh, could you imagine Necklace, that? whatever it might be. But look how elegant that is. That's beautiful. So beautiful. I mean, you could you could just just connect them. You don't even have to to add a clasp on it because you could just have an over the head. Yeah. Oh, wear it like blind a scarf. Necklace. That's a nice idea. Yeah. Lovely idea. Look how <coughs> elegant that is. Very 90, It's got nineteen twenties vibe about it. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful, and of course floating flowers. As uh, as Ross actually said, yeah, um, we don't see it very often. Let me just show you close up, and they'll all be obviously very uh, different. Different individual. So can they? you see? It's gorgeous. Oh, that one's lovely. You have these amazing little zones. They're almost like climbers. Yeah, little of intensified. Climbers, yeah. There's a really su subtle one there. Can you see? Aww. Isn't that beautiful? Um, really intensified. There it is. Where you've got wow. these little flowers. Yeah. And little areas of it. imperial jade. It is a rare variety. Oh, this one's beautiful. A rare variety wow. of jade. Look at that. Well, you, you have to have translucency, otherwise you can't see the floating mm. flower. 
Look how beautiful these are. They were only seven, though. Well done to Can everyone I... that's got hold of it. Can I... Now, three left. If you see your name on this side of the screen, so Lynn, Julie, Anne, Sharon, Denise, you've just done it, well done, and Leah, I've only got, how many? Two left. Oh my God. Two of them left, so if you see your name, and that's not stopping you darling through, if you're thinking, okay, if you're thinking, oh, I'm not gonna be able to, Eileen in Cork, you've just added it to your basket. Don't let that put you off darling through. It'll be allocated on a first mm -hmm. come, first serve basis, and it can be done extra fast, extra, extra fast. So beautiful. Denise, Gabrielle, well done. I'm just gonna double it over, so that's then effectively, yeah. what, 50 centimeters. So that's still two 20 inch chains. Yes, yeah. yeah. Necklaces. I mean, how amazing. It doesn't have to be one long line, very decadent, no. isn't it? But look, if I show you. But that's almost buy one, get one free. Oh, yes. Lovely. It'd be a beautiful. Yeah, two one, for you, one for a, a friend or. Oh, how amazing sell one. is that? Oh, or you do one 20 inch and then you do a matching oh, bracelet nice. and earrings. So you've yeah. got a full oh, suite of yeah. jewellery for £99. Wow. Like I said, we don't, to get floating flower jadeite um, at £99 is a rarity. There's one of them left. Who's going to get it? Who's going to get that last one? I'll leave it with you because we are super over allocated and amazing. Um, is it this one? <gasps> I can't. Yeah, oh, this I deal is this. unbelievable. So now. Up until last Tuesday, where Ross and I brought this to air, it closed at this price. So £149, high luster, which is really of the yeah. five virtues the most important. Um, um, and we were told by um, our bosses, basically, clear them out, clear them out. It's, as you can imagine, it comes in the box, <laughs> um, which probably is a bit big, let's be honest. Probably is a bit big. But that doesn't matter when you finish your jewellery. You need a bigger box, don't you? But for us, it's probably a bit big. Um, so they're taking up quite a lot of location within the vault. Okay? So they said, look, clear it out. You've got high luster, metallic, the rarity of metallic, totally and utterly natural fireball pearl, which I love. Half drill just here, so you can see that. All you need to do is little bit of glue on the end of your amethyst set sterling silver oh bale secure it into the half drill at the top leave it overnight and you've just made yourself ultimate le luxury wow. jewelry it's been brought to air in the past sold very successfully at 149 pounds we have the final remaining so when management told us to look clear it out i don't think they were expecting us to go as low as we did i i, I thought i remembered that ross because we didn't take the 49 off, like most people. We took the 100 pounds off that price tag. Oh my goodness. I know, I know, Adam. Adam's shaking his head in disbelief. I know, we did that. Honestly, you go away for one week and then, uh, you know. There's only three available. Oh, I might have to get these if they, if they, if they uh, don't sell You need both. Out. You get the bale, you get the box, and wow. you get, most importantly, the beautiful fireball pearl. Um, Devon wants to snap up two out of the three. Make sure you do check out then, Devon. Ooh, you have this lovely rings. sash. Oh, how beautiful. Lovely sash of beautiful purple. Mm. Um, launched at 149. There is, look, again, no profit in this whatsoever. Um, it is all down to, basically, that, 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 that is a functional auction, if, the, mm. if, you may, if you know what I mean. We need the location within the vault. Um, okay, also, biggest oh, we've I ever seen. These. You know on the Wall of Fame we saw yeah, that yeah. amazing? Huge. In strands, they tend to be much smaller, don't they? they t you know, the Herkimer that we've brought in the past has been much, much smaller. Um, so both, I think it was Mark and I that were talking about this, saying they have to be the biggest Herkimer course mm. that we've seen on a strand. I would agree with you. Um, and you get, yeah, it was Mark, because I was talking about salt and pepper diamonds. He yeah. was like, oh, I like that terminology, where you kind of have the, um, the beautiful monochrome. Um, and we looked at jewellers around, and we saw, found a, um, a Herkimer diamond ring. Herkimer quartz, Herkimer diamond, they refer to it in both ways. Um, look, one single stone, not a particularly great quality um, because you want to see the double termination when it comes to Herkimer. That's what it's celebrated for. Yeah. Um, £34.80. Uh, how about those? Could you make those? Uh, yes. Yeah, very easy to make, aren't they? Yeah. Um, and they're very it's small the little chips, aren't mm. they? Pretty, though, don't get me wrong. £65. Wow. 
Yeah, they be they, they are tiny. They're tiny, tiny, tiny little Herkimers. Um, a, a millionaire question or millionaire's <laughs> indulgence for Herkimer Diamond Quartz for only sixty pounds, um, and that's using five, isn't it? Basically. Yeah, but again, you've you've obscured the double. Termination. You can't see the double termination. I do love this though. Yeah. Uh, Netta Porter, wow. beautiful diamond bracelet, three hundred and eighty pounds though, yeah. and they are smaller. All right, they don't have so many of the inclusions within. Some people will actually prefer the uh, the monochrome. Yeah. I like it. I like I the monochrome. Um, three hundred and eighty pounds for that. It's lovely, but again, I know it's something you could create. Now, when we launched this, we had quantity. The biggest. Or what? It's got to be one of, if not the, it's the biggest I've ever seen. Yeah, I think so, and that's definitely what Mark was saying as well. Mm. Thirty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Herkimer Quartz is 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 Mother Nature faceted. There's not a single facet which has been implicated by man here. It's all all Mother Nature. Double termination, so you get you know how quartz crystals almost form at, an, at, at a point. Um, you get that on both ends of this gemstone. So it's yeah, like I said, faceted by Mother Nature herself. We are no way near the launch price. This was an early bird. We got the last remaining few. How many is a few? Oh, Ooh. yeah, very limited. We're going to match that early bird price tag though. Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence only. These, oh it's the goodness. size of these, obviously. Absolutely, and you can really see because of the size. You know when you see the surface of those facets. Yeah. You can tell it's nature. Yeah. Because it's not perfect. A perfect. No. It's almost got that icy yeah. surface yeah, it to has. it. I love it. It's just it's, it's so just natural. a really cool stone. Yeah. Um, and we've shown before a photograph of Adele. She was wearing Herkimer, um, Herkimer Quartz when she, in her interview with um, Oprah Winfrey. Oh, right. Um, and let's be honest, Adele could probably afford any gemstone yeah. that she wanted. Um, I love that she chose Herkimer Quartz. Um, often referred to as Herkimer Diamonds, as you saw yeah. um, in, in those articles. But there she is, um, crisp white suit, looking beautiful. She's having a right giggle, yeah. isn't she, with Oprah there? Um, yeah, and those statement earrings is a Herkimer Quartz. Um, oh, it might be gemstones on a suit, I don't know. Don't know. Seams, yeah. She's got the budget, hasn't she? She has got the Let's budget. Let's be honest, to just say, yeah, put some Herkimer Quartz down my suit as well. <laughs> that would be very lovely. Wow. £19.99, pence, the largest that we've brought to air for um, possibly ever. Who knows? Well done. Remember, though, you've got, what, 46 minutes left on the hour, so make sure you make those confirmations. Sorry, 16. Um, not 46, 16. Um, oh, God. Oh. Oh, this is beautiful. I've only just clocked it. I've got two strands Gorgeous. of malachite. They're, they're both very limited. Nine of these available. Mm. Oh, all you need to do is restrand that, don't you? Yeah, think? absolutely. That's um, stunning. Oh, look at this quality. I'd make it a stretchy. Uh, yeah, because I'd want to see, see that it. strand. Exactly. This is top quality malachite. Yeah. Top, top, top quality, because quality, this is what we refer to as the peacock's eye. So can you see here? Um, well, you have these well, almost just perfect the circles. Yeah, can you see this one here as well? Yeah. There. Beautiful peacock side. There are only nine, though, so you're going to need to be quick on this one. Malachite, in terms of its popularity, is huge at the yes. moment. Um, it's absolutely everywhere. It's definitely sort of front and centre of the stage um, with big designers um, all choosing Malachite. I totally get it. I've had the obsession with this gemstone for a very, very long time. £29.99. pence. Remember, sort of, it. it what, what does it say, the article? Paradise in Shades of mm. Green. Yeah, because you have these lovely uh, different bands and separations. I'm going to leave it with you because there is only a limited quantity. Um, do stay where you are. I've got another beautiful oh. strand of malachite. This one is four to five millimetres in its size. Stunning, absolutely stunning quality. Um, yeah, and, and, and here's a gemstone, like I said, Chopin, Piaget, Van Cleef and Arpels, Lola Rose. Uh, Rolex, did I say Rolex? Yes. Rolex yeah, have, the, have the, done the watches. They've done the dial, haven't they? Yeah. Um, there's Lola Rose. I love that watch. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And not overly expensive either. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, uh, you'd, Dolce & Gabbana, shoes, not actual, yeah, Malachite, yeah. but the inspiration. Um, they've watch. done it in a watch yeah. there, so you can see, really beautiful. Uh, also Dolce & Gabbana. 
Also Dolce & Gabbana. Ooh. Oh, now. There it is in its natural formation. Absolutely Amazing. beautiful. Van Cleef and Arpels, of course, um, using it. It's inspiration oh. to, I know, I want to have a bath right there. Yeah. Um, in soft furnishings as well, you can see it in this beautiful. How beautiful is this? I love the chandelier, I, I, just the simplicity yeah. of the mood of that. Um, also, can you see in the lampshades? Um, wow. Steeped in history, of course. Um, you have malachite pillars there, solid malachite pillars. Yeah, but so many different brands and designers are using malachite. This is from the pinnacle location of source from the Congo. We're going to do this in two price crashes. Have we got quantity then, Ross? Have we? Ooh. I do ask for my own personal benefit. <laughs> Because they're four to five millimetres and you don't see malachite in four to five no, millimetres no. very often. It, you know, um, this sounds blasé, but normally it's in larger sizes. Mm. So we don't see the smaller sizes. I love this. So malachite is highly distinctive with its variegated uh, banding and rich emerald green colour. That colour comes from the copper deposits where malachite is often found. In fact, malachite itself is used as a source of copper via process of smelting, not that we do that today. Often malachite is found with azurite, a brilliant blue gemstone that also forms in copper rich areas. Concentrically banded malachite, known as peacock's eye, is especially sought after as it is rarer than the linearly banded a gemstone. Malachite is rather soft and off, uh, um, with the most hardness of three and a half to four. Don't let that put you off though, it is very wearable. Mm. Uh, malachite is found all around the world including four, uh, sorry, the US, Arizona, Brazil, Australia, Mexico and the Democratic Republic of, of Congo. Um, so we said we're going to do this in two price crashes purely because we have got big quantity. That's not your price point. Wow. I can't remember the last time we had four millimetres. No. Wow. We don't get the smaller sizes very often. Can you put that with the topaz? Certainly can. It's a good call. That would look amazing. Oh. Can I add to that kit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, and I'll have the kit, please. <laughs> How about that? <gasps> oh, yes, please. Oh, wow. I know. Hang on. Oh. Just, just. Oh, now you're just spoiling me, aren't you? I know, I know, I know. I, I do miss one, making kits. You know? <laughs> do you? I used to enjoy making kits. And see I them come like on it. it. Yeah. yeah. That would be a lovely kit, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be an amazing oh, kit. You make some beautiful, beautiful jewellery. We are going lower than £19.99. Oh, my Hang gosh. on a minute, Roscoe. Yeah, stop, 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 stop. I know it's midweek. Yeah. Kids are back at school. Yeah. I'm breathing a sigh of relief. <laughs> we all did it. Like that. Bye! Enjoy! Bye! <laughs> but hang on a minute. We're at 19. There's, there's not nearly enough of us on the, uh, on the web and on the phone lines. We are not closing at £19.99. That's crazy. For, and look, Ross has underlined it in everything. This is textbook. Concentrically banded malachite known as peacock's eye is especially sought after as it is rarer than the linearly banded gemstone. Right, let me show you. Oh, wow. These are cut with... Straight through it, look at that one Can there. you see that? Yeah. yeah. That is what we refer to as a peacock's eye. Wow. It is textbook, absolute textbook malachite. We're obviously right under magnification right now. Paradise in shades of green. The inspiration, not just with high-end fashion designers and jewellers, but in interior design as mm. well. Okay. Let's start the clock. In 12 seconds, we're not closing at 19.99. That's crazy. I know, this is crazy. I want to join you on this opportunity. Mm. Um, we're going to go even lower. Even lower. We so rarely see malachite. It's expensive. I it's know. so expensive. Do not miss out on this opportunity because this has to be one of the best priced malachite deals. Wow. I don't know what you're going to do, Ross. 
Oh my! It's not a Malachite price point, is it? Fourteen ninety nine. It's. It, it, I can bring you certain gemstones at fourteen yeah. pounds ninety nine. Malachite not it's being not one of them. You know, um, walk past our sister channel who were launching a Malachite showcase the other day, and I was like, oh, straight away eyes widen. Oh my goodness me, they're absolutely beautiful. It entirely sold out. It is everywhere at the moment. Mm. It's. Yeah, it is getting the recognition that it totally, totally deserves. And and again, when I was in Tucson last year, it became a little bit of an on. <laughs> A, a bit of a joke. Where's Al? Where's Al? Where where's, is she? Where's the Malachi? Yeah, track down Malachi and you'll find Al. And now I'm like that. You made fun of me, didn't you? You were too. <laughs> Look, it's everywhere now. Absolutely everywhere. And I do you see why. Look how beautiful it is. Yeah. If you've got a phone in your hand, please do bear with our lovely call centre. They will get to you, I promise you. Congratulations to Norman, Sandra, Fife, George, Ivy, Selena, Nora, Essex, Jackie, Hertfordshire, Lincolnshire, Sarah, Kathy, uh, Greater London. You do disappear off the bottom of the screen as well. Uh, Maker in Cheshire, Gabrielle, Weldon to you, Dagmar, Muriel, Dylan, George, Sandra, Susanna, Angela, Jackie, Maker, Cheshire. I can't keep up with you now. Um, we, how many do we have, Ross? I didn't actually ask you that question. 50? Okay, so these could be an on-screen sellout uh, then. Yeah. Um, and I can totally see why. It's everywhere. And Yeah. Um, and what I saw again over in... And if you think about it, so we're just over a year ago when I went to, uh, when it went to Malachi. And I remember asking... Went to Malachi. One of the, went to Malachi. <laughs> I want to go to Malachi <laughs> um, when I went to Tucson. And I remember asking one of the vendors who, was, who had a, you know, an amazing display of Malachi. Yeah. I was like, where are the strands? You know, where are the loose stones? And she said, oh, gosh, you won't get any of those here. You'll get the free forms. And yeah. Everything. I was like, what? I can't get those in Tucson. And she was saying, no, 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 it's because all the brands are using it. So it's so difficult to get hold of. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Loads of you still have it in your basket. It has to be one of the lowest price points for some of the highest quality Malachi. These were your little spaces that you had a few moments ago. Stunning. Stunning. It would be perfect together. Yeah. Or with your kits at nine o'clock. Oh, they've looked great with the dragon kits. Amazing. Absolutely wow. amazing. Now, um... They'd look great with the tiger's eye as well. They would look great with the tiger's eye. Should we do the tiger's eye? Yeah. A strand of high goose. Okay. What? What? But these aren't just the high goo shape. These have actually got the drill hole too. So if you wanted to incorporate them into your long line necklace, you can. If you saw Claire yesterday. Oh yes, <gasps> that was awesome. That was awesome, wasn't it? So beautiful, that necklace. Uh, well, bracelet. Bracelet, bracelet. yeah, yeah. So if you saw Clemo's, Claire's, Clemo's, Claire. I can't talk today, Claire's demo yesterday. These what, sorry? There are only 25. Oh. Tiger's eye with all of that beautiful chatoyancy, that movement of light that literally glides across the surface. Um, or the meanings behind tiger's eye. Yeah. But then a high goo, which we always talk about, um, normally associating it with your type A jade eye. Um, but yes, we can incorporate it into different gemstones. Or you might be looking at this saying, you know what, it's a lovely donut shape, Al. Yeah. You know, I'm going to set a gemstone in the centre, I'm going to use nice. that drill hole, or I'm not <clears> going to use the drill hole. I might go with something like gallery wire or bezel strip. Oh At 39.99, know that these are limited. Yeah, watch yesterday's show with our lovely Claire, because she worked with the strand very similar to this. Yeah. Different gemstone, but same cut. £14.99. Wow. Um, you know our three millimetre cut stone yeah. showcase that's coming up? I was going to ask, do we know how big the, the, the holes are? I can tell you. I'll be, it'll be approximate, but they would fit in there. Wow. So let's see if I can hold it over. Can you Lovely. see that? Let me yeah. tilt it towards you. Yeah, they'd fit in there. Ah, oh, so you so could you've... set one of your little stones in the middle. Yeah. You could probably get um, a three mil. Because those are three mil. Yeah. So you'd probably get a three mil um, tube setting. Oh, beautiful. That would be lovely. Or you don't use it at all. Or you don't, you oh, know, yeah. If you don't want to have use it, you don't have to have that negative space, which looks absolutely beautiful. There were only a handful of these available and there's a full row of names. Make sure you check them out. Di Diane, Muriel, Sally, Ann, well done to you. Well, I say well done. Check out, you've got to check out your baskets. Um, hello, Mark. Oh, I love you too, just because. Morning, Mark. We love you too, Mark. Yeah. Mark, just so you know, I saw Adam was like, you had this little pained expression on your face then you did. Oh. He was like a little puppy dog there. <laughs> we love you, Mark. We do. We, we love do. you. 
Um, bless him. He's such a good egg, isn't he? He is. All I, round. Do you know what I really miss? I miss even just the three-minute crossovers we used to have. Yes. Because we don't get to see each other. No, I know. Well, you do, three minutes, you can squeeze a lot into yeah. three minutes, can't you? An amazing hug, at least. Yeah, I know. I know. <gasps> Um, okay, just because we're going to squeeze this in, uh, yeah, absolutely love it. Oh, Look at that intensity of that. colour. That's beautiful, isn't it? I Stunning love quality that. Uh, neon appetite. Neon appetite should live up to its title. It should be. It should be neon. Yeah. It should be bright. Um, but here is a gemstone. Size matters. Yes. And colour most definitely matters. Um, the average carat weight of neon appetite, say every single time, is 0 0.1. Five, um, <laughs> absolutely. So granular, it's literally granular sizes. Um, and here we are with a full meter. Well, no, it's more than a meter, isn't it? 50 inches. Yeah. Uh, I can't do metric system. We were talking well, six, about- six, 60 inches is five foot. Okay. Which is- You're, you're adding to the point, confusion there. So it's well over a meter. Well over a meter. One, one what? 1. 1.27 meters. Of neon appetite in your six millimeter strands. How tall's your daughter? How tall's Willow? Willow. Uh, I don't know in centimeters. Oh, she's one hundred and twenty-five centimeters. That's it's about probably this. not far. So that's what I was thinking. We've got four a, foot two. We've got a Willow here. Yeah, is, yeah, about the, yeah, that is about the height of Willow. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that amazing? I know. That's mad when you think about that like, that way. Um, £29.99. Wow. Um, just going to do a quick recap because we have just one left of your beautiful Type A Jadeite floating flower. Hey, hey. There's one of that uh, fireball pearl as oh, well. That? There's one of those. A metre long oh, length. Look, look how beautiful that. this is. So I could easily make two. So a 20 make a inch neck graduated or a, or a graduation. An 18 and a 24. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful drop. Or one yeah. very long line, yeah. uh, very elegant 1920s. Now there's eight of you in for the last one. So that could oh. be Anonymous Maker, could be Hertfordshire, Eileen, Leah, Sharon, Anne, Julie and Lynn. There's eight of you in for the final one opportunity. Solid 925 sterling silver. By the way, somebody can absolutely dial through or drop it in their basket, check it out and sort of snap that last one up. And it is the last one as well. Um, so yes, 925 sterling silver, diamond cut, meter long length with the rarity is that that, that is the type A jadeite floating flower. Um, there's a new telephone bidder on the, on the phone lines. If you press your option one it can be yours it can be oh. yours um coming up we have got we've got your early bird stay on the phone line maker our call center will get to you i promise you and hopefully you should be successful uh, grabbing that last one an amazing deal at mm. 99 pounds truly it is um okay your early bird um these absolutely flew out the first time we launched them uh, so much so we went back to uh, um, our amazing master carvers and said is there any possibility that you can do more we were able to get 50 and that is it and that is it um look i'm all for those big statement master carvings mm. i absolutely love them but if you're looking for jadeite that is maybe that little bit more wearable then i think this is going to be right up your street but make no doubt about it it is rare in fact it's one of the rarest um you're looking at natural type a guatemalan the lost treasure in jadeite <laughs> He's very enthusiastic. He's very good, isn't, isn't he? he? Yeah. <laughs> very enthusiastic. Do you do that in there as well, Ethan? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yes. And not very convincing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Now, Guatemalan jadeite. I, it wasn't until recent years that I, that I just realised something existed. Mm. However, when you cast your mind back to what we've probably seen, ancient artefacts, which are in sort of countless publications or museums um, around the world, we probably have witnessed Guatemalan jadeite unbeknown to us all. 
Guatemalan jade is referred to as the lost treasure. And that is because this amazing location is the only location in the world, firstly, that produces blue, natural blue jadeite. Um, they refer to it as Olmec. Um, and this location, and you can see, um, was, was the most valuable commodity um, to the uh, sort of ancient Mayan people. He is hand carved, beautifully carved, holding his little baby. I've never noticed that before. Yeah, I've only cute, just it? noted he's got a little baby. Yeah, holding his little baby. Oh. Hand carved in the same techniques that we use today. Yeah. You know, it's sort of uh, filed in an abrasive manner and sort of uh, polished effectively with sort of bamboo. Um, but yes, we knew that this existed. We knew there was a location in the world that offered um, this blue, Olmec blue jadeite, but where exactly um, was lost. So it wasn't until um, a couple called the Ridingers um, re-established its location. They went on a quest. They went through, travelled through some very dense Guatemalan uh, rainforest and eventually rediscovered that location. Now, basically, it had been lost because the ancient Mayan peoples valued this more than any other commodity that Mother Nature offers. Um, and effectively, the, the mining location died out with their civilizations as well. Um, but it has been rediscovered. And, and I am talking relatively recently. It, wasn't, it was in uh, 1987 um, that the location was uh, relaunched, if you like, to the world. But we are talking about ultimate rarity and one def definitely for uh, the collectors and the connoisseurs. So when we think jadeite, we most of us will think about uh, Burmese. We might think of uh, the nephrite yeah. examples that you see uh, in Khotan um, or maybe in British Columbia. Guatemala produces this really distinctive natural shade, Olmec Blue. Now, we launched this. Um, yeah, it sold out. Um, because of its popularity, we approached um, our suppliers and actually said, is there any chance of you being able to carve a few more? And, and, and basically the response was, we don't actually have that much yeah. Guatemalan jadeite to carve, but yes, we'll do our best. They were able to carve 50. This is slightly bigger, slightly bigger than the previous. Look at that beautiful Stunning, blue. isn't it? Amazing. We've actually doubled the carrot weight. But you still only, uh, but I, I, I love the size of this. I think it's yes. really wearable. You know, it can be a pair of earrings. You could maybe put a couple of them in a really beautiful lariat star necklace wow. or just one on a simple chain. But even though there is double the carat weight of this piece to the previous, we are still going to match that price point for you. Wow. Yeah, I know. We're immediately under £100. And that is not your closing price. By the way, and it's very discreet, which is, again, testament to the actual uh, um, to the actual carvers, there is a drill hole here. So can you see it's done at a 45 degree angle? So what that basically means, that when I push it backwards and it's in your finished piece of jewellery, you don't see it. So it's, it, yeah, it's, it's hiding something that is absolutely functional and needed for us as jewellery makers, but not necessarily something you want to see. Now, there is only a limited quantity, 60 seconds... Make sure you make those confirmations, lovely jewelry makers. We have a bigger carrot weight. Again, hand carved. Thank you. I'm not sure whether one mil will go through. Point eight definitely shows. I'm just trying to find my point eight. Got some Give point it a whirl. Eight. Yeah, it might be just. A so, I point. think it would go through, but it's the curve. Let me just yeah, get this I point think eight. We probably want a slightly yeah, finer yeah. gauge um, than that. But just a little loop, wrap loop, yeah. that's all you need effectively, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And you've just made yourself or some ultra fine jewelry or a piece of cord, Lark said, not absolutely, or just attaching it to a pair uh, to your shepherd hooks or a bale. Now in 20 seconds, we are going even lower than that already absolutely incredible price tag. I'm just gonna take it up, bring it up to, can I move this for a second? Thank you. Um, just because eyesight and all that. My, yeah, it does, there we go. Thank you, Alison. They're normally pretty generous with the drill holes. Look at that. That beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Imagine that as a drop. Beautiful. On, on a pair of earrings. You know those sterling silver drop earrings? Yeah. The ones I mean that look like the silver's just melting down into Stunning. A, they'd look great on the end of that. £49 only. Wow. With literally half that price tag. I quite like that as well, just like yeah. the marquee yeah. like shape. Totally and utterly natural. Um, so like I said, this was a request on our behalf to our amazing suppliers. Is there any chance that you can carve some more? Um, the quantity was dictated purely by the, the amount of Guatemalan jade that they uh, actually had. Except 
exquisite though, aren't they? Yeah. They always remind me a little bit of the pea pod. I know they're not uh, they're not yeah, a pea pod, yeah. but you've got that kind of uh, beautiful movement, almost quite fluid carving. Yeah. It is all done by hand. One for the collectors and the connoisseurs, absolutely, because uh, again, sorry to keep referencing, but when I was over in Tucson last year, there was only one trader that was offering Guatemalan jade. Um, there weren't many traders that were offering jade full stop, but one that actually had Guatemalan. It was nothing like this quality, though. It was quite opaque, not particularly, uh, uh, not particularly uh, sort of top quality. Um, where if you've got you've got that same translucency that we would expect from other locations. Forty nine pounds only, even though this is actually a bigger carving. Bigger carrot weight, again, still hand carved. We've matched the price point of the previous. Wow. The last one was 12 by 22. This is 13 by 25. So significantly wow. yeah, bigger in yeah. actual fact. Um, Elaine, well done. Mary, well done. Valerie, Dylan, Terry, well done to you, new customers. London, Barbara, hello to you, Margaret. Nice to see you as well. Avon, I can see you on the phone lines. Congratulations. We only Amazing. were able to reacquire 50. See, I reckon Valerie's going for the earrings. Definitely. Oh, Valerie, they'd be beautiful. I also wonder if you got the smaller ones before, have those as the earrings and that as a pendant. Oh, lovely. And add to it, because it will go. It we'll will mix go them with, together. Yeah. They'd look about, have a lariat uh, with the different lovely. sizes. Oh, that would be beautiful. They'd look great, wouldn't also, they? Also, don't forget your topaz that's coming up. How about just Stunning. sort of one length of topaz yeah. with these at the bottom? Nice. That'd be nice. beautiful. Really They're elegant. Make sure you check out, though. Multi-buyers getting involved. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Um, okay, now, every item that we have brought you so far today has been on a time curfew. Um, so if it's in your baskets, you are going to need to check them out. Your Malachite, your Olmec, of course, your Herkimer Quartz Diamond, um, your Neon Appetite, your Crimps Essential, um, Essentials there, you know, to have a little look, your Turquoise, we've brought you lots and lots and lots of items. Um, make sure you start checking out because that clock is uh, in red for a reason. <laughs> it's ending the auction um, and every other item that we have brought you so far today. We are going to go straight into your beautiful kits um, with lovely Alison. So um, this hour is going to disappear once this clock goes. What? what, what? Malachite cubes. Yeah, I know. I know there's not many of those as well. Um, oh so I think gosh. the the uh, the jade, like the floating flowers sold out now, hasn't it? Oh, I think there's still one. There's still one. Somebody's thinking about it still. Um, yeah, make sure wow. you check out these baskets. 15 seconds left. So good luck, Tina. Good luck to you, Dylan, in Hampshire. Um, this beautiful carving is disappearing in eight seconds. We're going to go immediately. Pauline, if you stay where you are, you will be successful. Lovely. Uh, we're going to go immediately into Alison's beautiful kits and, of course, the demonstration because we've got a lot to bring you. Well done. Well done. Well done. Okay. These are beautiful. Okay. Firstly, just, just show us what we can do with these kits and what components, you know, because obviously these components in the little dishes, they yeah. don't look like that much in uh, dishes, but... They are. They when you are. see them in jewellery, they are. <clears throat> so your dragon scale beads, which are a kite shape, basically, okay. or a scale shape. <gasps> I've just seen mm. that pendant on the end. So sorry to interrupt. Oh, him. Oh, my goodness. Pass him over. How have I only just seen him? I don't know. So he was the original. Well, he was the original. So you can see where the little um, there's, you get you can you can recreate him totally. I did him as a DVD. Oh my goodness, Alison! So he's unbelievable. Put your hand behind him because you've got the amber scales. I think he's got the dark amber scales on. Um, I can see some amber here. Where's the other one? There is oh one. my goodness me! Oh, there he is. Yeah, so you can see the amber scale on there. You can see them on that one. So, so he's got a brother. Oh, my goodness me, Alison. These are absolutely incredible. And I made, I made these, um, like I say, to go with the DVD. So the little eyes. So when you, when you look at the little rounds, you get two rounds in the, um, in the kits. They're, they're so you can make the eyes and recreate these. He's got the eyes of, you know... Um, Game of the Game of Thrones dragons. Yes, the he's, beautiful aren't yeah. they? Yeah, I'm blown away by that, and I've only just seen it for the first time. Yeah, he's amazing, absolutely oh, amazing. I love making so it. it's these lovely little shapes that you see in the dishes. Yeah. Um, which make the dragon scale. Yeah. You've got the different sizes of the Muki. Now I should point out that each of these kits, there's only thirty available or less. Yeah. Thirty or less. 
Um, some of the kits, you'll notice if we have a look at those bracelets, yeah. have got those beautiful clasps with the dragon on. So all the kits come with the clasp. Obviously, you don't need, you don't need what do you want the bracelet? Any, yeah, just oh. so I can show it. Here we go. So look at these. These, these are just fab. So they just, they just hook around. I leave mine open slightly because a lot of people were like, oh, how do I use them? If you leave, can you see the little um, opening slit? Here. Yeah. yeah, so it's like one of those um, puzzles. Yes. So you can open and close it or you can leave it just open and it's not going to slide off. Look at how beautiful he and is. It just slides behind his teeth. Amazing. It. So fabulous, isn't it? OK, now these are, yeah, this is incredible. And this is the Sleeny Spiral. Yes. Wow. Any questions that you have for Alison, then mm -hmm. uh, do message us. We are live in the studio. Shall we start with the red? OK. Um, I love this bracelet that you created, Alison. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and again, looks so different in the finished pieces oh, of jewellery yeah. as it does um, to in these little tubes. So you can see all the lovely colours that you're getting, the different sizes that you're getting. Plus, you've got um, the rounds for the dragon's eyes. Yes. You get in this kit, you've got your beautiful dragon clasp. Here he is in the gold plate. It's just incredible, isn't it? It's so beautiful. And then the workmanship of that. Look at that dragon. He's absolutely sensational. He's amazing. So you just make up the body, don't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You're making up the body with him. Oh, amazing. And then you also have oh. the two different, oops, um, the two different colours of your um, of your dragon. So you've got your check glass, which are the smaller ones. Yeah, these. Your, yeah, your, your dragon scale beads. And then specially made for us, you won't get them anywhere else. This is the second time we've had them made. They're amber <gasps> dragon scale beads. So we have amber in three different colours. And we had them we had them before lockdown, I think. So they were specially time. commissioned oh, yeah, for yeah, a yeah. jewellery maker. Yeah, Amazing. Absolutely. We went to um oh, what's his name? In Poland. Marius. Marius. Yeah. And and said, Can you create us some of these? And he and he made them and they flew. Yeah. They I were bet. mental. Well, they make all the difference to them. Oh gosh, don't they just Wow. Um They're fabulous. Hello to you. Uh, um fabulous work again, Alison. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. I look, they're so easy to work with. So easy to work with. Uh, morning oh. all, Alison, you have truly outdone yourself. The dragons are beautiful, oh, aren't they? Thank you, thank you. So beautiful. I know, I'm always in awe of their, uh, of our designers and yours, uh, incredible talent. Um, we've got another one, did you say? Yeah, here we go. Um, hello, morning everybody. Wow, Alison, your designs are off the scale. Absolutely amazing, love it. Oh, thank says you. Says Liz. Absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. And what about if you know if I'm new to jewelry making? I know that the Cellini spiral is quite talent is quite is quite tricky, isn't it? <laughs> but you've got the best teacher. Sorry, Ted, Alison, lovely to oh, see you back in the you. studio. Your dragon work is amazing. Oh, I, I'm. I might be a little bit uh, obsessed. biased and obsessed about yes, dragons. Yes, you do like dragons. Yeah. Now, the only way to get hold of these um, exclusive amber dragon scales is in this kit. Um, the only way to get hold of, so like, the clasp, um, all, all these components, is in the kit. There are only 30 of them. Wow. And another little there. surprise is that it's just £19.99. What? I know. I, was it? I thought there were more than that. I thought so too. But You'd be yeah. looking at that for the Just, class. Yeah, well, that's it. That's the thing, the clasp on its own. The, or, or, the, or the dragon scale, the amber, those amber beads are specially carved just for us. Yeah. So are, not, yeah, you're right. Those, on, <laughs> those on their own, well, you deserve it. Yeah. The only way to get hold of these is in the kit yeah. and at Jewelry Maker. So you can't, there's no point shopping around elsewhere. Marius has only ever produced these for us. And we've got the little drill hole, which I suppose yeah. makes them jut upwards. Plus you've got the Preciosa dragon scale. The dragon scales, yeah. And you've got the two amber rounds for the eyes, if yeah. you wanted to. And you've got these beautiful tubes. 19.99, Alison, you're so that's right. Amazing. For the clasp on its own, I think that's a yeah. fabulous deal. Um, beads on their own. Yeah. Precisely, but there's only 30. Oh. Now, um, again, any questions that you have about Selene Spiral or other techniques, yep. then do message us. So um, Alison's going to go through it. The dragon, the dragon, the oriental dragon, you can make out of the kit with nothing added. Okay. He's done. Um, our little baby dragon. Who puff? Puff. Passes puff. Yeah. If you replace you the pearls. Puff? Oh, sorry. Sorry, Adam. 
I want Poff over here. Fly over to Poff. you. He's so got wellies. Again, he, was, he was a DVD um, I've done before. So you can see where I've put the dragon scale on. Now, with, this was pre-amber amber scales. I would put the amber scales down his spine. Oh, beautiful. It's a Buddha puff. Oh, I love him. He's got the cutest and you little could make face, him out he? of the, the kit, yeah. Oh, Alison, absolutely amazing. So I could do this yeah. out of this kit too. Yeah. So you could do a red dragon, couldn't you, for our, you uh, um, for our, our Welsh, Welsh people? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So the Cellini spirals, you would need some um, 15s. Okay. So we've got a bundle of 15s. Um, they will go, if you mix and match the colours, it makes such a difference. Okay. I mean, I, I looked at, and I tell you what, surprisingly, my favourite kit changed. Yes, you said so about that. Very surprisingly. Morning. So so my favourite kit is this next one. Okay. Right? Which Why do you love it so much? I love the way it worked up. This the one we're going to do, the purpley colour. one. Yeah. So with the, with the cherry amber. And it, it just, mm, absolutely stunning. Yeah. When I saw it and I was like, well, it's a bit pinky, you know, it's a bit bubbly. And I, and I was like, oh my gosh, I start, I put it with the green <gasps> for the Cellini. Yeah. And the colours, yeah. I think, have come up amazing. Yeah. I looked at it, I was like, oh my gosh. Because I'd, I'd only done about an inch when, when, when I was on the show at home from Covid Corner. Yeah. Um, and I'd done it just a small section and I was like, I've got to finish this. I have got to finish this because it's stunning. Because it's got that raspberry-ish pink, which yeah, is Well, this isn't going to be an Allison kit. I loved it. Yeah, it's Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely love it. Um, there, it comes alongside the cherry amber yeah. um, of these from Marius. So again, exclusive to Jewelry Maker and in this kit. Um, and this one, I can. Uh, this is going to be popular because it's got the silver, silver. Um, the silver colored dragon. Sorry, let me put him the right way. There he is. Come on, let me pop. Um, and there's this beautiful tail there. Oh, my goodness, Alison. I mean, when that light goes through that cherry amber, it's amazing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because it looks very dark on yes, the desk, doesn't but it? But it's not. Look it's not dark that. at all. And this technique elevates them, so it allows yeah. the light to go through. Absolutely. And you only use them on the top of the bracelet. Yeah. So on the necklace, I've taken them all the way round, but on the bracelet, I've just done it on the top because you don't want them pushing against your wrist. No. You want to... To, to have them just showing because a they'd make it so thick that you'd need like a, a 10 plus inch bracelet okay. for, for, because because of the thickness but also that you want to protect the amber yes. you don't want it they're not going to see it there so protect it and keep it all on the outside wow alison this is absolutely it. incredible and don't forget we do have a bundle if you wanted to make of, of the of the 15 yeah. hours so that you can add to your kit so shop ahead on those as well these are all very very limited i knew this was going to be a, a popular kit because it's got the silver dragon head clasp amazing i know what you're going to do so all genius if you wanted to get all three you can make a necklace ah! and add them together Yes! Wouldn't that be great? So you've got three bracelets or a, or a, because that's that's an eight inch. That's an eight inch. Yeah. It's got to be, you know, because when you pull it round, you can see the thickness. Yeah, you need it to be that bit bigger. Makes a difference. So so check, don't don't go, oh, well, I've done a seven inch bracelet. I, I take a seven inch bracelet. You will take more more than a seven inch on this. Yes, absolutely. Okay? So so before you glue on your, your, your uh, clasp, double check it's the right size. But yeah, just just clasping them together, they look ah uh, so fab. Beautiful. Um, look, Swarovski did heart. that. Swarovski did that. Had this. Had uh, that was a bracelet that you was a bracelet. Yeah. But obviously, you could connect them all together to make even obviously longer even line more. pieces. Absolutely um, amazing. They right, next fabulous. kit. Oh, no. Oh, oh, Yay. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, Amber's oh. Uh, Amber's found. I can't talk today. What is wrong with me, Adam? You found it, haven't you? Rogue Amber disappearing. Um, okay, next kit. Thank oh. you, lovely. Oh, we've done the red one, haven't we? We've got a different right. colourway here. So, so I haven't... I, this is my demo one. Oh, it's oh, a lovely I, colour choice. I reckon yeah, yeah. this is the one I gravitate to. There's, there's how it stitches up. Oh! It's got a needle attached. Oh, you're demoing with this one? Yes. Oh, look at that. So you've got the blue. Yeah. It's okay. two-sided. Okay. Stay. Stay. So you've got blue on one side um, and the jet on the other side, the black. Yeah. Stay, 
sorry. They are that perfectly spherical. Okay. There's your cognac amber. Yeah. Here's the other side to your dragon clasp. I love this colourway. And then amazing. you have the lovely blue. Oh, that's pretty. Now, again, I looked at it and I thought, oh, I'm not sure about the, the, the flat yellow, the opaque flat yellow yeah. in it. It looks amazing it's, in it. It does, yeah. It okay. really does. You need it. Do you it. think about your traditional, um, your traditional sort of Chinese dragons? Yeah. They have bright colours, don't they? They do. They're all they're all bold primary colours. Yeah, beautiful. Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence only. So you can get all three kits for sixty pounds today. How amazing is that? All three kits for uh, for less than sixty pounds. Um, your bundle is coming up as well. How many do you have of this colourway then, Roscoe? Thirty of each. Yes, wow. so we were very limited. And 40 of the bundles, so slightly more of the bundle as well. Um, again, I think this colourway would be really nice in in in, in this little yeah, taffy. Yeah, yeah. Puff. Oh, he'd look lovely in that mm -hmm. colour. Oh, me? Yeah. Well, it's almost that colour. You've got the blue and... and, and... Look at him. He just, uh, why, he's got a very boopable nose. He has, hasn't he? Boop. Um, okay. So, Alison, um, over to you, my lovely. Oh, I've just realised it's attached just yeah. there. Oh, one bundle. Sorry, Alison, just before we oh. do. Oh, bring the bundle and then we'll, then we'll get cracking with your demonstration. Any questions again, message in. Um, thank you. So, I've got four... Uh, sorry, what did you say? Forty. 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 Here we go. These... Uh, you go through a lot of, of, of the 11s because you use three beads okay. for every one. So what size are the these 11s? So these are 15s. 15s, sorry. 15s. okay. Um, 15s. Um, so great to actually sort of build, to, to, to add on to your bundle yeah. so that you have enough. You don't want to be running out, do you? No. And complementary colours across all of the beautiful kits. So, um, yeah, if you want to do things like the long Cellini spiral, you'll well, need more. Well, any of the Cellinis, you'll, you'll need some 15s. Twelve ninety nine. What? Five tubes. There's more beads in each of those tubes. Yeah. Than there is in the big tubes. Yeah. There's loads of beads, but you can do because you're using three, four, five beads. You can change the the. You can stretch out your spiral. Yeah. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, you can use multiple colours as well. So you could have. It doesn't have to be just one colour running through. You could put. Um, uh, an orange and then maybe the blue in the middle mm -hmm. or the green with it or you could have an ombre of, of sort of reds and pinks there just variety is amazing the, the choices you can have is amazing beautiful well done everybody make sure you do check out there are a lot of people there so congratulations Alison what are you going to show us so I'm going to show you how to to, to, to quickly do the Cellini spiral sorry I had to straight away move that that's, that's okay <laughs> um but also um more importantly how to attach the end because I think um I didn't think that was as clear so there is a a, a YouTube um okay. demo from from when I had it before um and I'll put a link up to that um so I'll, I'll whiz through the Cellini so we start off with um, five of the 15s, two 11s, two 8s, two dragon scale. Now I'm using just the small ones. Um, then two of the 8s um, and two of the 11s again. So that's your basic. That's what I've used for, for the spirals here. So that's what that is made up of. And Although you're just going round in a circle, and because it's odd, you don't have to step up, which I, I hate stepping up. I always think it's a wasted thread move. Um, so that's how you do it. Now, if you want to elongate it, because you imagine getting that spiral and pulling it wider, you know if you've got, you know if you've got a, a gizmo coil and you stretch it out, you can do that with this. It will make your, your um, spine ones, your, your dragon scale go further. Um, and what you do is you can add more of your fives, uh, 15s. That will, that will expand this bit in the middle, so it will push it apart. But also, if you wanted, you could put more of the um, 11s in as well. So you could add in another layer. And it just makes it a, a wider, shallower. This is, this is really quite steep. So it a stretches it dragon. Out. So it makes it, a, yeah, it gives it a shallower rather than such a, a, a wavy yeah. um, feel. So anyway, so but always add, always end up with an odd number, and you on, always start with pairs or the smallest ones. You're going to start with an odd number. 
the rest of pairs. So we're going to pop that round my very expensive piece of paper mandrel. So it's just a rolled up piece of paper. It just makes it easier. If you've got any of the... Um, uh, Oh, the quick start, the peyote yes, quick yeah. start, you can get a round one. So pop it on a mandrel, it doesn't, have, it doesn't matter, it doesn't have to be an expensive one. We're going to go through the first, we're going to go through that first 15. Mm -hmm. This is where I go silent because they're small. And I put my mandrel down a bit without testing it. There you go, we go through there. Right, so now we're on to our third row. I know that sounds awful, but you actually, as soon as you add in a bead, you create row one and two. Okay. So this is our third row when you're counting. So we go, whatever you come back, the easiest way to remember, now I've laid these out wrong. Let me lay, lay them out how I would normally. I would always have my 11s, only because it's easy to go up and down a row. Then I would have my eights. Then I would have my, let me pull those over. Sorry, my 11s, my 15s, my 11s, my 8s. Then I would have, uh, and I call them the spine bead. You can do it with sixes, you can do it with dragon scale, you can do it with the amber or with those, whatever you use. Um, you can use all sorts of beads. Any, you can use magatamas, anything Ooh, yeah, like that. Yeah? So anything like that will, will make a spine. So basically you're going to work your way up the line to there and then come back down the line. So we're going to start off with these. So we've gone through our first one. Whichever bead you came out of less last, that's the bead you're going to pick up. Okay. So you've done your knot, you've gone through your first um, 15. You're going to come out of a 15, pick up a 15. Okay, and you're going to do this all the way round. So I'm going to go... I'll do a few and then you'll see how it does it. So as soon as I pull that in, then that gives you, you can see you're starting to get that castellation. So you come out of a 15, miss one, go through the next one. So you're always missing one, going through the next one, pull that down. Once you've got your first couple of rows in, it starts getting easy. You've come out of a 15, pick one up, and pull out. So from now on, you're going to be doing three 15s, then you go one, sorry, three 15s, one 11, one eight, one dragon scale, one eight, one 11, three 15s. So that's, that's how you're doing it, going up and down. So you've come out of an 11, pick up an 11, and go through, miss your next speed, go through the next one. This creates your, there we go, tessellation. You'll find the small ones you get, they can look a bit loose sometimes. Don't worry, it will all come together. You've come out of a, an, an eight, so this is where you've got to go miss the first dragon scale, go through the next. Now, when I've done my spirals, I've done every other. So I'm going to pop that down because you keep going round in that vein. Okay, so here we go. So this has obviously got quite a few. Now, when I've, when, when I've done my dragon scale... When I've put the amber ones in, I've done them every other with um, a, a, check, a glass dragon scale. I don't want these bunched too much together. I want the light to get through them. I mean, yeah. they're just amazing. If they were all clamped really together, see how close the dragon scale are. They look great yeah. like that, but they all merge. You don't want these amber to merge. And if you see... There go, if I hold it that way. So it would sit on your wrist. You don't want that sitting on your wrist. You don't want, there you go, you don't want, see how they're going to sit and be a real fragile point? Yeah. You, you want, want it to that. sit nicely and that then way. they're all nicely splayed. Yes. So four, as you go round, four is enough out of them. So you just carry on going round. We're back now to our... Um, 15s and you can see they all you've got this little up and down it looks a bit funny because they're the different sizes but all it is is straight peyote don't ever ever worry about Cellini it is literally it, it's just a, a silly it's just a peyote stitch the only difference is the different sizes of the beads make it act differently that's the only difference so if you're starting 
do not do not think oh this is difficult it's it you know i've tried peyote i can do peyote but this is going to be so much harder it's not it's purely the different sizes so we've come out of that one when you've got your um amber to your next dragon scale you've got to go over that amber so your thread will quite often come underneath just take it over the top and pull it through make sure it doesn't if it catches underneath you'll see because that amber will stick up just make sure that's over the top go on over you go there you go and it'll sit and it just then spirals around the spiral is created because of the different sizes and they just cinch it in now when you get to the end which i don't think i really had much time when i was doing it i'm just going to pop that amber in there so what i did when i got to the end i've done it two ways let me just grab these two so I've done it two ways. On this one, I spiralled it down. So I finished with the amber, carried on for a couple of rows with the, with the dragon scale, then dropped to one of the um, eight O's, then took the eight O out and went to the, 15, uh, to the 11s, and then went down to just the 15. So I graduated his tail down, which works. It does work. It worked. I, in retrospect... Yeah. I'm not as keen as the ending there because you can see the end of the clasp more so. So whereas this one, it merges better, I think. OK, yeah. But you can still spiral down, but leave it a little bit bigger. OK. Um, don't go quite as low. So what I did with this one, I took, finished all my dragon scale. Like I say, you can, you can make these go further by swapping these. So whereas we've interspersed the dragon scale in there, interspersed these with an extra... Um, 11 uh, sorry an extra eight just pop an eight in there or even an 11 and that will double the amount of length you've got for your dragon scale and then drop your dragon scale but i've left the double row and i've not reduced it anymore and your your um dragon head will sit perfectly on the end now we've got where are they the eyes actually fit perfectly into that i would personally use a different three mil bead they're three mils aren't they yes yeah but why is that that because i don't want to put an amber bead in there and, oh, just, don't and just use it? it as a glue in okay. place so, so i'd keep i'd keep those yeah i'd keep them for eyes i'd keep them for another project however you can if you've got nothing else you can use them so you're going to stitch them through but you don't want it to go all the way down so you're just going to go through several times backwards and forwards and you'll get a pass through quite a few times and then you see how I'm squeezing it so that, that sticks proud that will then glue into there and and you see how it sort of perfectly yeah. fits on the back so these these beads here if I pop that let me pull that out so you can see it easier that fits perfectly uh -huh. so there is in, method to this. yeah there is method to this so pop it in there but then also, so you're gluing that in there, which, which holds it beautifully, but you're also just putting a little bit of glue around the edge, which fits it perfectly onto that edge. And you get this really nice, smooth finish, which I, I prefer to the, the first one I did. Um, and it looks, they're just brilliant. So your little, little eyes can be used for that, or they can be used as eyes or just as little as drop earring. Yeah, eyes if you're doing the yeah. sculpture or and, maybe and the bigger necklace. From your stash, A, another three mil. Yeah bead rather than Alison you bead. are so clever so 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 clever yeah <sighs> oh thank you I true. love it I love it and, and you're always learning so yeah. the first one I did I graduated and then I, I thought well, I quite like no, it without actually now all your three millimeter uh, <gasps> strands are available as we've just been talking oh, yes, about it yes um including not that I would want to hide any of these um, including the white topaz, faceted three millimetres. Again, lovely addition to Alice's yeah. kit. Um, but just before we dive into this, just to give you a heads up, oh. let's bring you these lovely uh, bead sorting trays. Now, there's a 100 of each. You've got two different colours, separate auctions. And we'll start with the white, uh, just because that's the one that's closest to me. Now, genius idea, whoever came oh. up with these. Spout. Because trying to put... See, uh, not just seed beads, actually. No, any beads. Any beads, particularly of the smaller variety, mm. back into a bag or in a tube or something like that is a nightmare, let's be honest. Yeah. 
And you, they, they, you normally have casualties that find themselves mm. ricocheting yes. across the floor, and then you only hear them when they go up the Hoover, or um, the cats chasing after them, or the dog, or whatever it is. Um, so this is preserving your um, your stash, your gemstones, and also your sea beads. But also you've got the practicality of it. So if I were to sort of grab a tube of sea beads, spill it out into the centre, and then at the end of the day say, oh, or once the project is finished, let's do it. Yeah, once the project is finished maybe not all of them no i won't put them all in but just just so you see um you know it's going to keep them all there nice and safe nice and safe nice and secure um plus you've got your different sizes i don't know if you can see I that there that. different sizes under five pounds for what? this yeah you can arrange your, the designs yeah. of your um of your jewelry if you wish as well across the different gemstones um it's made of i, I don't quote me but kind of like an acrylic yeah, I think it is. So, um, so it's easily wipeable. It's it's robust. It's not going to break or fracture or crack in any way, shape or form. So look, you know, I could take, you know, I can actually arrange the design yeah. in the beading tray before I maybe start actually actually beading. Um, but they are genius. And little little components, little tools for really want of a better description, make such a difference mm. to your jewelry making, mm. don't they? Therefore, I'm assuming, because I can't see it on the white one so much, I'm assuming all the little sizes on the other side, all the little holes, yep. are, are, are sized. Yes. So if you take those amber beads, you can work out how big they are. Yes. If you've, how many times have you had a, a bead scoop and you don't know how big your beads are? Yeah. So or you're looking go. for a specific bead and you're like, well, are they the same size? Are they not the same size? Yeah. You can see and literally pop them in there yeah. nice and secure. You can actually size them out. You could create the graduations, the designs yeah. if you want, or just keep them there nice and safe and secure. Um, I mean, I'm tilting this forward and they're still staying, yeah, yeah. aren't they? Absolutely. Um, this is at a 45 degree angle. Now we have got the black one coming up. It's Perfect. also going to be under five pounds. Why would I want specifically a white or a black? Because if you've got if you've got clear quartz, yeah. white pearls, they're going to be difficult to see on the white. You want them on a black. Yeah. If you've got um a, a black spinel yes you're going to want to put them on the white yes of course it you get ones that are both yeah do you want to pass me the one white one and i'll put them away yeah you? sure um yeah it does make a difference doesn't yeah. it and of course you've Ooh, got that little funnel that yeah. beautiful little funnel that you know you I tilt towards right into now. um you tilt towards into your your, your little your little black bag or into the uh, tube of sea beads whichever it is so you've got them nice and secure um now all of your wonderful three millimeter selection are coming up they're available for pre-order right now we only have a hundred of these and if i turn it that way can you see it's like a it's yeah. quite a robust, quite nice, uh, solid acrylic. So this is not going to crack or fracture or be highly unlikely um, to do that. £4.99. So did you do it? Any yeah. casualties? I had two. But two? Then I, I did have a, a rush. I did rush them. I went, Ugh. So look at that. Perfect. You've never tidied sea beads no. away so efficiently, have no, you? No, or so quickly. They're <laughs> really good. They are good, aren't they're they? They're solid, yeah. But they're limited. There's only 100 available. Um, wow. Well done, everybody. Now, all... Oh, I like those. All the three millimetres are available on pre-order. Um, sorry, the blue is a two mil. Um, but I'm going to give you an announcement. This amazing topaz. Yeah. And the three others. Yeah. On pre-order, guaranteed under <gasps> 20 pounds. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. That topaz is mind-blowing. I, um, I multiply absolutely that. Absolutely mind-blowing. Yeah, it's coming up after a very short break. Make sure you check out your basket um, on the kit, which is very limited now, and also these amazing bead Fabulous. sorting trays as well. Still so much to bring you. We've got the launch, of course, of our lovely Ellis's uh, puzzles coming up at your uh, 10 o'clock for your deal of the day. Really excited about that. Give her a warm welcome, won't you? Because she's an absolute darling. Um, and I know she's very passionate about her puzzles. Um, don't go anywhere because your three millimeter selection is coming up after this. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. 
I've got some exciting news. I'm going to be debuting on Jewelry Maker this Wednesday at 10 a.m. with my collection of puzzles. Now, if you haven't seen them before in, and you love puzzling or you know somebody who loves puzzling, these Oh, there's so much to tell you. There's so many little nooks and crannies that I've covered as an avid puzzler myself to conquer the things that I hate about normal puzzles. And of course, there's a little gemstone puzzle piece in every single puzzle. Plus, because it is my very first show on Jewelry Maker, we're gonna have something extra special. So there's a little surprise coming your way this Wednesday, 10 a.m. on Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, everybody. Oh, my Ow. goodness me. Do you know... <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you sunk, didn't you? I sank, you yeah. You sank down. She's back now. Um, we were just discussing this next little showcase, and, and oh. so many of us have been a, a huge fans of sort of the introduction of your three-stroke, four-millimeter size. Mm. Um, but not just here at... Yeah, I love them as well. Because, you know, if you pop along to Ashley Clark, for example... <laughs> Ashley Clark, one of their most successful uh, um, collections at the moment is the Biography Collection. And that, that basically is all about really, really, really yeah. simple, perfect. Yeah. Thank you, Ross. Um, I mean, that's not Ashley Clark, but that would be amazing for this, uh, mm. for this showcase. Can we show it, actually? Um, yeah, that's not Ashley Clark. That's probably a handmade piece of jewellery as well. But Imagine that in the topaz. Oh, gosh, yeah. Which absolutely. you'd probably need to get a few. This is Astley Clark, however. Um, and, and we're looking at the biography collection, which is one of their most successful. Um, here we go, Astley Clark jewellery, simple, beaded, stacker style. So once, a, you know, it's charm bracelets are absolutely huge, but stacker styles are like the new revolution, if yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. 
um, you know, layering up all of these beautiful designs. And they are all using sort of the smaller faceted yeah. three stroke, four millimeter sizes to create absolutely exquisite beaded designs you know here at jewelry maker um, and as a jewelry maker obviously you've been beading probably first that was probably one of the first techniques that you took um, that you began not always the case no. but you know i'm generalizing there but um look at the big designers i mean this is uh, that's not on the high street right now so it will be um an amazing yeah uh, um, soul trader or business um, rosary linking but using the more small petite beautiful yeah. gemstones 156 pounds I mean that's labor intensive that necklace yeah, so yeah. completely justifies that price tag Ab absolutely but and it's stunning my point is these techniques that you've been using possibly since day one are yeah. absolutely everywhere and they are in the big design houses yeah, absolutely that's a rosary link wrapped links yeah uh, well, it's one of the first techniques you use. Yeah. Well, I mean, look at that. If you think back to that Chanel necklace that I showed you um, um, on the weekend, there was one Chanel necklace that included, uh, what was the gemstones that was in it? Anyway, it was rosary link like that, yeah. basically. And it was like £2,000 or something like that. Yeah. Because um, it's Chanel, basically. But there's no difference to the techniques that you're no. using. Um, the more petite little delicate stones like this, for me, I think, create so much texture in your designs. There's so much potential. Yeah. You know, it's not just your biography beading bracelets. You can rosary link them. You can loom them. You can um, tassel them. Use, them. use them in your wire work. Yes. Beautiful. So, I know they're a graduated strand, but I use, I use small ones all the time in my yeah. wire work. Yeah. I love them. Um, you know, as accents, just just using them to so highlight you said parts. It earlier on, just two either side of a yeah. gemstone. Yeah. Um, to create, yeah, to to, to draw the, the eye in yeah. the same way that we see, say, in a finished ring, an eighteen karat gold ring. Yeah. You know, on those accenting diamonds yeah. sort of draw the eye. Now, your white topaz is coming up, but I would encourage you shopping ahead and pre-ordering on this. It's going to the most amazing. Under twenty pounds has been price pledged. Wow. But I'm going to start with pink tourmaline. Um, oops, picked up the wrong one. Hang on. Now, it's more limited. The, uh, the, the, the first three strands are more limited than the topaz. There's 40 of this. It's totally and utterly natural. And again, pink tourmaline. It's more of, it's more of a grown-up pink, I think. Mm, it's not necessarily... Like dusky. Yeah, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But equally, look absolutely amazing alongside your topaz. Yeah. So, you know, um, and I remember when I first included this, in it, this, this, this bracelet... Um, I'm going to show you a photograph. This bracelet was included in one of my PowerPoints ages ago. Ages and ages and ages ago. And I remember our kit team at the time saw it, said, oh, that's incredible. We could use that as a bit of inspiration. Um, and the idea was to create a kit around it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it happened. I'm not sure. If it did, it, it wasn't with me. Um, but at the same time, we have got we bring components like that, don't we? We do yes. your tassel tops. We yes. bring you the multi-gem um, potential class, you know, to create that cuff. And is that simple looming? Um, I, I was looking at that, trying to work out what, they, what they've done it with. I'd have to look closer. It almost looks like it's knitted. Yeah, it does. With, a, it? with the border on either side. But, Alison, we could do that with all of oh, these drums. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine pink tourmaline in a big statement cut? Oh, um, absolutely. Any, anything you do with, with your seed beads... Because we've got very fine needles you can go to, you can do with your, with your with gemstones. With your gemstones as well. Oh, because I was looking at that thinking, could you imagine a genuine gemstone dragon? Oh, my goodness, yeah. Because you could, because the size of the beads... Yeah. I mean, those are equivalent... The Atos, are, I think, are equivalent to about a two mil. Yeah. So you so, could do him. Yeah. And he'd be lovely in pink, wouldn't he? Oh, wouldn't he? Oh. Now, we have made a price promise, haven't we? The most complex of beautiful gemstones, this lovely oh. dusky pink tourmaline nice. faceted rounds so if you do go to for the simple beading you know like your ashley clark designs again still their most successful uh sort of uh design if you like is the biography we've honored that price point we're at 19 pounds and 99 pence but we are not stopping there even know that these are limited though 
Um, tourmaline always is. Tourmaline is, is, is an incredibly complex gemstone. It's, you, we know that it's got over 50 different chemicals um, present within this one stone, and they have to be there at the perfect sort of intensities and pressures, that same exact location um, for Mother Nature to even comprehend the idea of creating this beautiful stone. We have less than 30 available. Wow. 16 carats and it's completely and utterly natural imagine this with the topaz mixed together in white yeah i'm not a, i'm not a talented jewelry maker um i'm actually quite a lazy jewelry maker so i'm personally thinking this alongside the topaz in one big tassel how beautiful would, would that be incredible be amazing it would be amazing and really simple yeah i mean if i'd known we had these on today because i didn't notice I actually make multi-stranded necklaces. I've done multi-stranded necklaces and you use the different colors. Yeah. Like you would seed beads. You, you do a picture with the different colors or a pattern oh. and they look sensational. 12.99, sorry. That's crazy. I was a bit snow, uh, a bit snow, a bit slow oh, recognizing sorry. that. 12.99 but there are only a handful of these available so you do need to check it out devon's got three susanna west midlands george sarah shirley kathy five new customers getting involved good morning everybody i hope you're well um congratulations to you all we've made that prize promise every single one of these beautiful faceted three millimeter strands of which are 30 centimeters yeah. as well so you're going to get a lot of jewelry out of there you're smiling hi barbara morning barbara she works in my back Oh, okay. Oh, Just so you know each other very yeah. well then. Sorry, Roscoe, yes. what was that? The final 15 chances, he's saying. Need to be quick off the mark to secure these. The topaz is a little bit more abundant in its quantity. Um, the biggest quantity, that's what we're closing this little showcase with. Um, so your tourmalines and your sapphire, much, much, much more limited. Down to the single finger quantities. You know, I remember when we used to do certain nugget strands for what's on your screen yeah, right absolutely. now. Yeah, absolutely. Now we're bringing you tourmaline with all of its beauty Pink and complexity. Tourmaline. Yeah. Um, and three mil faceted. Down Amazing. to the final seven. Surely well done. I'll leave it with you because there's still loads wow. of there. Um, okay, let's dive into the oh blue sapphire. Gosh. There are only 30 of these. Now, these are two millimetres. Wow. Don't be intimidated by the smaller no. sizes. No, please don't. They are so beautiful to work with. <gasps> I've, I've used them all sorts. Do you remember the shoes I did for... Jenny. Jenny. I do. So I decorated shoes. They were with emeralds. They were three mil emeralds. I do remember. That I put on them. You could do, you could do sapphire shoes. You could do yeah, ruby slippers. Sapphire shoes. I know. But these are natural, yes, blue They're sapphires. Aren't they? We're not talking color. about an imitation here. It's, no. it's uh, and it's got that lovely, rich, regal cashmere blue. I mean, um, are you are, are you doing anything for the uh, for the coronation? Anybody celebrating? Um, you got family? I'm just thinking because you've got the regal colours here, haven't yeah. you? It's it is that perfect idyllic, that iconic, really royal engagement it ring. Um, how beautiful. Imagine being able to wear genuine natural sapphire for the coronation. Would you team it alongside your Akoya pearls that are coming up? You give me an idea now. What's the idea? Well, I'm on on the Saturday. I'm on on Coronation Day. Are you going to make? What are you going to make something? I'm going to make something. What are you going to make? Mm, I don't know, but oh, red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. Got to be. It has. It's got to be. I need those sapphires. I was messaging, my, there's only 30, so you've got to be really quick. Um, so I'm off on the, is it the 7th? Anyway, that weekend. Yeah. And I'm my, my cousin messaged me, she said, oh, do you fancy get together? I was like, yeah, it's our turn. Come up, we'll do a barbecue and we'll celebrate, you know, raise a glass to Charlie. And my cousin was like, who? <laughs> oh, no. It's like, Charlie, come on. She was going, who are you talking about? King Charles? She went, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it was my fault. Um, $14.99 for natural blue sapphire. Look at the colour of I them. I know. And you know, even if even if you just got beading thread, yeah. did that. I've got enough. I mean, this is my wrist. If you start adding some of your precious metals as well. Look, I can make two complete natural Bracelet. Madagascan sapphire bracelets, tennis star Crazy. bracelets. For what's that? Seven pound fifty-eight. Yeah. Put bonkers. perspective here. Seven pound fifty for a sapphire bracelet. I know that is absolutely crazy. There's please, never... please, if you do do that, do not sell them for seven pounds. No, absolutely do not. Do not. That's just over a pound per carat yeah. of natural blue sapphire. It's crazy. Amazing. Um, if you've got this, I would recommend oh. getting hold of the topaz as well, just to add to yeah. that. Oh. Put that pink with it as well. You've yeah. almost got, I know it's pink, not red, but... Doesn't matter. You've got the coronation colours, really, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. 
Look at that. Oh, that amazing. Is, I love that kit. Yeah, amazing, amazing. Um, there's five left of your natural blue sapphires. Amazing. Right, here we go. Now, if you if you struggle to make a, um, a choice on colour, white topaz is coming up in one auction's time, um, then don't worry, because tourmaline is one of those gemstones that is believed to have fallen through a rainbow I and therefore that. adopted all the beautiful colours. Can I nip and get a photograph? Please do. She's I'll try and find it. Please do. I need to show you. Now, one auction until I bring you this. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, that's... Oh, I'd be shopping ahead on that one. It's guaranteed under £20. Uh, I need to stock up on those because I missed out on the clear court showcase. They all sold out. So pristine... Christine Eye Clean at Topaz, one auction's time. Right now, for all your visions of colour, and absolutely the same applies. Rosary linking, you know, Ashley Clark biography bracelets, looming, tassels, using them as an alternative to a knot in your marla necklaces or your uh, um, in amongst your pearls. How beautiful. But if you, if you struggle to put colours together, let Mother Nature do it for you. Straight away... We are bringing this to you under £20 as promised. You've got, you've got a selection of the rarest colours in here. You've got your chrome. You've got your rubellite, without doubt. Um, you've got bicoloured tourmalines. You've got even some of your uh, more Praeba tones. Uh, monochrome, black. You've got them all in this one wonderful strand. At £19.99, pence. we are not stopping there. But be warned, these are quite limited. Again, it's not far off a pound per carat for faceted three millimetres. Take a little look at this photograph here. Again, this is Ashley Clark. I love, I, I, and I always credit them because I love their designs. I love the idea. But let's be honest, I know lots of our viewers could make those. And it takes, it takes just a couple of spaces in between. In fact, the crimps that we had in the first hour, you could just put those in between to recreate those biography bracelets. What's what we, Sapphire? It's a multi... It's all multicoloured. Something create something like so that you with your tourmaline. create something like that with the tourmaline or with all of the the, yeah. the gemstones you have. That's what I mean by painting with colour. Yeah. And you multi-strand it. And at those prices, I mean, I've seen those at gem shows, those sorts of necklaces, and they are literally four figures. Of course. Yeah, it's four massive. figures. Of course. But you're looking at multi-strands here that you could buy and create something like that. Well, out of the strands you've got. Totally. Well, we're not even Stunning. stopping at £14.99 away. Wow. Not stopping there. We had less than 30, wasn't it, Ross? I beg your pardon. Ooh. We've got 50 of this one. So the loomed bracelets, uh, uh, yeah. we can do that. You could mix it in amongst... I'm just going to borrow oh, um, nice. this amazing strand of pearls that are coming up a little bit later on as part of your Stunning. deal of the day. You know, just put those little punctuations. You know, whether you... You might select it out. You might go, OK, I'm going to put all my indicolites to one side. Yeah. I'm going to put my rubies to another... Uh, sorry, rubellites to another. I'm going to put my more paraba colours and your chromes. You might sort them out, if you wish, with the sorting dish that you had just a few moments ago. I know that's what you do, Alison. <laughs> um, and then Me you're and making Mark. completely different bracelets. And yes. It's effectively... Instead of just being a strand that allows Seven ninety nine. You're getting multiple parcels of tourmaline, yeah. um, which it here's a gemstone. Last time I looked at the gem buying guide, which granted was probably about four weeks ago, but last time I looked at the gem buying guide, um, the price per carat of, of of quality tourmaline like this, you're talking about three hundred and fifty dollars per carat yeah. of quality tourmaline. You know, because we buy very differently to many other traders out there and we manage to secure the best possible prices. But as long as we recognise that they are of, you know, a, a, of premium grade. I mean, that's a rubellite right there in the centre of the screen. Mm, yeah, absolutely. You know, you've got an indicolite right next to Ooh, it. Green. There's Yeah, that's a Paraba colour. Yeah, absolutely. How, I'm not saying it is Paraba because I don't know oh. if it's got copper. Um, you've got chrome in there. Yeah. Um, you've got that colour. These are all natural, genuine tourmalines. And we're waking up to it here at Jewelry Maker, how beautiful this gemstone is. I've, all, I've said this so many times before. Take a pin, imagine putting it into an atlas with a blindfold on there. And then just imagine for a second, Mother Nature needed to have over 50 different chemicals, like a perfect cocktail, mm. in that one particular location at the perfect heat, pressures, um, uh, um, extremes to form this amazing gemstone it's Incredible. uber rare and that's why most gemologists love 
love yeah, tourmaline. Yeah. It's a proper gemologist. It is, absolutely. Um, okay, the finale. Now I'm excited oh. about this. I could sit here and I could sort of talk your ears off if you like about the beauty of topaz. We know it's a, a lovely colourless gemstone. We know it's a fantastically durable gemstone. So it's seven and a half on the most scale. So very, very wearable. Um, we know it's a, it, I hate using the word, it's an alternative to a diamond because let's be honest, Topaz is it's a so lovely nice. gem in its own individual yeah. right. It's actually, what I always say, a naturally brilliant forming stone. Yeah. So it loves to have beautiful clarity and it loves to show off sparkle. Did you know, especially when we're talking about the realms of these sizes, you can facet a Topaz more times than you can a diamond oh, so you wow. are going to get more brilliance yeah. more fire more dispersion wow. i could talk about that i could chew your ears off about that or i could just say to you that i've got a big quantity of these today you know it's going under 20 pounds and maybe not just buy a penny I'm going to ask, I'm, the approach to this, look, I, I don't need to go through a PowerPoint presentation. You can see it's beautiful yeah. quality topaz, can't you? Absolutely. You know, you, and, and you can bet your bottom dollar that when our, um, our amazing team would have seen something like this, they'd be like, yes, thank you very much. How many can you give us? Because yeah. we'll have them all. We will have them all. And therefore, we purchased the entire 208 quantity. In our mind, we're oh, also God. thinking, hang on a second... You know, think about those of you that will use these in between pearls yep. or other gemstones as an alternative, a beautiful alternative to a spacer that will use them in your tassels, that will use them in your looming. Mm -hmm. So they're going to need lots of. I don't think that when um, this auction closes, there are going to be many people that buy single strands. No. And it's fine if you do. I know what this is going to. I can see the quality. You can see how brilliant, uh, you know, how eye clean they are, how beautifully faceted they are. It's a long strand too, 35 centimetres. I know where this is closing. And I'm fairly certain those of you that have already confirmed will probably dial back and get more. So let's honour our promise. And then I'm going to do this, Alison. Surprise. <laughs> How many, how many would you buy? What do you mean, wood? Oh, okay. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. There's nothing to see here. I need how to many, to, to make that bracelet, what do you reckon? Four or five? Maybe? Yeah, yeah, possibly. Because there's a lot of tassels. I know you've got a lot in there. That would be, a, that's a really indulgent bracelet. How about if I, even if you, you know, narrowed it down slightly, how about if I said, a version of that bracelet yeah. would say about four or five strands is not going to be astronomically priced. Wow. Yeah. You see, that I would have thought would be a three, four hundred pound bracelet. Yes. And it probably would be yeah. in excess of that in a retailer, but I it's not going to be anywhere near. So there's the quantities that I was expecting. Yeah, yeah. And I still think it's going to change. So Devon's got four. Ray, Chantal, Helen, Ayrshire, Janie, Barbara, Suzanne, Sarah, Pauline, Shirley, Valerie. Um, I can't keep up with you. Uh, Antoinette's just got three. Helen and Glamorgan, Rhonda, Sandra, Pauline, Dorothy, Judith, Patricia. Do you know what? Those of you that are shop dialing through and shopping ahead right now, I don't know. We, we tend to pick up the vibes, don't we? I can feel it, if you like, like elephants through the, through the ground. I can pick up those vibrations, Ross. I, we know what, I know what you're going to do. And I think our amazing audience know how good this is going to be. Even if, though, we were to stop here. Let's, let's, let's try and be critical for one second. Okay. Let's try and be critical. Okay. Are these heavily included topaz? No. Beautiful. Do they have a slightly murky white colour or are they pristine? They're pristine. Definitely. Is the faceting maybe beautiful? Not up to scratch. No. It's beautiful. Is it a short strand? No. <laughs> it's 35 centimetres. 35 centimetres. It's longer than normal. So I think we all agree. Even here at 14.99, that's amazing. Now we're going to take it to a lower price point. Do 
So of all the strands that we've brought you so far in the showcase, we've matched the lowest price. Seriously though, look, 11.99 for 33 carats of absolutely pristine eye clean topaz. If I had 50, then obviously we'd be closing higher than what's on your screens, but I've got 208 available opportunities. I would so love to see someone recommission that bracelet. I've been oh, talking about it. that bracelet for probably about four years. I'd love to, to see it close up because I'm not convinced what's in the middle. But you could do but a technique I would do, like looming, couldn't I you? Would, I would loom it. I would, I, I mean, yeah, absolutely you could loom it. And it would look incredible. In fact, I would think it would look better than that. Yeah. Even if you just did the tassel. Oh, God. And that's yeah. probably what I would do because I'm a very basic jewellery maker. But even if you just created the most beautiful, dazzling white topaz yeah. tassel. Imagine that, those in earrings. Oh, absolutely. White topaz earrings. And we're at 11 99 So actually... It's not unachievable. If you've got maybe two of these strands, tassel, tassel per strand, how amazing are they going to be? Have you got Incredible. yours, Alison? I don't, I, well, allegedly, it hasn't popped up. That's okay. It's not refreshing. It did that to me the other day. I, oh, I know. <laughs> did that to me the other day. Do you think we're stopping there? Wow. Is that the price that I told you? It isn't the price that you told me. No. Look, threes and fours and twos. Was I, was I wrong? Are people going to make their confirmations and then dial back or add yes. to their order oh, yes. when they realise just how amazing this deal is? Again, being devil's advocate, is there anything that we would prefer or, or like to change in terms of the quality of the white topaz? No. No. Would I, would I prefer a different... Uh, maybe the cutting's not up to par. No, the cutting's amazing. Beautiful. Is it just a 20 centimetre strand or are we no. looking at a full 35 centimetre strand of beautiful, pristine, eye clean, dazzling lustre, full of fire? Are we going to melt the phone lines this morning, jewelry oh, makers? Yeah. I, I knew it. I knew we would. Big, beautiful, can you imagine? Beautiful tassel topaz oh, earrings. Gosh, yes. Or maybe along some amazing pearls that you might have in your amazing. stash. They'd be fabulous. Yeah. And we do the, tab uh, the tassel tops, don't we? We do. So even we I do. could make that. Yeah, absolutely. And Something. Yeah, uh, that would be incredible. Not even eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence. Wow. Today, oh, so Julie's got six. Janie's got nine. Maker in Northampton's got two. Pauline's got three. Sally Ann's got two. Sarah's got two. Nine pounds and ninety-nine pence only. Geraldine says I'll have three. Thank you very much. Devon's got four. Vera's multi-bought. West Midlands multi-bought. Um, Barbara, there we go. Now Barbara, Barbara. and uh, you're in your local vets then. Yeah. Hello, oh, you do amazing things. Um, Barbara, so you chose one initially, didn't you? And then you were like, for three, three, please. They're I knew gorgeous. that was going to happen. They're gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> the quality is unbelievable. Um, Daniel, well done to you. I've got so many of you getting involved. Karen, Wiltshire, Barbara, well done to you. Dorothy, Robert, I can't keep up. Generally, I can't keep up. We had 208 examples. Just, yeah. you know when I always say, um, topaz is a naturally brilliant forming gemstone. Yeah. It loves to have clarity. It shows off, in my opinion. You know, everyone goes, oh, it's a lovely alternative to a diamond. Never oh. mind that. Topaz is, is, is far more eye clean in its natural formation yeah. than a diamond is. You know, um, so many of you multi-buying. How are we doing on stock quantities, Roscoe? Um, here we go. Let's show. Oh, <laughs> okay, yeah. They're going to be on screen sellout today. Yes. If, like me, you missed out on the clear court showcase on Sunday, just just one. They were gorgeous, weren't they? I'm, I missed out on those. They were so beautiful. Oh, no. Didn't you get any of the stars? No, because I was presenting it. And it, well, I didn't even... Uh, Su Susie was poorly, bless her, so it was just me, and I couldn't even just slope off and discreetly order any. Alison! So. Yeah. Alison! Because <laughs> I, I missed out. Oh. Missed out. But it's okay, because there's still 48, and now it looks like I'm going to miss out on these two. But that's, that's the thing, you know, I clean colourless mm. stones. I love invaluable. diamonds. They are invaluable, yeah, yeah. but there's so many different alternatives to a diamond. Yeah. But, but you would never have a strand of diamonds. You know, I look at those Not with and I go, budget, anyway. wow, you could, you could right angle weave and do an amazing bracelet. They'd look um, incredible. Oh, beautiful. You could do a cuff. I've done it with, with um, Labradorite. I'd like to do a stretchy cuff with these. They would look... A stretchy cuff? Yeah, a stretchy cuff, and it is going to look insane. Oh. That's what I want to do with them. 
Honestly, and it's going to look insane. And they're perfectly Fabulous. spherical, so they're going to tessellate, yep. match it up beautifully. It'll Goodness work me. Perfectly. We are down to the final 25 of those. I would encourage um, checking out. So, Devon, Mary Claire, Pauline, Lynn, uh, Neil, and Linda, if you want that six, you'll see your name in a second. I would check out sooner rather than later because 22 is, yeah. Getting, getting close to, a, uh, uh, to an entire sellout. Sylvia, hello to you, Carol. Helen, good luck. Sandra, new customers, George. Listen, no, 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 no matter how many times, regardless of how many times you check well, out. Done. Well done, Devon, up in the quantity. Selena, well done, Dorset. Um, regardless of how many times you actually make your confirmations, you still only pay that one postage and packaging. Um, and of, obviously, everything comes with a full 30-day money-back guarantee. Not for one instance that I think you're going to need it. Because you're going to get these home and see, um, they look beautiful on your screens, don't yeah. they? Absolutely beautiful. When you see them in person, oh, <gasps> yeah. yeah. Oh, imagine that with black spinel or a black jade guy. Amazing. Or like that. Yes. Oh, amazing. Now I'll leave the final nine with you because they are looking like they'll be a sellout imminently. Um, but it is time, lovely jewelry makers, first time ever. I, I, I say that. I know Ellis has been on air. Just popped her head in once when I was. Oh really? Okay, okay. Are we still doing this? Okay. Okay, so that, yeah. Unfortunately, we haven't got Ellis with us, but maybe next time. But I'm still going to bring you the puzzles on her behalf. Now, there is a little surprise that comes alongside the deal a day. Um, and it's on pre-order right now. You're getting the amazing puzzle designed by Ellis herself. Um, the legend that is Ellis, mm. of course. Um, you're not just getting the puzzle as a little surprise <gasps> and a little welcome to jewellery maker. In her absence, um, Ellis has given us an opportunity to give away some pearls as well. So wow. you're getting both just as a little, uh, little, little thank Aww. you. Um, so, yes, yeah, stay with us. We'll be launching this for the very first time in a few moments. Your deal of the day. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. I've got some exciting news. I'm going to be debuting on Jewelry Maker this Wednesday at 10 a.m. with my collection of puzzles. Now, if you haven't seen them before in, and you love puzzling or you know somebody who loves puzzling, these, oh, there's so much to tell you. There's so many little nooks and crannies that I've covered as an avid puzzler myself to conquer the things that I hate about normal puzzles. And of course, there's a little gemstone puzzle piece in every single puzzle. Plus, because it is my very first show on Jewelry Maker, we're gonna have something extra special. So there's a little surprise coming your way this Wednesday, 10 a.m. on Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day 365 days a year if you have a question or query contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2 alternatively you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page jewelry maker happy to help jewelry makers did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee no matter the size weight or quantity of your order how many times you check out that day we will still only charge you that single pmp 
Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Sadly, Ellis can't Aww. be with us this morning, which is How a she shame. Better? Yes, but get well soon, my yes. lovely. But she has said we can still launch her puzzles in her absence. Now, so excited. as I think we've all established during that, um, <coughs> during that short VT with, with Ellis herself, who, by the way, for those of you that don't know her, Ellis is one of our regular presenters on our sister channel, Gems. Um, yeah, she's shopping TV royalty, quite literally, and a very lovely lady mm. as well. Um, but as we learned from that uh, um, short clip, she's an avid puzzler. And it got me thinking when I was uh, um, sort of, uh, um, well, thinking about today's deal of the day, I was like, okay, puzzling. I guess in the same way that people would pick up a book yeah. or their craft, they would pick up a puzzle yeah. or start a puzzle. I think they're very mindful. Yes, I totally, I get, I get you that. You get absorbed by them. Mm. I mean, I certainly do. I, I, You're an avid puzzler, oh, aren't you? Oh, absolutely. We have a, a, I know a Marcus, stack of he them. Launched, yeah. He launched puzzles too, didn't he? Yeah. So have, it, have you really? You've got loads of puzzles. Oh, God, those? absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get them for Christmas, for birthdays. We take them on the boat. On the boat, so on the canals, they have like a, a swap system. So if you've finished one and you're passing someone, you can swap puzzles with them on the... I it's never, brilliant, yeah. I never knew puzzling was such a... Oh, um, gosh, huge. Because I'll be honest, completely honest, I probably haven't done a puzzle since I was a child. Oh, gosh. Other than with my children, obviously. Um, yeah, well, it's like six pieces and I can figure that one out. But um, I'm, I'm not a huge puzzler, but I'm now thinking maybe it is something I should do. Because let's mm. be honest, what is craft all about? You know, why do we create other than to, you know, other than this, uh, I want to make jewellery, to uh, you know, for adornment or maybe as a business. But... We probably have started this hobby because it's something that we enjoy doing. Yeah. That you can, it's, it's escapism. Let's be honest, yeah. life is stressful. Yeah, yeah, it? it's, it's stress relief. It, it, takes you, it takes you out of the norm yeah. and lets your brain, it lets your brain run on neutral. How often can we run on neutral? How often is your brain ticking over doing this, doing mm. that, so yes. what the kids are, what we're having for dinner, what we've got to do, what have I got to finish? I've got to go to work. And it just lets your brain just have, just have downtime. Well, I was, it's interesting you say that because I was watching... Um, it's something on Facebook, actually, but was that was talking about how overstimulated our brains are now 
um, constantly, you know, yeah. even if it's a case of just the sound of a mobile phone humming in the background or there's the TV going and you've got the washing machine. Our brain is overly yeah. stimulated. How many people take a phone, a tablet to bed? Yeah. Guilty, totally yeah. guilty of that. But um, one of my ha uh, one of the no, I was going to say habits. Then one of the things I do before I go to bed is I'll either um, read a few pages of book. I, you know, I, I like to read, or I'll just play a game on my phone, which yeah. really is probably not me shutting yeah. off, is it? It's probably no. not helping me. Uh, I, f I do find reading a book makes me a little bit more tired and sleepy. Um, anyway, but this, these I didn't realise it was such a thing. Yeah as popular as it is. Oh, huge, huge. I mean, I've grown up with them. I've grown up with yeah. them. We, we've done, I think the, the largest we did was the 10,000. We had it laid down to wow. the floor. Yeah, that was it. We didn't have pets. That was, that was a big jigsaw puzzle. But, but 500 to, to 1,000 is, is what we normally do these days. And, 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 and can I just space. address the elephant in the room? Yeah. Am I allowed to? Okay. Because I know the question has been raised, what's this got to do with jewelry making? Um, it's it, in the same way with, as Mark said, when he launched his, if you, you tend, these are like-minded people that yeah. tend to like puzzling as well. I'm not saying everybody, no. not saying everybody, but puzzling is very, very, very popular, particularly with crafting. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's that end achievement, I guess. Most people I know who are creative like jigsaw puzzles. Yeah. I'm not saying everybody, no. but a lot of my friends who are crafty like doing jigsaw puzzles. Yeah. In fact, I'm just thinking now, and even more are popping into my mind, oh yeah, they do jigsaws. Oh yeah, they do jigsaws. Yeah, puzzles. love it. Yeah. And, it, and like you said, it's something that, you, it's escapism, it's something you yeah. can do with your partner, your, your friends, your, your family, whichever it might be, and it is a project, isn't it? And ultimately, the end result of this puzzle is gonna be absolutely beautiful. Sonic, yes. Um, I love it, and I love the attention to detail that Ellis has put into. Um, you get that one little feature, you can see it on the, the, the we have this puzzle already made up um, in the studio. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? Um, so you have the gemstone puzzle piece in there as well. And ultimately, it's, it's, it's one of our greatest passions. It's beautiful yeah. gemstones and jewellery, of course. So what a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful idea. Um, now, there are 450 and already on pre-order, 10% of the stock has yeah. gone. I'm not surprised. No, Over 50. Do you know, uh, and we will always have the passion for jewellery making, obviously. Yeah. Obviously, we will. Um, but, you know, do you read? It's, yeah. You know, do you read, would you read, would you read a book about gemstones? You know, same concept, isn't it, really? Yeah, yeah. Um, and it is, you know what, if, if it's not for you, that's fine. It's absolutely fine. I know or, like, they're flying already, but it's a beautiful idea, isn't it? Do you know, that's almost, I couldn't destroy that. I'm one of those people that if I did it, I'd spend all the hours doing that. I'd have to frame it or something like yeah. that. Yeah, you see, I'd redo them. I'll quite happily redo them. What, so you would break that back down? Yeah. No. Because the joy is doing it. The picture is stunning. The picture is stunning. You see, and you get different people have different ways to it. A friend of mine, if you go around to her house and she's got um, a jigsaw puzzle out, you're not allowed to touch it. You're not allowed? No, you're not allowed to touch it. Whereas in our house, anyone who comes around, if you want to fit a piece, you can fit a piece. Yeah. John and I are totally different. So are they always on your desks then? You're always well, on I've, got, I've got one of these fold, fold up... Um, Cases yeah. that, that you can fold it away, because like card tables. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's like an artist portfolio. Oh, okay. So you open it up and then you do the puzzle uh, on that, and it's it's sort of felt velcro. See now, you know what I get? Velcro, I get velvety. frustrated when Tiggy breaks up the puzzles that we've just done yeah. together, and we're talking about twelve pieces or something like that. <laughs> but, you know, um, hello, lovely Mark. Hello, my darling. I know, and again, another avid puzzler. Um, during 2020 lockdown year, Brit spent one hundred million pounds on jigsaw puzzles. Amazing! Am amazing! Uh, it, it is amazing, but it's something that. All the family can do together. Yeah. It's something that you can stop doing and go back to. You don't have to remember what line you were on. You don't have to think, oh, gosh, I was in the middle of a bit. Where was I? Try and work it out. Yeah. Where was I in a pattern? What am I doing with the recipe? Is it going to come out of the oven yet? You can put it down, pick it up, put it down, pick it up. My trouble is, if I start doing it, is dragging me away from it. I'll just do one more piece. I just you want know, to find that one. <laughs> it's, it's made me think about a film I watched recently, and I can't remember what it's called, but it starred um, Mila Kunis. 
Um, and she's um, a, basically an addict. Right. She's an addict, and uh, um, it, it's yeah, it's 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 a sad story, but it's actually a heartwarming story mm -hmm. at the end because obviously, obviously, she does recover. And all the way through this film, that's very emblematic, I suppose, of the for, uh, of the story. She's she has doing a puzzle. Example. She's doing a puzzle, and then when it's complete, yeah. she's, is where it is obviously a metaphor to her recovery. Right. But it's absolutely beautiful. Like, and she's puzzling. Yeah. Now you see, I I would I would take that analogy and say, you know, how often do we see people go on Facebook and say, I've lost my mojo. True. Take your brain away from it, stop thinking about it and do a puzzle. Now you could do this puzzle and at the end of it, come away with some inspiration and think, I finished the puzzle, I'm going to go and make a pearl bra uh, necklace now or a bracelet or some earrings. Love that. Absolutely love that. And again, so it's just it's it hobbies, can, aren't they? Yeah. Um, because this is the first time that we're launching Alice's Puzzle here yeah. as well, in her absence, um, 70 have gone on pre-order. She has also allowed us, as she said, look, have, can we do a little giveaway in addition? So um, discussions were made and it was agreed that you'll also get an amazing strand of cultured pearls. How fabulous is that? It's amazing. So you can be puzzling in your pearls if you want to. C can I have a um, box? You can, you can, you can. Already people queuing up. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. 60 second clock and that's when your graphics will appear. I do like the sound of a puzzle though. On, you, can, you can keep the lid. I'll keep that. Oh, 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 oh. hang on a minute. What's this? Oh, I didn't realise all these goodies. So let me just read this. I'll turn it towards you and we'll read it together, perhaps. Welcome, my fellow puzzlers, to the world of puzzles. Uh, my love of jigsaws began, uh, began when I was knee-high to a grasshopper. I can hear Alice saying that right now. Um, I have always loved and embraced the exciting adventure that I was about to undertake and the sheer joy of watching the puzzle unfurl uh, into its colourful glory enthralled me for hours and hours on end. Uh, at this time, I had to borrow them uh, from the local library, so, uh, so it is with the most utmost happiness that I now get to produce my very own puzzle collection. So whether you are flying solo or with a glass of fizz or puzzling with your family, enjoy. And that's lovely, Ellis. How beautiful. Love this. So amazing. Graphics alive. Get, Good luck, everybody. You get a poster. So this gives you an idea of what it looks like? Yeah. Ah. So my husband would be happy. So that's good, it's full size. You see, my husband and I have difference of opinions. I don't use the picture and he does. I need a picture. There's I no can't, way I would no, do I, it without a picture. I, cheat, I don't cheat, I, do, I don't use it's it. It's not cheating. <laughs> I'm with you, John. It's not cheating. How do you get that if you don't know? I'd be, that that would be pieces. hours of time. That so would be life. See, so you match the colour, the shape. Yeah. Um, hello, yeah. Karen. Oh, you've got to do the outsides first. Grid system to help you complete it if you need. Uh, yeah, do oh, the... I s yeah, yeah. Oh! At the back. On the back. They've got... Oh, I see. That's what that's for. So, so she did... So they kind of colour colour col col um, lettered on the back. That's amazing. That's Thank brilliant. you for that, Karen. Oh, yeah, so, look. So... Oh, no, so, so that doesn't go there. C's. Because that's a C and that's a D. Oh, uh, right. I, well, if... Hello, Miss Janet. Uh, you could drill the gemstone uh, pieces Please. and give it to a loved ones as they are a piece of... Uh, oh, that you. oh uh -huh. isn't that lovely? Ah. There's only oh. one gemstone piece, though. But they're the piece that completes you. Oh. That is so beautiful. I love that idea. Oh. So then your puzzle is just minus that one <clears throat> gemstone piece, which I quite like the right. idea of that because of the story. What are you going to say now? You're going to rock the boat, Alison. I feel like you are. I'm going to give you a challenge. Well, not you, because I know, and not John, because he wouldn't take it. But if you get this puzzle, all right, make it with the beautiful picture. Absolutely stunning, right? The next time you have to make it with just the zones. You have to do it on the reverse. That is a puzzle. That's a, that's a serious puzzle person's jigsaw. I've kind of do zoomed it. out already with that one. <laughs> I can't, I can't. John wouldn't. John wouldn't do it at all. He no. couldn't do it. I need the picture. Even with Tiggy's jigsaws, I need a picture. And that's saying something. <laughs> yeah, no, genuinely, I do. There's some Disney uh, jigsaws. I can't remember how many pieces there are, but I do have to... I need the picture. Now, we have how many? You get the picture. There... 
100 of these have gone already. Well done. What lovely gifts. Yeah. And great. I guess when you think about it, yes, there's a lot of there's 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 lots of people that we probably know in our circle that that, that a enjoy gemstones and jewelry, what's not to love. Um but also love puzzling. It's the perfect marriage, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Love it. I love it. I, 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 do you know what? I'm going to start I'm going to have a go. I'm done a puzzle go. in years. But it, but yeah, because you you were this one this one has got an aid on the back. It yeah. has got an aid I'll, on the I'll back, need which that is fabulous. Aid, probably how many pieces? A thousand pieces. A thousand pieces. Or what's the what's the the, the biggest pig, uh, jigsaw you've done? I think it was a ten thousand. Ten thousand. It was on the pieces. floor. It was on the we had to have it on the floor and we used to cover it with a rug. It's like a rug. Yeah. So uh, and you broke that up afterwards. Oh yeah. Well oh, you can't leave it no. there, can you? Ethan, are you are you a puzzler? Have you? It's a, a thousand piece, uh, the Sistine Chapel. Oh, the wow. Sistine Chapel. Yeah. And so you broke it up go. afterwards? Did you break it up afterwards? No. Oh, did you not? You've kept it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. See, I, See that's what I would do. Ethan, so there we go. Who knew? Ethan's a puzzler. You're a puzzler. Oh, I'm a massive puzzler. Me and John puzzle Amazing. We always puzzle on the boat. Hey, we on the boat. Yeah, yeah, we on take the boat. jigsaws on See, the boat. See, we used to play battleships on my, uh, my dad had a boat. We, we used to we, play battleships. We take games and sounds stuff. much more but educational. But actually, <laughs> because we've got the board that you can put put it yeah. down and take away, we, we do it on the boat. So hang on a minute. So even here at Jewelry Maker, what about the culture pearls? We haven't mentioned oh, we, we that. we forgot about that. How much do you think these culture, this culture pearl strand would be on their own? These are good. What do you think? Fifteen ninety nine. Marvellous quality. Though. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> the quality of the, of the puzzle. The thickness of the quality. Sorry. Go on. Pearl. Yeah. Even if this was, what, £15, I'd yeah. say, it would be a fair price because they're big pearls, aren't they? Yeah. And you can see that beautiful connection between the strand and, of course, yeah, Alice's yeah. amazing puzzle. We are not stopping at £49.99. pence. All the pieces come in a little chiffon. Well, I say little. It's not little. Yeah. In a big chiffon bag as well. So it's beautifully presented. Which is brilliant because how often do you get them in a bag and then you lose a piece? Yeah. You? This is fabulous. We're not stopping at 49.99. Are we not? No. There's the gemstone piece. No way near an actual fact. Now we had over 400. Half the stock has already gone. There are tons of you there. Lots of multi buyers getting involved. So maybe you're thinking about your fellow puzzlers as well. Um, sorry that Ellis couldn't be with us. Sadly, wow. she's unwell. £29.99 pence only. That's a good price. That is a very good price for a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle. How much? What's the price point of a thousand piece puzzle uh, normally? 30 to 40 pounds. Really? 35, 40. And this is and this, better quality. This, than and it's got most. a stand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're getting your strand of gemstones in this too. What is it about the quality that's make it that's exciting you there? Okay, so so a lot of jigsaws. I don't know what yours was like, but a lot of jigsaws you can get a wafer thin. Yeah. Um, and they peel and then they bend and then they don't fit together. The quality of the cutting is. I bet beautiful. you that would be something that Ellis would talk about. Yeah. The quality of the piece because she said about. You know, uh, um, you know, overcoming some of the yeah. details of puzzle, puzzling that she doesn't like. Well, you know? some of them are, are, and you're like, does it fit? Doesn't it fit? Because Wedge the pieces are, are so dodgy. Um, let me get a couple um, together. Hang on. Now, we're not stopping at 29 99 That's not your deal of the day price point as well. This might be the first jigsaw puzzle, texting if it is, that you have a go at. I'll be honest, I haven't done a I haven't done a jigsaw puzzle since I was probably a child, other than with my children, the smaller ones. But they don't count today. Like a proper jigsaw yeah. puzzle like this. I which mean, takes which takes that level of concentration then. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You are going to you are going to think about it. There's a lot of there's a lot of black, but it's not solid black. There is colour in the black. The yeah. the shade. It's not just solid black. But look at that, that's beautiful fit. Absolutely perfect. Um, you, can, oh. you can't see anything around it. There's no, there's no gapping. There's nothing. It's just so beautifully fitted. Yeah, you can see the quality. Can't yeah, and um, hi, Kathy. Saying this of it. When I was a child, we had loads of jigsaws. One particular <gasps> hard one uh, was circular. There was always a puzzle on the go. Ah, yeah. oh, yeah. that's lovely. I can't get my head around that. Yeah, because you can't even do the. That's tricky, isn't it? Well, because you haven't got the, you haven't got the. You still do an edge. Yeah. We used to have ones that were 
randomly edge it, oh. but you always do the edge first. I don't know anyone who does puzzles who doesn't do the edge. The edge first. first. Um, do the edge first. <laughs> um, Chantal, hello, lovely. Saying I'm making a puzzle for my uncle <gasps> when I'm going to glue, um, uh, which I'm going to glue and frame so he, it can go on his. Oh, wall. that's nice. a lovely idea, Chantal. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful idea. I like that, and it's kind of one of those things because we've mentioned, uh, you've heard childhood be mentioned quite a few yeah, times. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's something you can do together. Um, hello, Karen saying, Ellis made the pieces sturdy so the edges don't crease Grease. or bend yeah. with multiple uses. Thank you, Karen. I could see that. I could see yeah. that because she mentioned, didn't she, in that recording that she wanted to overcome some of the issues yeah. or the things that she hates about other puzzles. Uh, Judith, my mum loves a puzzle and it's her birthday next month. Oh. Present solved. There we there go. There go. Perfect. And yeah. you get, and look, you get the strand as two. well. I wonder if you spot a self one as well. This wasn't even the, the, the closing price point. So the thousand piece puzzle, yeah. a little write up from Ellis here as well, and the strand of genuine cultured pearls today. Oh, there's loads of you there. Lots of enthusiastic puzzlers. Make sure you take a photograph and tag Ellis oh, on social media. We're going down. Yeah, it wasn't your price. <gasps> £24.99. pence. bonkers. For a thousand piece puzzle of this grade, of this quality. With a £14 strand in With that. a £14 strand of genuine culture pearls. It's a tenner. So, yeah, basically. Charity shops, you get... I mean, I never buy a puzzle from a charity shop. Do you know why? Because you very rarely get a full puzzle. Yeah. <laughs> You get yeah yeah you would you I would imagine yeah I always see them in charity shops though we, we've done a few and ended up with missing one or two pieces. pieces well obviously you're not going to be missing any in this one no 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 and at that kind of one. price point oh oh hey, oh who's this oh you coming to show there us how he to is. do it you're going to do a puzzle Wayne oh, hi Wayne hiya <laughs> why what do you mean you've been up all night what you've been doing was it. Have you been puzzling? Have you? Yeah, a good one. Do you like puzzling? I'm really sad Alice was ill today. Yeah, she was poorly. She's so looking forward to oh, it. Oh, bless her. But she's ill, so I hope she gets well soon. Yeah. But you know what? We've got 449 of these. Yeah. We've only sold 200. We need to sell them all. So oh. give me a minute clock and we're going to go lower. And you get the strands. 24.99. What do you say? 14.99? Yeah, 14.99 yeah. all day long. for that. That means the puzzle's a tenner. Ah, uh, poor Ellis. Ten for that and ten for that. Amazing. What? What? what but, hang on. But that's, that's, only if we can see enough people. That's cheap for that. That's I a know. thirty-five pound jigsaw puzzle. I reckon so. Plus you get this. It's got, I've been on for a while, so. <laughs> I did some <laughs> crazy. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ellis, lots of love, bless her heart. This is quality as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get the poster. What are you doing? Is that size? Is that the right size? Oh. Yeah, that's that's real is scale. Is it a scale? It is. Yeah. It's it's just, <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> ah, brilliant. So you see what John would do? Would t we'd, he'd take this piece and he'd put it on the picture and find where it where it where yeah. it sits? Perfect. Perfect. <sighs> Another minute, clock. Not enough for you there. No. Oh my God. I, I love it. it I like the idea. We can just see your little face there, Wayne. Between the Is that harmonica there. <gasps> Come on. Um, yeah. Do you know oh, what? Yeah. I, I, I'm not, I've, I've not I've not been a puzzler for many 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 years, but I do like, I do think it's something that we should do. It's not life is stressful. <laughs> come on, come on. Can you do a bikini now, Wayne, please? <coughs> I've got a mankey then. <laughs> That'll do. Come on, do. get on them calls. And Come on. Oh, bless her. Abby's going. Come on. Bless Come her, on. bless her. Over 200 of these are gone already. You could gift that and keep that. Or that's what yeah. I was Give thinking. That and keep that. Or, that's that's or a keep crazy both. price. It is a crazy price. Because that strand could be 19.99, couldn't it? Yeah. Do you want to know a little secret? Mm. We nicked this from birthday, just so you know. <gasps> oh. What, the one we've got coming up? We nicked this from birthday. Does Georgia what? know? Caroline is not. No, oh, Ca Caroline's all right with it. Actually, Georgia wasn't happy with it. But. <laughs> 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 and these are the lovely red yeah, for pills. free. Basically. Wow. Basically. Ah, oh, livid. How many has yeah. gone? Uh, have we got enough there? One more clock, he says. One oh. more clock, come on. <laughs> Take a pound off. Take a pound off. Cheeky pound. Cheeky pound. pound. Puzzle in. 400. Put it up for Christmas. Oh, that's oh, a yeah, good yeah. idea. 
Yeah, yeah puzzle's quite a good gift to Take it on holiday. Isn't it? Holidays. Santa. Take it on holiday. So you can you can just take that and that without the box the, and it'll fit in your suitcase. It's just not a normal jigsaw, is it? The no, the quality. Yeah, yeah, you the can thought see the quality is amazing. The quality of these pieces is stunning. You've got stunning. two in one, really, haven't you? Did yeah. You, do you, like, you uh, have do you know that you can't <laughs> eat, eat, <laughs> even... You can do them that way. That's oh, a that, really hard jigsaw puzzle. That would stress me out. Haven't you ever seen the ones that are like just beans? Baked beans. Yeah, or just a colour, a paint <laughs> spill. I just go for the can and just have a can of baked beans. But, but no, but you could do, you could the do it the hard way I or the easier way. It. Yeah. It's beautiful. I'll and she has thought way. about the quality. I suppose if Ellis is going to put her name to it, she wants yeah. quality, doesn't she? Can I say, Ellis, if you're watching, this is... I'm, I'm a puzzler as well. I do jigsaws all the time. This is stunning. Stunning I'm quality. Puzzler, but my you can brain see the quality. Never switches off, so I really think I need. To you do overstimulation. It is. You, you get lost in it. Yeah. The only trouble yeah. is, is the time factor. But for me, I don't think I'll stop. To like, that's that's yeah, the time yeah, factor. Eight o'clock in the morning. I'll you be still like, be there. One more. I've done One that. More. <laughs> 1999 today, people. 1999. You should just get this. That's it. Boom. So you're getting all of it. No, yeah, you're Sorry. buying your puzzle. You're buying your puzzle and you're getting your uh, uh, cultured pearls for free. Or the other way around. Or the other way around, whichever way you look. Oh it's a bloody gosh. bargain. That's what it is. <laughs> it's a bonkers bargain. That really is. Amazing. I'm just going to reread wow. this card from yeah. Ellis. Message Sorry, from Ellis, Ellis in your absence. <laughs> um, I don't know if she's watching. Is she watching, bless her? Let's I hope, hope so. I hope not. Oh, you hope <laughs> yeah. not? Okay. You won't oh, be able to face front. her again. Ellis says, welcome, <clears> my fellow puzzlers, to the world of puzzles. My love of jigsaws began when I I was knee high to a grasshopper. Um, I've always loved and embraced the exciting adventure that I was about to undertake and the sheer joy of watching the puzzle unfurl uh, into it, all its colourful glory enthralled me for hours and hours on end. Um, at, this, at that time, I had to borrow them from my local library, so it was the utmost happiness that I now get to produce my very own puzzle collection. So whether you are flying solo with a glass of fizz or puzzling with your family, enjoy. Can I do both? Is that, is that yeah. allowed? Am I allowed to... Um, have the glass of fizz and do it with my family. Right out. Yeah. Why not? And the puzzle. So I know you I like said. a book. I like a book. So you do your puzzle and you have an audio book on. There you go. And you can read yeah. and do a puzzle at the same Whilst time. Drinking. Whilst drinking. Whilst drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken I'm dinner. Get <laughs> me five of these. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> Just so you know, the gemstone that is included within this amazing puzzle is an right. agate. So you've got a really beautiful black agate piece as well. Piece. You know, that is the one you've got to save to last, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. You've got to save that one to last. Call screens have gone completely nuts. We had 450. Bad. We definitely don't have anywhere near that quantity right now. Um, we're down oh, to. Wow. Well, um, all right, go on. Sorry, Ellis. <laughs> See you, Wayne. It is lovely. Isn't it, it is amazing. Absolutely. I'm with you, Ellis. It's, 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 it's like the luster of the pearls. You know, like, okay, there's a little shiny bit there. I need to match that little shiny bit next to this shiny bit. Yeah. Well, you don't, well you, you'd, you'd pull out. We, we do all the easy bits. So, so we'd be looking at the shells. You can. Yeah. You've got distinct patterns in the shells, then go onto the pearls, and then you get left with all the black. Yeah. <laughs> That's the harder bit. That's that that you need that that you need a daytime or a, a good bulb. Yeah, and a good light, I should imagine, yeah. as well. Now we're um, we're gonna wow. give this another Amazing. sixty seconds and then we're closing the deal of the day. That's it crazy. may well be an on screen sellout in actual fact. So El uh, Ellis actually said in that recording earlier on, she said, I'm addressing things that I hate about puzzles. Yeah. I would imagine so um something that she that would have referenced would have been the quality. Um, um, that some uh, some of the uh, puzzles actually come in. Um, this would have been another yep, factor, full size absolutely. Picture. Full size picture. This would probably be another. The fact that it's all in a bag as well. Um, how beautiful! A reusable bag. It it's is not a bit of wasted plastic. It is. What a lovely gift! Congratulations. Yep. They are limited edition as well. There's not many. These aren't mass get produced. And you get your cultured pearls as well. Wow. Love it. Look at the call screens, everybody. Look how popular this item is. Well done, everybody. Those of you get involved in your um, maybe your first puzzle. Puzzle. It's certainly going to be my first puzzle. Um, but lots of you there, lots of you multi buying birthdays. Oh, probably. I can't see. There's so many names there um, getting involved. Now, just after, um, when we close this auction, when you're dealing the day, just want to show you. Um, we are coming back with the most beautiful strand of Akoya pearls. I've got 50 available opportunities. Um, this is, maybe you struggle to choose your favourite colour of Akoya. Akoya comes in more golden colours, uh, the purer whites, but also the uber rare blue. Um, so, 
you've got all of them within this one strand and you've got a graduation of sizes. I know that thinking back to one of Charlie's first shows here, he actually created this. He had this necklace that had the different sizes that creates this almost scallop-like effect. Yeah. And of course, it was an investment piece. There are Koya pearls, um, rightfully so. Well, we're going to bring this to you today at the most unbelievable, unbelievable deal. There are only 50, though, um, to include your beautiful blues, which are one of the rarest natural colours. Make sure you stay on your phone lines. Make sure you check out your baskets. Lovely jewelry makers will be back after this. <laughs> Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. To know what's going on in the next show then head over to our website click on the TV guide this will tell you who's presenting which guest we have joining us along with what's going on in each hour if you ever miss a show you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show you can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy catch up on jewelry maker our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Oh, you're going to wow. be lovely, happy puzzlers, aren't we? Yeah, can't wait. Who's going to be the first to complete it? Oh, challenge as, um, if you choose to accept it. Has she got a Facebook page? Ellis, yes. Yeah. So you need to send her a, a picture on Facebook when you've completed it. Yes. After JM share you make. Yes. Yeah, do that'd that. That'd be fab. Yeah, See, that'd who's, be lovely. Who's the first one who's to get the their completed to complete puzzle their, uh, complete that beautiful puzzle? Can I take that one home? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> is that cheating? No, because that is cheating because you'll get it before everybody else <coughs> then. I know. Good old <laughs> race. Um, okay. So excited about this next round because it is absolutely beautiful and it's rare. I've, I know we've brought you some beautiful Akoya pearls, which I'll talk about the significance of Akoya pearls in a different uh, in a moment. But this has a difference because we talk about the five virtues of pearls, which is kind of like the grading factor. Really, there is more than five. Um, 
but let's simplify it. But these have, the second virtue is all about color of pearls. Firstly, is it natural? Is it not natural? But then to add to that almost like as a subtitle, um, subheading is the fact that it comes in different colors. So for example, a coir in particular, you can get your sort of traditional white pearl and then you can get the more golden shades yeah. and then you can get the uber rare blue. So this might well be the first time I've, oh, it certainly is me actually, I've ever brought you a coir of pearls which cover all of those natural shades. So what are a coir of pearls? Why are they as desirable as they are? I've said it every single time that I've had the privilege of actually speaking to you about this, uh, about this location of Pearl. Firstly, they were the first. Historically, they were the first. It was Mickey Moto who invented, of course, uh, the culturing process, and it was within this location. So they have the history. And they are regarded as one of the top three, Akoya, Tahitian Pearls, and South Sea Pearls. They're the pinnacle, basically. Yeah. They're the best of the best. Um, but we spoke about the history. Well, I found this article, and I always reference it every single time. It describes why Akoya pearls fetch higher price points than many other locations out there, but also what makes them so beautifully special. Um, with the fashion world embracing pearls like never before, there is quite a buzz about pearls these days, prompting Vogue to ask earlier this year, are pearls the new diamonds? I think they are. Pearls, yeah. I think they are. Yeah. You know, they're, they're everywhere the, at the moment. The, yeah, absolutely. With their pristine white, uh, with this, the pristine white wonders of Mother Nature showing up on runways, red carpets, and IG feeds, everybody is talking about pearls. And we do mean everyone, not just the ladies. This gender fluid gem has captured the limelight in both male and female celebrities as fashion houses turn to pearls as a powerful symbol of status and sophistication. We're just showing you here a photograph, not only of the Akoya Pearl Farm, um, uh, but also the mollusk. Look how small the actual oyster is. Yeah. In exactly. comparison to like a South Sea or a Tishan Pearl, which can be almost dinner plate yeah. size. Yeah, I remember Charlie Barron fetching that, that big one, one in. in. Yeah, the golden lip oyster. Mm. So one can be like dinner plate size and granted they'll have matured for many, many years. These, uh, these oysters also have to mature before they start the culturing process. But instead of being dinner plate size, they are about three to five, uh, um, three to five is centimeters. centimeters in their diameter. So significantly smaller, yeah. palm of your hand sort of size, basically. The Akoi culture pearl uh, forms in, and I always get this wrong, the pink tarda, Fukata oyster. Uh, these oysters are thriving in the hidden bays off the coast of Japan in cold salt waters of the Pacific Ocean. Um, all the koi pearls come, uh, yeah, all the koi pearls absolutely come from Japan. Um, these pearls are harvested in the colder months from just December to March, whereas, you know, your South Sea and your Tahitian pearls are harvested all year round. Yeah. A koi pearls, it's only between December and March. So you're talking about a three month window. Which which is amazing. Straight isn't away it? is going to condense yeah. the availability. So it's much, much harder, I would imagine, to get hold of Akoya pearls. Um, um, the, uh, they produce, the pearls, sorry, produce the highest thickness of nacre. Um, the highest quality Akoya pearl grows in the ocean for up to two years to allow sufficient time for the pearl to form a thick nacre and wonderful luster. Do you want to see what this luster is all about? Because mm. I've just clocked Adam's recording. That's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. So let's continue reading. Oh, um, sorry. Uh, Akoya pearls are the smallest producing pearl oyster, uh, measuring three to five inches, as we just said, in diameter. It therefore produces smaller pearls than the oysters in South Sea and Tahitian. Uh, Akoya pearls genuine range in size between three and nine millimeters with the occasional rare 10 to 10 and a half millimeter. The Akoya pearl is known for its superb luster and its perfectly round shape. Akoyas also have a beautiful color consistency, making them often the pearl of choice for women's first strand of Aww. pearls. It's the go-to. Again, if you think about, you know, um, we're going to see a lot of royal attire aren't yes, we, over the course of coming weeks, yeah. lots of um, amazing pieces of jewellery. I would put money on the fact 
that there will be some Akoya pearls oh, in that in that lineup. I would be absolutely amazed if there wasn't. Yes, and probably yeah. the immediate royal family as yeah. well um, will be wearing. I should imagine this beautiful gemstone, but. You, they come in a pretty penny. And I'm only going to talk about the white for right now. Right now, The white Akoya pearls are probably the more plentiful. Well, in fact, they are. They are the more plentiful. And they're the, more the, ones, they're the ones you see on the high street, and I can easily make a comparison. Now, I've shown you this before. Um, you know, a necklace in Blue Nile, for example, much smaller than the size that you're seeing right now. You're talking over three grand. And they're the white, just the traditional white. When you start stepping into the realms of blue, Blue, natural blue Akoya pearls, I can't which is that. what these are, you start talking about significantly mm. higher price points. Significantly higher. Not 3,000. You might be talking, I don't know, five, six thousand pounds. Um, speaking personally, like I mind making comparisons wow. outside. There's 10 mils in here. Go back to that original article where it says, there, there, there sorry. No, next. There we go. Uh, halfway down, Akoya pearls generally range between three to nine millimetres with the occasional rare 10 to 10 and a half millimetres. Yes, you are seeing 10 millimetres in this strand. Yeah. But it's not just the size rarity, it's the fact you have natural blues in here too. Unbelievable. Never seen this before. For my, in my opinion, not it. On silk, put it with an 18 karat gold clasp. You know, Perfect. you should... Yeah, you don't. You shouldn't be surprised by me saying that. I suppose, but it's not the sort of thing you need anything complicated for. No, it, 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 you don't want to do. You know, I wouldn't put one of those in a mega complicated wire work piece. No, you, the, the pearl is the pearl is the the shining yep. star of this. You know, um, like you said earlier, I'd put I'd maybe put some of those zircon with uh, the topaz with it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, look at this. Yeah. The one we can find, one that we can find similar to the sizes that you get yeah. in this. So there's a nine and a half millimeter, pure white. So it does differ um, with diamonds. Okay. Okay. But you're still talking 2,600 pounds for one. And it's, believe me, it's not, they're not yeah. going to be huge diamonds, are they? What are the size no. of the diamonds? I'm trying to look now. It's an 18 karat gold. Okay. Amazing. Um, cable that. chain comes with that as well, but no, it doesn't actually tell you the carat weight of the diamonds. Two thousand six hundred pounds. The reality is, though, the blue colour of a koya pearl is far rarer, mm. far, far, far rarer. Okay. Yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. They say that Akoya pearls are celebrated for their luster. And they have this thick, a thick nacre which equ equates to that luster, basically. Why? Because they do form within pristine cold waters. I'm not going to disagree with you there, Ross. Ross is saying these have got to be some of the best that we've ever seen. I'd agree. And do you know what? Even if I was just talking about one, and I'm going to show you one of the smaller ones, that on its own, and I know what this is going to, Anyone, whichever it is, choose a favourite. One individual, look at this one here. One individual Akoya Pearl. I know what this is going to, should be the price wow. of this strand. Yeah. You've got natural golds, natural blue stroke silvers, natural whites. And yeah, 10 millimetres. Uh, remember the question that I put to Charlie Barron some time ago. Put into um, perspective, what's the rarity of a 10 millimeter Akoya pearl? I asked him that question and he said, that's like finding a three carat diamond. Wow. Solitaire. So we are talking real rarity. Yeah. And they should carry a high price point. Now there are 50 available. You won't believe where this is going to. In fact, Alison, I'm going to show you. Oh. If you are looking for something that you could pass on potentially to future generations, yeah. yeah, or a legacy piece for you to obviously, yeah, you're not reading that wrong. You're not reading that wrong. One of those 10 millimetres should be that price, shouldn't it? Wow. I know. One of those 10 millimetres, in fact, one of the smaller sizes. Wait, go back to that one. Never mind the diamonds, never mind the 18 karat gold. One single nine and a half millimetres on Blue Nile is 2,600 pounds. Is that a typo? Is there a zero? No, that's not a typo. No, it's not a typo. 
It, it could be, though, couldn't it? It should be. Yeah. Wow. If you love your Akoya pills, start dialing through, because oh I think I generally think this is probably one of the best deals ever. 10 millimeter sizes. And it's not just oh one. How many 10 mils have I got in here? One, two, three, four, five, six 10 mils in this strand. The graphics are live. Wow. Good luck to each and every single one of you. It's absolutely beautiful. Here we go. Another Akoya floating pearl um, pendant. Seven and a half millimeters on 18 oh, carat white gold. 300, just one. <clears throat> Again, the gold chain is probably not a huge amount. Uh, I don't know. So let's take a hundred pounds off. So it's 300 pounds for that one pearl. Yeah. And it's far, far, far smaller. There are 50 available opportunities with your beautiful natural bluey oh, silvers, which is the rarest color of all um, in your Akoya pearls. Good luck, everybody. Good luck to each and every single one of you. I've just noticed, one second, Ross. I've just noticed there's an, um, a graphical error. We will get that corrected. You are buying absolutely Akoya pearls. You do get your five to your 10 millimeter size um, and they are certified completely and utterly natural. Um, a legacy opportunity. Good luck, everybody. You, Alison said that has to be a typo. It I totally does have agree. To be a typo. I totally agree. Look, you can get a nine and a half millimeter um, Akoya pearl See, in the white color. That's not a typo, no. That's That's... That's fine. I'm happy with that. Totally, it's a full strand. Yeah. We bettered the price of that single. Yeah. But we're not stopping there. I know. This I is know. why I say, and yeah, I probably am jumping on my, you know, on my soapbox. Probably, we should have gold. Yeah. We need gold here at Jewelry Maker. I'm with you. We should have 18 karat gold. I agree. And all right, yes, they're going to be a different price point. Yeah. Yeah, they are. They're going to be more of an investment. But if I'm buying a strand like this. I'm not, look, this is only my humble opinion. I, I'd, there's nothing wrong with silver, but I wouldn't put silver with these. I would put gold or platinum even. Because that is you basically saying they, they are worthy of that. They are yeah. worthy of that precious metal. Even here at £2,499. Please remember, let's go through the five virtues. Size, um, there's 10 mils in here. Yeah. Then we start talking about shape. You have near rounds, I would describe these as. Look at that one there, sorry, hang on. Seriously, look at that. Yeah. That's unbelievable. I'm sold, even if, even if I just got that one. Yes. I'm more than happy. Okay, so, so shape. Size, shape color are they natural yes when it comes to a koya remember that subtitle do i have the blues do i have the golds and those beautiful pristine whites and then some then we start talking about the nacre remember these form over two years um, to get the thickest amount of nacre, which it equates to the next um, of your virtues, and that is the beautiful, beautiful luster. Stunning quality, amazing quality. Yeah, you've got the odd characteristic, but I, I celebrate that because it showcases that they are genuine pearls, not simulants or fake. Even here at £1,499. £1, now, we've referenced that single, individual, Akoya floating pearl pendant. You've probably got seven and a half millimetres in this strand. In fact, yeah, definitely. I can't believe we're about to say this, but it is the blue. The blue colour commands a much higher price tag, which you've got within this strand. But, and we're doing it anyway. Look, we need to see you all starting to check out because I tell you what, this next price crash is not even our closing price. And we're going to match... Remember that single seven and a half millimeter on 18 karat gold chain? That one. You're paying for the pill, not the chain so much there. Let's be honest. Let's match that price. Let's match that price point. For an entire strand 
of natural, genuine Akoya oh pearls. £399 oh only. God. Let's put it up to the neckline. Could you imagine going into any jewellers no. anywhere and saying, can I have a full strand of Akoya pearls for £399, please? They'd say you can have some freshwater pearls. Yeah. You can get some freshwater pills for yeah. three hundred ninety-nine pounds. You can't get a coir pill. You might get one tiny one. Pounds. Yeah, Black pearl. Oh, genuinely. Oh, there you go. First There's one. First time Gemporia launched a coir pills. Yeah. I was working on our US channel, um, and I remember, and I've still got it at home. I have. I bought one single, and it was the blue color, blue yeah. colored coir pearl natural and it's got gold a, a little nine carat gold heart that surrounds it um and I, look i'm going back some years don't remember exactly but it would have been a triple figure price point mm -hmm. even as a member of staff now we're talking about an entire wow. 38 centimeter strand five to ten millimeters in their size I agree, the finest lust we've ever seen, then, says Roscoe. Yeah, I, I don't disagree with you there, because you've got the blues. I was going to say, I love the blue ones. I've not really seen the blue ones. They're gorgeous. I bought some Akoya pearls from Jewelry Maker last week, and I'm now thinking this would be an amazing strand to add to it. Oh, was those what we had? To yes. Mix, to mix, mix together, creating over the top of the head oh, necklace. Oh, gosh, yes. Alison. Yeah. We've but, got 50. You saw what, you know, what the target price was. Yeah. Is it anywhere near what we've just seen? No. Should it be? Yeah, it should be more than what we've just seen. £299. Crazy. Let me just for a second. See that there? These are gorgeous. That Akoya pearl just there with the blue overtones. Shouldn't be £299. This one here, that bluish one, shouldn't be £299. It's a huge Akoya here. Look at that luster. Shouldn't be £299. Natural, classic, pure white. Oh, with a little bit of a, little bit of a, um, yeah, almost like a rainbow overtone, but also you've got a, almost a pair of greener drop shape there. That one there, that champagne, shouldn't Beautiful. be 299 pounds. Look at that one, it's pristine. Even if you got hold of this strand and separated them yeah. individual solitaires, 50 pounds each. Wow. You're making a massive profit. They shouldn't be 50 pounds each. Look at that. It's a perfect pearl, would we all agree? Yeah. And I know you've got some which are more drop shapes here. You've got some. They're not meant to be colour matched, by the way. They're not meant to be. We are celebrating the colours of this wonderful location. If you look just by my finger, you've got the white, the champagne and the blue all in one. I oh, know. How oh. crazy is that? Well done to the collectors that have already got involved. That is just again oh i know it's the best luster we've seen it's it, it's almost got that metallic sheen to it hasn't it it's 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 just stunning that must have been so hard to photograph because of the reflection i know because you can see you can see it in there oh wow oh my god we're not stopping there we should for sure be stopping there this is crazy. for pearls of this amazing quality we should be stopping here. Uh, how many uh, how many times do you hear us casually mention legacy heirloom? Once in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah. Genuinely, this is. They form just three months of the year and, and rightfully command an astronomical price point. As we venture into a moment in history, you know, where yeah. we celebrate, of course, um, the coronation. Are you going to be wearing your luxury, your high-end gemstones? Are wow. you going to be wearing Akoyas like so many members of the royal family and probably royal family around the world as well? Yeah. But the difference is you're not going to be paying just £299. You're going to be paying significantly less because, incredibly, we have an amazing 50 quantity, or rather we had. Good luck. First come, first serve, can't say any fairer than that. The one, the 10 mils on their own shouldn't be £199. No, Absolutely incredible. Be. That is, that has to be one of the lowest prices I've actually mm. ever seen of Akoya pearls of this size. Um, and the fact that you have got the different sort of palettes, if you like, in this beautiful mm. location. Akoya, South Sea and Tahitian. They are the big powerhouse locations there. What people most, uh, most people aspire to. Alison, some forty-nine pounds and seventy-five pence on split payment, which is zero percent oh, wow. interest-free. I had noticed the split. Can you payments. imagine? So wait, wait, wait a second. Forty-nine pounds yeah. and seventy-five pence. 
Every single one of you can get hold of it on split payment. You're not going to pay masses of interest on no. this, even though no. they are amazing, luxurious pearls. Um, the ultimate, some might even say. You could be wearing this um, and over that time frame, be uh, sort of be paying it off. Press your option one key on the phone lines. Well done, Selena in Sussex, Deborah, Jane, Cambridge, a new customer, one in three, amazing. Jean, congratulations, London, amazing to see you as well. Not them, put them with your, what? Oh no, yes. Oh yes. Did you just give me a little double age ra raise, right, uh, I, I can't talk today, sorry. <laughs> a little double eyebrow I raise. I did. Mm. You can't see it's under the fringe. <laughs> <clears throat> what I love as well, I've just noticed when you were displaying it on there, it's beautifully balanced. Yeah, they are. They, they were the so mirror so image, the no. mirror image, yeah. yeah. I'll show it like wow. that. Wow, that's stunning. Um, Alison, yeah. is that the price I showed you? No. Should it be going any lower? No. No, definitely not. I think we all know. Let's be honest. We all know that's I an know. amazing deal, isn't it? Don't we? I love this you know, you could pop along to your high-end jewellers. You could pop along to Blue Nile. You can pop along to uh, um, Asile, as we've just said earlier on. You could go to places like, uh, I don't know, Bond Street, Hatton Garden, Paris, and you can see Akoya pearls. You're not going to see £199, <laughs> though. You're going to see four figures and then some. Well, in 60 seconds, we are going even lower. Oh this has to be for the quality. But quality of so many factors, though. Quality of the size. It's, it's almost unheard of to see a 10 millimeter or Koya pill. And I know if Charlie was with me right now, that's exactly what he'd be saying. You know, yeah. 10 millimeter Koya pearls, that's like a three carat diamond. You know, you know what did I just say? <laughs> I just, when you said if Charlie was with you, my thought imme immediately went to King Charles. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, he'd yeah. be Charlie saying the same. King Charles <laughs> would be saying exactly the same. Sorry. But yeah, the equivalent Sorry. of a three carat diamond solitaire. Here we are casually yeah. bringing, in fact, I know he, get, he, he used to get a little bit disgruntled and he was like, oh, goodness me, I can't source them for that, didn't he? Yeah. I can't, you know, I, I can't source them at that price tag. You know, just the, the amount of work that goes into the love, the tender care. Wait a minute. Stop, 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 stop. Size, 10 millimetres. Do you own a 10 millimetre Akoya Pearl? No. Nope. No, nor me. I definitely don't. In fact, the jeweller that I worked at way, way, way back when, they didn't have 10 millimetre Akoya Pearls. They had much smaller, seven, eight millimetres, which is still generous. Did they have the natural blues? No. Nope. I don't have natural blues either. I have the white ones. Did they have the overtones and the luster? This strand is exceptional. Incredible. An opportunity to own genuine certified Akoya pearls from five, amazing, mm. 10, the rarest. They say it on our style. We actually are struggling to find a comparison with the 10 millimeter size because they are unheard of, like hen's teeth. Yeah. Just, you know, it, it, they are unheard of in that size. You think about an oyster that could fit in the, uh, into, into the palm of your hand and then imagine a t that, that little oyster producing a 10 millimetre oh. size. Yeah, it, 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 it's a rarity. Good luck, everybody. Crazy. £179 is an absolute giveaway deal. Half the stock out of the 50 quantity opportunities has already gone. £44.75, goodness me. Good, it is madness. Mm. Goodness me. There should be four numbers on the top line there. Yeah. It should have four numbers. Um, Jacqueline, Patricia, Selena, well done to you. Jeffrey, Derbyshire, Patricia, Judith, Deborah, Jane. Again, you've got to check out your baskets. I can see a lot of you with three in your baskets. If you want that quantity, I only have 21 available um, within the vault. Once they're gone, they are absolutely gone. Um, and you know that we've got fantastic relationships with uh, lots of luxury pearl suppliers all around the world. But even they, if, if they were sat here in the studio, would kind of scoff at £179 yeah. pounds and say, yeah, that's unbelievable. Just the whole geography of it. You know, even if we take out into consideration those pearls are lovingly, lovingly cared for. 
the, the waters are filtered, you know, the temperatures are filtered, the barnacles are chipped across the, off the surface of them so that they oh, can feed amazing. beautifully, you know. Um, yeah, you need to check out to make your uh, make, make these your own. It's pointless having them sat in your basket. Make your confirmation. Remember, you still only pay that one potion packaging all day. The final 10. Are we cutting in, ducking into a break soon? No? Okay. Oh. Uh, I, I, again, <laughs> I am absolutely asking because I bought some Macoya pearls from Jewelry Maker only last week and I was genuinely and mine aren't blue they haven't got this lovely blue or champagne like colour mine was just the I mean, lovely white pearls, uh, white Akoya pearls, which were more expensive than what's on your screens right yeah, now. Yeah. Um, I just think mixing the two together would be amazing. They'd look amazing, wouldn't Beautiful. they? Beautiful. And I'd probably put the blues a little bit lower down yes, um, in the centre. Yeah, in the centre of the design. Margaret, you've done it. Lancashire, well done. Multi-buying, you're not alone multi-buying. Jan, congratulations to you as well. London, I've got the final seven opportunities. It is all about those bluish overtones. We know that's the rarest colour of your Akoya pearls. Um, and they very much a celebration within this strand i'd love to see the finished pieces of jewelry you know just knotting them maybe um i mean you're the designer so you can come up with something absolutely beautiful but yeah i i do think you need to keep it simple yeah yeah keep it traditional because yeah. there's acquire pearls yeah and if you can if you can go for gold Go for gold or, yeah. or even a platinum um, just because I've got no problem with sterling silver. Look, I put sterling silver with a lot of my jewellery designs. But when we are talking of something of this ilk, it does deserve your high end yes. precious, uh, precious Definitely. metals. Um, and then you are, you know, truly elevating uh, mm -hmm. um, the valuation of this piece. I would also say get it valued. Yes. For insurance, for insurance purposes. purposes. Yeah. Not just for ego, for insurance purposes. No, because replacement cost is going to be way 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 oh, over what oh you're paying for that strand me, yeah. way over that's why we value items it's be, just in case you know if they get lost or stolen yeah uh, how much is it going to cost me to replace it well it won't be 179 pounds um the final two good luck people will be missing out on this opportunity so i will keep wow. everything crossed for you all um i'm going to stick with um your high-end oh. gemstones now we've got 15 of each of these opportunities. <gasps> One are from our coveted collection. So again, oh my goodness. Uh, Ross. Yeah. A strand of them. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the difference now. Um, so, okay. This is the honey. Oh, seriously, look at that. Look, even from there. Can you see the play of colour yeah. even from there? These are triple A grade Ethiopian opals. Oh, my days. These have been on air once. Now, this is the honey Ethiopian. And then you've got your traditional body colour, Ethiopian opal, also out of the cover to collection. So basically, let me, just, let me just explain the difference. One's more of a yellowy colour, this one. And the other one is much more of a white colour. Still got, both got an abundance of play of colour. Ethiopian opal, we're going to be talking about a little bit during, uh, well, now and also in the next hour. This is a gemstone that forms out of, uh, after Spoon. millions of years. And it's basically uh, um, water, basically, that has become tracked trapped between cracks and crevices within the host rock. How those silica spheres sort of arrange themselves, if you like, equates to how much play of colour you get. Rarest colour being red, because it has the furthest distance to travel um, to the observer, a.k.a. you and I. Look at the sheer volume of red play of colour. Yeah. And these are totally and utterly natural. Um, I agree. The re look, genuinely, when we say, oh, it's the best I've seen, Genuinely, they are because this is the, this is triple A graded um, and hence coveted. That's the title behind this collection. It does come boxed, as you would expect. Um, Hi, Jackie. I have these, and they are just amazing. Um, I keep opening them. What was that? I keep opening them to have a look. Um, hello, Caroline. Saying, ladies, I own this strand. Stunning. I bought two last time. <sighs> Caroline, they are absolutely beautiful. Well, we've only got fifteen left. So they haven't been on air since the 10th of March. They, every single coveted opportunity is very closely guarded by the powers that yeah. be because they're the best that we have. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's like, that's like us walking into a jeweler's and saying, I want to have the best diamond that you own. 
Yeah. I want the best ruby that you own. I want the best emerald that you own. I want the best opal that you own. The opals we have, I've never seen any opals no. like them. The Ethiop Ethiopian opals are just sublime. Well, in particular, this location as well, because yeah. Ethiopian opal has a, a translucency, effectively. Yeah. It's not as opaque as what you might find. Um, and we've got to remember here in the studio, you don't see the play of colour um, that you will do at home. But yeah, so, so Ethiopian opal has got more translucency than you would find in most Australian opal. So for me, if you were to look at a snow globe and it was opaque, you're not going to see that play of colour. No. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Whereas a slow a snow globe, which has a translucency, you are going to see that beautiful colour. I'm going to borrow this black board for one second and take the strand out of the box itself. Um, it's always a shame here in the studio because we have so many different floodlights surrounding us that it's not always possible for us to show you the um the play of color but believe me there it's there in abundance it's triple a graded triple a graded beautifully graduated oh, and wow. also faceted so if even here in the studio see, so your opal looks like this wait until you see it at home i, I can see it yeah, I, know. I can see it here. I mean, the reds in there are amazing. Look at that. Yeah, that flash right there. Wow. Every single one of them's got colour. Yeah. It's, well, it's AAA graded. Yeah. We we're saying it's the best that we have. Are you ready? Mm. So even here at £299. In 60 seconds, though, we've got, what do you say, 15, Ross? 15 of each opportunity. Your AAA graded coveted. This is the honey. I love the honey opal. Some time ago when, uh, um, well, I think really when I started seeing Ethiopian opal here, and it was around about, probably about 2014, um, when the second deposit of Ethiopian opal was actually found in, in the Wello region. Um, that's when I bought my first Ethiopian opal, and mine was the honey. I just think it actually really complements the, the, the play of colours um, that you can see. Um... Two nine nine. Wow, they're just gorgeous, aren't they? Look at that. That one red, the one which is predominantly red. I'd have yeah, to put that. Yeah, on. yeah, yeah. Mind you, yeah, the one next to it. Every single one of these. Look at the colour. I know. I know. Everybody pays that final low price tag. I look. We don't often see opal faceted, and I actually love it faceted. It's harder to do. Oh yeah. But it's almost like a stained glass window, isn't it? Yeah, As it, it goes is. through. It's beautiful. £99 pounds only or £33 wow. pounds on your split payment. Uh, it, 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 I always, in particular, Opal, take my hat wow. off. Because if you think about it, if you cut too much, <coughs> well, you're not going to see the plate yeah. of colour. If you cut too much, then you're going to cut it away. So mm. that's why it tends to be in your cabochons and uh, yeah. sort of your slices. Yeah. Um, le less frequently seen in its faceted form. So this has got the honey uh, colour. There's only 15 available opportunities we have got the um, pristine white coming in a few moments time absolutely beautiful examples the full spectrums of color um, and again that's all down to those magnificent ancient millions of years silica spheres that are perfectly arranged wow. to create this uh, this this magical well very distinctive phenomena stay where you are on those phone lines okay let's bring you you get the box let's bring you the more the whiter colour, basically. Ah, immediately you'll see the difference on the recording. Yeah. It's more of a bluish colour, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. <gasps> wow. I love this. You're almost getting fire. You know, I know you get fire, opal fire, but, but it looks almost like, you know, you've got those yellows to the reds. Yeah. Oh, like it's like a fire opal, yeah. Yeah, yeah. like dispersion, I get that. Um, Look at that one coming For me, it's just like a firework one. display. It's going it? off in a gemstone. Perfect. In 46 seconds, I know, it's mind blowing. Every colour going under the sun, that one. Gemologists will say anything over 90% play of colour is, is an exceptional opal. You have got countless exceptional opals. Um, hello, Gloria. Hi, Elle. I have two of these opals. And when you open, you will be overjoyed. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I can see that too. The quality is unbelievable. Yeah. Thank you for that, Gloria. I hope you are lovely. Um, well, limited also. Triple A grade. It's the best that we've ever sourced. 
you know, there's not a single percentage, not a tiny, tiny fraction of each of these faceted rounds that doesn't display colour, whether it be blue, white, green, yellow, red, orange, pink, whatever it is, you've got that colour, yeah. haven't you, across the entirety of each and every single one of these wow. opals. Today, £99. Maybe it's your birthstone and you've been looking for the best nice. ever. <coughs> unbelievable deal. Yeah. Absolutely unbelievable. But make sure you do check out those baskets. They are limited. They come beautifully boxed as you would um, as you would expect. The final uh, the final few, yeah. It's gonna be scarce. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah, with, yeah. As with all gemstones, you know, Mother Nature doesn't throw up the uh, sort of the, 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 the best um, that's a terrible expression. Let me rephrase let me rephrase that. Mother Nature yeah. does not offer um, your pigeon blood rubies no. in abundance. No. No, very free, very frequently anyway. This is the equivalent of. I'm going to leave it with you. Well done to every single one of you. I know we've got some amazing opal coming yeah. up with Alison as well in the masterclass. Now, last week, uh -oh. we had some Branca Onyx covers. I noticed we? those. And um, we did some pretty amazing closeout deals with Claire. Prices were bonkers. Are you, do you know what we're talking about then? Yes. Yeah. What happened, do you remember? I do. Under five pounds? They were silly. But when Ross said at the beginning of the show, L, under five pounds for all of these, I was expecting individuals. Yeah. Not parcels. They, it blew me away, it really did. Because yeah. I'd had the Bronco Onyx um, rounds. Yeah. And made something, and, and I was like, no, no. <laughs> it's Should crazy. We do it again? <laughs> 10 millimeter. Pretty. Natural Bronca Onyx. And they look beautiful set, didn't oh, they? Oh, they're stunning. They've just got this wonderful ethereal light mm. translucency. Natural. I'm going to do it again. Mm. Ross says, we're going to take it under five pounds. Wow. So you might be going, oh, okay, so, so, so 20 pounds. That's amazing, 20 pounds for this parcel. They're all 10 mil, so I can mm. use it with my calibrated sizes. I can use it with some of the mounts that are available yeah. on your website. That would be great, isn't it? Five pound per natural white onyx. Crazy. No, 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 that's five pound for the entire parcel. The entire parcel. You can definitely watch that show back with yeah. Claire. Um, I'm trying to think when it was. Uh, was Last it Friday? Saturday. Saturday. Was it Saturday? Tell you what. What? Next price crash. Bearing in mind that that's working out at about... Uh, that's pound twenty-five each right now. We're at a pound each right now. And they're also, what, three oh, carrots God. each? Each. So whether you're going to seed bead round them, if you got the 15s before yeah. and the 11th with the kits, br brilliant. Whether you're going to wire work round them, whether you're going to... Um, solder a, a, a bezel, create their own bezels, whether you're going to use a semi-mount. These, and that one mil is such a versatile size. Absolutely. Such a versatile size. We're at £3.99 and we're, we're going, going again. again. Even if you've not a Scooby-Doo clue what you're going to do with these as of yet, if you're not a gemstone setter, if you don't do sea beadings, uh, sea beadings, sea, sea beading, beading um, or you're not a wire worker, maybe these are mediums that you would like to um, have a go at in yeah. the future. Well, at that price. We can't, we can't sustain prices like this for your Bronco White Onyx. No. We can't. We've already said, look, yes, we can get more, we can get more of your Brazilian Broncoronics, but what we can't get is the translucent variety, which this is. That is actually rarer. We can get you the opaque, still lovely, still natural in its colour, and we can't sustain three ninety nine. But we are going even lower. How many do we have then, Roscoe? Oh, there's a quantity of it. Does Dave know we're doing this? <laughs> I, I, you know, he's all about the deals as well. I don't think he'll mind. Don't think he's going to mind. In four seconds, we're going even lower. Well done. Loads of multi-buyers getting involved. It is hauntingly beautiful, isn't it? Oh, it's ethereal. Yeah. I love it. It's very, it's very mythical. It, it, it is very, very um, 
fairy-esque, very, very... Whimsical. Whim whimsical, yeah, all of those. It's, it almost retains light. That's what I yeah. always think about Bronca on it. It's like a glow. Yeah, it is, and it's totally and utterly natural. There's very few, and we spoke about this on uh, um, Sunday, didn't we, when we brought you the colourless um, quartz hour. Um, there are very few colourless gemstones. And by the way, colourless goes for... Uh, um, like t your topazes and your clear quartz, yeah. but it also goes for your pure whites. Yeah. There's very, very, very few that have very a few. completely void of colour. Um, so, yeah, and this is pristine. Now I've got another Beautiful. parcel, nine millimetres, and guess what? We're going to do these under five pounds too. Oh my God. We're recapping this because, um, like I said, uh, what day was it we did this Saturday with Claire? Um, these deals absolutely flew out and maybe you weren't able to uh, tune in on Saturday morning with Claire. You missed out on an amazing show. You can always watch back her demonstrations and her techniques. And plus, remember, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com, we will have mounts that will fit these sizes. Mm. Three pounds and 49 pence. We're not stopping there though. We're going even lower. Beautiful, smooth. If you're wondering about at the back, can you see you've got those three kind of dots? Yeah. Do you know what they are? No. It's the three in front reflecting. Oh gosh, so it is. Do you know what? I hadn't spotted that. If you thought, because yeah, initially yeah. I looked at it and went, oh, is that another facet or something? I couldn't quite tell. Is it a it facet is. or is it like a little blurring in the gemstone? No, it's the reflection of the three in front. Oh, you're so good. It's like, ah, because you can see yeah. the light box too. That's how pristine these are. In 15 seconds, going lower than £3.49. Oh. It's madness, isn't it? It is madness. Just glue those onto a bit of, uh, you can make studs. Yeah. Straight away. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. On a flat, mm. on a flat, a flat post. Back. Yeah. Mm. Nothing stopping us. Good doing idea. That. No. Make sure your glue dries clear. Yes. Yeah. Don't use. Yeah. You wouldn't want to spoil it, would you? No. You don't want two, a yellow two, blob at the back. Two pound ninety nine. That's crazy. Two pound ninety nine. What about with your masterclass, Alison? Oh, they go amazing. Were... They go amazing. Um, I have another piece that that I use small gemstones with and some small cabs and it would work perfectly with them beautiful absolutely perfectly oh my god this with the opals actually that are coming up in the 12 o'clock oh, hour that would be great lovely with the imagine opals. white onyx and, and an opal together yeah beautiful combination again well done everybody make sure you do check out your baskets thank you for all of your messages and hello uh less th than postage i know oh yeah that's a really good point gloria that's a really good point. And if you love your bronchoronics, oh, then stay with what me. Because you see what gorgeous Dan has just kind of slipped onto the desk. Uh, oh. Absolute. Oh. Faceted bronchoronics. Oh, I didn't have that one. I need these. These are some black spinel. Yeah. Oh. Brilliant. Or, or black jade. Oh, to be honest, it's going to work with everything. Pearls, turquoise. Oh, yeah, there's not a huge amount of faceted white onyx because you retain the carat weight of something as rare as this. Again, um, Bleeker and Prince using this beautiful gemstone, embedding it with amazing diamond, but it is opaque. Still lovely, still pristine. And just so you can see the price point that it does command elsewhere. Stunning! I love that. I do love that ring. It's absolutely beautiful, but but it's it's the solid opaque. Ours is ours is that ethereal translucent. translucent. Yep. By the way, if you love this, <gasps> I do have the graduation. <gasps> gorgeous Dan, gorgeous Dan. Do you know what we need to do? No. <laughs> Get that topaz back. Oh, how gosh. amazing would this be alongside that topaz? Sorry, Ross. I know I completely interrupted you then, lovely. It would look lovely with the topaz, right? Because they're faceted too. Are you ready? We're talking about the six mils now. Wait, wait, wait. I get it's mid-morning and I get people are probably slipping into that sort of lunchtime. Tummy's starting to rumble. Feed me. Uh, I don't want you to miss oh. out on this opportunity. We are taking, the, we're on the six mils right now, thank you. These would be absolutely beautiful together. Wow. Yes, please. Uh. 
Six meals right now we're talking about. Even £59.99, one of the few faceted strands of um, your pure white bronca onyx opportunities. I'm going to leave that one with you just to avoid, disappoint, uh, avoid confusion, rather. I'm going to do the 10 millimetres. We've jumped up massively. I'm going to do a little uh, wakey wakey deal. Six mils for 59.99. So obviously we should be going mm. up with the with the 10 mil size, bigger carrot weight. Uh, the last strand was 90 carats. This ca uh, this strand is 230. So again, let me just let me just show you the price comparisons um, elsewhere, where it's got an uh, opacity which is less desirable than white onyx of um, of translucency. Oh, Alison, that's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, let's show it. That, that's what I did with the um, round versions of the same sizes. Oh. And that was on the 7th of April. So if you wanted to create that, you could. Oh, I saw. Yeah, I remember that. Um, it had to be a special piece, though, didn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, pop along to our sister channel. Look, never mind making comparisons with places like Bleaker and Prince. Let's be, let's be honest. This is opaque. How about the translucence variety that yeah. we're sourcing for you right now? Look, 284 carats. So granted, it's a bigger carat weight. Um, but it's a simple beaded necklace with some spacer yeah. beads in between. I know you could make that. Yeah. I know you could. This sold out, by the way, at £214. And the reason why I show you this is because they don't do strands. This is the closest they do. Do you think we're going to be £214? This would be absolutely beautiful if you got that clear to uh, that mm -hmm. topaz earlier on. Now, we've just done the six millimetres at £59.99. pence, Meaning this one, what, I would have probably gone... 129 yeah. Or 99, okay. Let's go, yeah, let's go 99. Yeah, that makes sense. And then the eight mils would maybe be, I don't know, 79. Yeah, totally okay with that. It's pure, translucent, mm. pristine. Faceted beautifully. Bronca Onyx. Faceted to perfection, which yeah. again, we should pay a premium for. Beautiful, isn't it? Wow. Second price crash. Did you just say that? Not stopping at £79.99. Remember the six mils of 90 carats carat, uh, closed at 59 99 Something's gone wrong here. Whether it be an admin error, I'm not entirely mm. sure. Something's gone wrong. Shall we match the price of the six millimetres? But that's crazy. I know it is. There's no sense of it. Whatsoever. That's far bigger carrot weight. Yeah, which more faceting. Yeah. Rarity goes up, obviously. We've matched the price point of the six millimetre strand, oh, twenty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. How, yeah, but Ross, like, it's not logical. Oh, okay, Ross says every so often, look, live TV. We are a bit different to you. Well, we're very yeah. different to your uh, sort of uh, traditional luxury jewellery. And I say luxury because we're talking about bronchronics right now. You know, we don't go oh, okay. Let's just, uh, let's see how many people are out there. <laughs> let's take one of the larger sizes. We're already way lower than we should be. Um, it should be 99.99. Oh. But let's see how many are out there. Match the price of the six millimeter, uh, six millimeters, but we've over doubled the price point. 60 seconds. I want to see how many of you oh. there. There are 40. 40 available within oh the vault. Gosh. The more of you that are there, the lower we'll go. And we've done this before. You can influence. Oh, look, you're already getting a, a significantly mm. lower price point than what they should have been. These should have closed at round about £99. That's an amazing deal for 230 carats of natural white onyx. Uh, but we want to see how many of you are out there. So we're going to do a major closeout deal. Oh how do you gosh. do that? You might be thinking, how do I show you I'm out here? Hello. Um, pop it in your basket. Hello. <laughs> pop it in your basket. Pick the phone up, even if you don't press your option one as of yet. We are already not far off half the price than we should actually be. So not far off, but we are going to go even lower. 
Just because. Just because. Just because. We want to see how many of you there. Natural Bronco White Onyx. That's where we should... I should be holding a six mil strand. Yeah. <clears throat> Today, though. More than double the carrot weight. Well over d the, double the carrot weight. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Ross, it's half. You've halved it. That is crazy. Can we source it for what's on your screens right now? Look, the one on Gemporia, okay, slightly less in terms of carrot weight, as in, as in ours now. Um, but this is £214. You've got little gold-plated sterling silver spacer beads. It's on, it'll be on something like your tiger tail. Same components, really, that we offer here at Jewellery Maker. Um, and, of course, it's complete. It's a complete finished piece of jewellery. But the only... And, and please know I'm not being derogatory, our amazing sister channel. I buy no. lots of jewellery from Gemporia. The reason why I'm saying it is because I know you could make it too. It is simple beading. It's not an overly complex no. uh, 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 sort of necklace to create. And I know that you're getting the best possible deal. Forty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Um, if you love that deal, if you're now thinking, okay, hang on a minute, I'd very much like to get this. This was the topaz that we brought you earlier on. Did that sell out entirely, or is there a couple, couple available? Just brought you the ten. Brought you the six as well. Should we do it again, Alison? Oh my gosh! Yeah, come on. Eight millimeter should be. Still a bigger carrot weight than this. This is crazy. I know. I know. What's what's happening, Ross? Oh, it's beautiful. They're just gorgeous, aren't they? Pure, innocent. Aren't they? They yeah, they are. That's what I love about them. When you consider that onyx and white jade, that's got similarities too. When it forms within the earth over hundreds and thousands of years yeah and yet it looks like it has been i don't know formed within the clouds above it, very much so very much because it is so. so pure in yeah. its white color yeah not in earth doesn't look like it's no, been it's formed heavenly. within the earth it's heavenly absolutely celestial color we're at 50 pounds for the eight millimeters we are lower than the six mil We've matched the price of the 10 mil. Oh my gosh. But we're going to go again. We are going to go again. If you have the budget, I would definitely recommend getting all three sizes. Yes. So that's the 10, the 8, the 6, and also Perfect. I've got the beautiful topaz there. That's why I keep it on the back of the hand. They look stunning together. Um, again, we need to see you there. The more of you that are there, the lower we can go. We're already not far off halving each and every single one yeah. of these prices, aren't we? Um, would you keep it on your pure white silks? Or? No, you see, I when I made the other one, I put it on rose gold and it gave it such an amazing glow. It really, I think it really looked nice with it. Lovely. You could put sterling silver through it. You could put white thread through it yeah. and you'll keep that pure ethereal whiteness. The rose gold just gave it a warm yeah, tone. Yeah, like that. Almost like someone had lit a, a, a almost an element, a, you know, a heating element in it. Just, it just warmed yeah, it. It, it just looked incredible. We're not stopping there. We are going lower. The more that you're there, the lower we can go. Wow. Again, make sure you do check out. And know that we can't sustain deals like this. Just, that, again, something that literally looks like it's formed oh in the clouds gosh. above. £39.99. Um, can we just do a tally up of everything that's on the back of my hand, Roscoe? Because you've got 10, 8, 6, and the topaz. You know, everything that's yeah. on the back of my hand. Can you imagine the beautiful jewellery that you're going oh, to create out of this? Sensational. I mean, when I made when I made it, because I had, I think I had the three sizes in the bundle. Did I have four? Wow. Well, well, that's £160 for for everything. The three wow. strands of your bra, which is amazing. Yeah. You know, it, it, again, £160. And again, our, our sister channel's necklace was less than that. Yeah. It was less four. than that. Um, amazing and probably well we know actually lesser carrot weight if you added everything together well done everybody now something that is like gold dust and we're going to go step back into our little showcase of three millimeter stones you saw how popular that topaz was in fact let's bring the topaz back because these two would be absolutely beautiful together, wouldn't they? You've got that pristine clarity of topaz and then you have that lovely angelic appearance of Oh, wow. Of your bronchoronics. 
Wow, that's stunning. Just as ever so subtle difference, aren't yeah. they? Again, faceted to perfection. Oh, they're beautiful. When I when I first had it and was working with it and, and tried the different um, colours with it, it very much reminds me of a chameleon stone. Yeah, because it because absorbs the colour. It absorbs the colour. Um, it can You can keep it pure, oh. but you can also influence. You can influence. But it takes that colour and it mutes it. It's not It's not going to let it harshly shine through. Look at that. I know, that's so Is stunning. there anything more beautiful? Yeah. You, can I, and I am showing my age here. Who remembers Never Ending Story? That's it, perfect. You know what I'm thinking of, don't you? Yeah. Falcor. Falcor. The Falcor the Luck Dragon. And I, I know Dan's not even entertained this. He hasn't got a clue what I'm talking about. Falcor oh. the Luck Dragon has got these iridescent, beautiful, yes. pearly yes. scales, doesn't he? That definitely reminds it's me Falcor of that. in a strand. Oh, I want to make a Falcor now. There are 50 available opportunities. We're going to show you the first price crash. These oh. are beautiful. Oh, Alison, you should you should do a Falcor. I would dragon. love to do it. £39.99. And, and this would run down his back, wouldn't he? Because he's yeah. quite flat as a dragon. You see, you could use those in a Cellini spiral. Oh, yes. As the, as the spine bead. In one minute, Alison. Yeah. Let's make an announcement. I heard you were going to do something. We're going to promise this strand under 20. Uh, what? For natural bronca onyx. This with your topaz, amazing. Oh, this with your clear gosh. quartz that you had also on Sunday, incredible. We've got multi-buyers getting involved. But this, wow. in particular, I, like I've, that has to be the most translucent of the bronchionics yeah. that we've seen. Maybe because they are that much smaller in their size. But notice how they have this almost... It's not an iridescent, so I'm not necessarily seeing spectrums of colour no. across the surface of it, but it's just a, a magical play of light. Yeah, it is. It is. You think when you see when you see um, a, a crystal ball yeah. and how that sort of glows. glows, yeah, that's what it reminds me of. This is the only brown coronics that we have in your three millimeter size. Think uh, um, and of course in faceted, it would be beautiful. Again, same applies to the three millimeter showcase yeah. that we had a few, uh, that we were talking about the other day. You know, just using these in things like tassels or maybe as an alternative wow. to things like your spacers. Draping. Oh, beautiful. They're beautifully draped. I'd rosary Under link 20. it and drape it, you know, perfect. Under £20 only. That is crazy. It, is. it really that is. That is crazy. Well done, everybody. Make sure you do check out Victoria oh, Sorrell, gosh. Helen Sylvia, Maker, Lisa. Um, hello to you, London, West Midlands, Edinburgh. Nice to see you. And um, basically giving every, everybody an opportunity mm. today to purchase Brancaronics because, uh, you know, this was one of the most exciting launches that we brought here at Jewelry Maker, yeah. um, certainly over the past year or so. And it was almost it was one of those in the right place at the right time um you know this was discovered quite by chance the actual uh, i'm talking about the mining location itself now was discovered by chance but immediately it's not often that a mine will offers you the best straight away no straight no. away but that's exactly what the bronchronix mine actually did um we know we can replace it we can but what we can't replace it with um is this level of translucency and furthermore wow. we can't guarantee it at 19 pounds and 99 pounds uh, no Unbelievable. And nor should we. No. Nor absolutely. should we. No, absolutely. Well done. Wow. Do stay where you are on those phone lines. Oh. Okay. I love that. The finale, is this it of your Bronchronics? I uh, love that. What would you do with this? Oh, I might do some wire work and have a little bit of wire work around it. I might have to multi-buy it and, and not a cord around it. You could keep that it's just so pure, isn't it? It is. And completely natural. Oh my gosh. Set a gemstone in the centre. Dave launched this, didn't he? Yeah. I remember him launching this. Because we, uh, we were talking about dropping a diamond in the centre or yeah. a ruby or I don't know, oh. a hot hot pink sapphire or nice. Or um I don't know, a turquoise maybe yeah. or uh, any gemstone really, a perfect spherical gemstone, be that cabochon or uh, calibrated, uh, you putting your it in your tube setting and just securing it in the mm. centre. I mean that's uh, ultimate high end jewellery. Yeah. This is the finale of your Broncoronyx. Forty carats in one single stone. How many do we have? 
50 available oh, opportunities. We? So that's quite, um, yeah, that's quite abundant, which I'm quite surprised at. Look, Look at, at that. that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It is heavenly. Like an eye? Yeah, I get that. Is this a little bit out there? What do you think? No, nope. I don't think that's out there at all. It's not too much, is it? No, that's amazing. I think that's doable. I think that's very doable, but you need to. Yeah. Or not, if you want to go for something asymmetric, you know. Not that balanced. Looks, that's, that is amazing. So beautiful. You know, when, we imagine, when you visualise heaven and sort of that beaming light coming through the clouds, breaking through the clouds. Nothing to see here. I mean, just, just nothing you to look see somewhat here. distracted. Just, no, just no, saying. nothing nothing to see here. Yeah, I am. Thank you, uh, thank you, uh, Adam. Visualising heaven, just right, okay. Envisaging I get it. <laughs> I get it, I get it. Hang on a second. I'm just trying to align. Don't know if I can do this. Yeah. No, yes. <gasps> what do we think to that? I think that's stunning. Let's show I them. I know what I've got. What have you got? I've got black diamond rounds. Oh, oh that would be perfect because you're probably black looking about rounds. seven, eight millimetres in the centre there, so you yeah. can easily secure it. 49 pounds and 99 pence only. That's the should be price, but today we're going to do a brand new closing Ooh, uh, uh, opportunity. Yeah, well done. Alison's already said. <clears throat> How many have you got? I'm, I've not been greedy yet. Okay. <laughs> I'll wait. Not yet. Is it greedy or is it sensible? You know. No, but I don't. Which I way don't, you want to look at it. I get, I get I, it. I know I, why you're doing it. You're being very... Um, oh, first in you're well. not being selfish, are you? You're no. sharing. Sharing. sharing the rewards. Making Who sure wants a lowest chance. ever price point on this? Never been to the price point that you're about to see, so Go this is the first time ever deal. Um, well, hello to you, Conway. Hello to you, Worcestershire. Hello to you, Linda. Alison, of course. Um, amazing. Um, already people multi-buying. I'm not surprised. Pure natural white mm. colour. It's just it's beautiful. Gorgeous. And I love the way when you turn it, when you get the flat plane, you've got full on that translucency mm. and then when you come round to the edge it's like bump we're, we're now it's we're now curve. white same with the light yeah yeah, yeah look at it. that i love Here it, it it's opaque. almost like it's got an edge to it someone's yeah. painted the edge white but they haven't it's just pure pure looking through the planes well that fascinates me about gemstones well in 20 seconds brand new low fabulous lock just like said not put it on some yeah, nice leather could. or a cord or macrame yeah. or something like that Solomon's bar, job done. You don't have to sort of encase nope. it and wrap it in precious metal. You don't have to set gemstones in the centre. You know, I know that if I showed my husband that on a bit of leather cord and macrame, he'd love that. Mm. Lowest ever price tag. Never been done before, lovely jewellery makers. Wow. £29.99 pence that. only. Wow, that's £20 off the original mm. price. The uh, beginning price. Um, it's beautiful. You know when you did the... Um... You showed the sky and said that was the colour earlier. The azure blue. The azure colors, blue. Yeah. Don't you think that oh, looks yeah, like the cloud, the formation. cloud formations yeah. in that picture with that blue that tinge soft? through it? Yeah, stunning. That's just gorgeous. That or an alpine scene. I just love it. Absolutely. It's very tactile, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely stunning. Look at that. Pure mm. glow. Well done, everybody. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Wow. Okay, now I've got <gasps> two pearl opportunities. I'm going to ask lovely Dan for the bust back if I can. Um, if I can, I'm just going to sip of a drink. One sec. Sorry, parched. Right. Two luxury pearl opportunities wow. coming wow. your way. We have your Baroque shape. And if I scooch it this way a little bit. And then we have your beautiful rounds. Thanks, Dan. Thank you, lovely. Okay. Very different. Cool. Both have got similar palettes, if you like. Um, but they've both got single-figure quantities. <gasps> oh. So they are very, very... To, to be honest, we probably only ever had a limited quantity, yeah, yeah, didn't yeah. we? Oh, look at those. Because we've shared with you, uh, you know, 
publicly shared with you what our, our pearl, we've got countless pearl suppliers all around the world. And we've shared with you um, the conversations that happened probably about a year or so ago in actual fact, where they said, look, strands like this aren't impossible. It is, however, very expensive. The majority of the world um, or the pearl market rather are breaking them down, selling them individuals because they're more, it would make more business sense well, yeah. effectively. It's to make something like this, my, which ones am I starting with? The Brocks. To make something like this possible would probably have taken years. And unfortunately, as we speak right now, we haven't had years. Mm. And let me explain that. It's because of the pandemic. Unfortunately, that two year period approximately, where the pearl harvesters couldn't go out to look after the mollusks, couldn't check the waters, couldn't remove the barnacles. So if pearls were produced, they, they were basically lost to the sea. Um, and it t they estimate that it's gonna take us about 10 years to recuperate since the pandemic. So the pearl market has been hugely impacted uh, by the pandemic itself. Diamonds aren't going anywhere, are they? Or rubies or sapphires or any other gemstone nope. that's formed within the ground. But pearls, they are. They can be washed, just basically thrown, uh, well, they're dispersed organic. back to sea. They're yeah. alive. Well, the pearl isn't, but... They're a single figure quantity. Yeah. Wow, look at those. Yeah, they're, these are remarkable. Absolutely beautiful quality. Oh my goodness. Um, I don't know if I've brought this to air before, but these are stunning. Single figure quantity. You get these lovely folds, don't you? Mm. Amazing folds. Um, just a suggestion, a hint of lilac color. Yeah. And they're measuring, they're gonna be bigger than 18 mil. They yeah. look bigger than 18 mil. Anyway, even if we're being conservative, from 12 millimeters to 18 millimeters, and we're referring to a graduation. So if I hold it out like so, uh, 12 mils are right up by my uh, my hands here, and then you've got the 18 millimeters taking centre stage. Single figure quantity. What are you going to do oh. with yours? Would you knot them? Would you go for the full Lady Gaga inspiration? Would you put um, in that big statement necklace from the uh, wow. um, photograph of House, House of Gucci? Would you use them individually? It really depends on what you want. If, if I'm going for me, I'm going the full yeah, Lady shabang. Gaga. Yeah. If I want return on investment, you sell individually because you will get far more yeah. return on your investment than if you sell them um, en masse. Well, let's, 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 let's hold on, that, on yeah. that thought for a second. Because Salim, who again is one of our many uh, pearl suppliers, um, Met up with Dave. This was not Tucson, just Tucson previously. Um, met up with Dave, and bearing in mind that this was the first Tucson event that had been uh, that had been held for two years, was it? Maybe even three. I think it was definitely two years, anyway. Um, and yeah, they had a, a conversation via WhatsApp. And Salim says, "You can see it on the right. Uh, great to meet you. Same here. Uh, this lot, my friend, sold. Um, sorry." Such a shame because I think Dave was actually trying mm -hmm. to was trying to beat uh, to, to obviously sent him that photograph. Um, if you ever find more, please let me know. So sold and look what they sold for four thousand dollars. Bearing in mind this is wholesale, yeah. four thousand dollars per strand for the selection. I'll show you what the selection is in a second. Two thousand five hundred per strand for the entire lot. Wow. Which okay. Um, even with that heavy discount, yeah. it's still a lot of money at wholesale. So the selected items, just so you know, you hand pick. Uh, you hand pick one strand, though. That's one strand. Yes, those are the ones that he was that, that, that Dave actually selected. Sometimes personal preference, whether yeah, you prefer yeah. the papayas yeah. or you prefer the peaches. But yeah, those are the ones that he was selecting. We aren't talking about two thousand five hundred pounds, or even four thousand, because you're only sourcing yeah. one. Yeah. We're not buying at wholesale. I don't even know how we do such opportunities. But, but, again, like Alison said earlier on, do consider getting it valued and appraised. Oh gosh! Yeah. Already, first one, second one sold out. We've got a single figure quantity of these. The last five remaining within the vault. Not them. Pop them on site on your luxury clasp. 
totally natural, beautiful swathes of color. We know the rarity of examples like this. Um, where does a pearl get its color from? Well, ultimately the mollusk shell. So to get those beautiful jewel colors where you actually have the papaya and also those lovely purples. Even here at 2,999 pounds, it's a fabulous deal. Would okay. you use just one on a single pendant um, or are you gonna go for a full 360 degrees knotted star necklace? Can I cast us back a, a, a little bit? Yeah. How much was the fireball pearl? Good point. That was one. Well, mm, a difficult example because we sold that, we launched it at £149 yeah. for one. For just one. Um, I, know, I know they're a different pearl and it was bigger. Yeah. Um, but I'm just thinking these would go with that. Perfectly. Beautifully, yeah, it'd be lovely if you, you know. Were, if you that's were. your that's your statement pendant, yeah, which is, <gasps> and then you oh look at the golds and the the, the oh, peaches in that. It, but they say pearls need to be worn, don't they? Oh. So I should always show it on the deck uh, on uh, on the decolletage, don't you think? They suit you so well. You can you can show off a pearl. I love is. pearls. I absolutely love pearls. But you see the pistachios, you see the gold, yeah, you see the beautiful sort of sashes of purple. Okay. Let's match the price per strand that we just saw with, uh, with that lot that was, what, two years ago? Wow. There's your wholesale price. Yeah. And then goodness knows what this is going to be next. Your jewellery maker price, which is beyond <laughs> wholesale. There's five of them available. Please don't hesitate. If you've got your heart set on owning this, you know, it, it, the, it, it, to actually have papayas and purples of such intensities, plus that metallic colour... Um, unbelievable i'll say it again i say it every single time the quality of our pearls i think it is our greatest yes. one of our greatest achievements i think we buy pearls exceptionally well absolutely 299 pounds good grief 299 pounds i tell you what if, if you f could find out how much that Lady Gaga necklace was... Oh, well, it's not going to be three It's going to have probably one or two, f two zeros after that. Yeah, totally. Totally. Wow. Make sure you do check out those baskets to guarantee your success. Down to the final four opportunities. Bernadette, good luck. Lancashire, good luck. London, good luck. Um, I might have to join you on this one. I, I, yeah. I, I, lo I love pearls. Beautiful. I think they're absolutely beautiful and they just complement the skin tones. Down to the final two. Simple restranding, that's all I would mm. do. Knotting Not them. It. Yeah, knotting them and putting them on a nice long line yeah. um, on a clasp, maybe. I drop it down a little bit personally because I like them about here. The final one, Virginia, you can do it. You can do it if you check out your baskets. Congratulations, London, well done. Um, yeah, the final opportunity there. Predominant golds, whether you are thinking, as Alison said, from a business uh, perspective, yeah. are you going to break them down into single individual pearls, um, you know, and, and raise your profits? Nothing wrong with that at all. Or um, are you looking at them uh, for your own personal legacy jewellery? Oh, gosh, they're so beautiful. There's, there's a word in this description. What's that? that yeah, I don't need words. to be there. No, we need to rub that out. Yeah. Mixed natural. There's nothing near about no, these, but okay. No, there isn't. <laughs> Mixed natural colour near. Sorry, say it again. Mixed natural colour near round cultured pearls. They're just amazing. That's all we need to know. But how on earth are we promising a closeout deal? On, have you seen them yet? Ross, have you seen these? Isn't that stunning? They are perfection. I yeah. agree. Oh, my goodness me. This, look at them. Wow. They are perfection. Perfectly shaped. <clears throat> natural in colour. Beautifully graduated. Remember the, the, you know, the need for your beautiful luster. It's as mm -hmm. important um, as, uh, well, in fact, it's the, considered the most important of factors. Beautiful graduations. Did you say there's eight? <gasps> eight available within the vault. I mean, look at that. Straight away, we're not going to mess around. Let's take these under 500 pounds. Wow. 
immediately. This is a photograph. This was a necklace that I inquired about in Tucson a couple of years ago. Um, and yes, I keep referencing it because we still haven't recovered. They reckon yeah. it's going to be a full decade before we do see uh, um, the recovery of the pill, uh, pill harvest. But this was a necklace that I took a photograph of. I was speaking to a pill trader at wholesale. Again, natural, beautiful quality pills. And I actually think he was underpriced, even for, by wholesale standard. £1,250. So what, by the time you get that at home to a jewellers, it's going to be mm -hmm. at least four times that price tag plus VAT here in the UK. Yeah, absolutely. In 28 seconds, we are going lower than £499. I'm curious then, would you mix these with the Baroque? Why not? I, I would. probably wouldn't. You see, I would. Would you? Yeah. I'd I keep them separate. they go beautifully together. I like that. Whether you have one drop from the bottom. Oh. But I mean, that is just, that is pure I'm thin. classic round. I'm going to call them rounds, I know. Yeah. But pure classic round pearls, isn't it? I'm fairly sure with these the are the pearls I wore to that event with Mary Berry. I'm oh, fairly right. Yeah, sure yeah, they are. yeah. And by the way, <laughs> um, I'm fair, yeah, and by the way, there were a few comments about the pills. I bet there were. They are absolutely beautiful. What? <laughs> oh, that's far lower than I was expecting you to take these, Ross. I was thinking at least 299, I think, would have been an absolutely amazing deal. Well done, well done, Virginia. You're not alone. Cheshire's there. Kim's wow. there as well. Congratulations. I've only got nine opportunities. Um, straight down to eight. Sixty-six pounds and thirty-three pence on your split that's payment. Crazy. That's a shocker, that one. I... Look at what we've got today. Sorry, I Alison. Know. A coir pearls for one seven nine. Natural coloured round fresh water pearls for one nine nine. Wow, it's crazy, isn't it? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I I I really, really, really do agree with you. I think our pearls are second to none. It's one of our our greatest th it strengths is. here. I truly think that. Um, so snap them up while you get the opportunity again. Make sure you do check out those baskets straight down to the final three opportunities. 0800 644 655, uh, all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. Get it home. Look, you don't have to take my word for it. Get them home. Use that 30-day money-back guarantee. Walk them into a luxury jewellers, but make sure they are luxury jewellers. I'm not talking about sort of no disrespect to the, your average high street jewellers. You want it to be, you know, um, a luxurious jewellery uh, um, uh, uh, shop. Something that recognises the rarity yes. of those. And I'm sure they'll agree. Now, coming up just oh. after the break, we have got the most amazing bundle of beautiful Ethiopian opals. I love um, stunning jewellery and, of course, demonstrations and techniques from Alison um, coming up. Now, you don't just get one strand. You are getting all of them in this Yeah, class. I know. So, it's great. Oh, that's not too bad. That's A not bundle. bad day's work, is it? Oh, no. Oh, no. I could, I could have carried on. I really could. It's one of your favourites, isn't it, Ethiopian yeah. Opal? I, I adore Ethiopian Opal. I've got loads of Opal. Wow. Oh, I Alison, these are absolutely beautiful. Oh, thank now, you. they are available oh. on pre-order oh, right no. now as we speak, but... There's only 80 in terms of availability, oh, so I would recommend using this time wisely. Um, and again, get any questions ready that you have for lovely Alison. We'll be back after this. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. to know what's going on in the next show then head over to our website click on the TV guide this will tell you who's presenting which guest we have joining us along with what's going on in each hour 
If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street, and Yarn Lane. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, everybody. And as if, like, like we blinked and we the did. morning's gone. I know. How can it be? How can it be this time already? Ten past twelve already. I know. It's crazy how time flies. Um, okay. Now these are brand new. You don't just get the one strand. I'm looking at five strands. And when we first, or I say we, like I was included in this, it wasn't me, but um, the powers that be came up with this idea, this concept of not just having <coughs> one cut Sorry. of opal, yeah. getting maybe the shorter taster strands across five different cuts. I, I've referenced this before. In Stratford-upon-Avon, which isn't too far away from us here in the, uh, in the studio, if ever you go to Stratford-upon-Avon uh, and you walk through the high street, look, it kind of does like a, it's, it's like a cross, a uh -huh. big cross in the centre. Um, just to have a little wander around down each of the streets because it's absolutely beautiful. But there's one jeweller's there that clearly the owners love Ethiopian opal. Right. Because their entire window is almost full of it. entirely Ethiopian oh, wow. opal. But what you don't see... Um, is prices like what we're about to bring. Now, but if you're thinking, okay, love that idea, but that's a lot of Ethiopian opal that I'm gonna have to source to create all of those pieces. Probably not as much as you would expect because it's just one of a few different cuts and shapes. So it was a genius idea from our buying team when they were thinking, okay, well, let's just do like a little parcel with a percentage of each of them. Yeah. Now, yeah. there are 80 available, and I know when we first launched this idea some years ago, I don't know exactly how long it was, but um, they were a deal of the day. Mm. Do you remember that? Yeah. They were a deal of the day. They flew out, and the price hasn't gone up, which doesn't make any sense. No. Um, before we show... 
There's slightly different cuts. Okay. So let's take a little look at this. Can we look at your recording, Adam? Because you've got the smooth wow. rondelles. Yeah. I think the quality has definitely gone up. Oh, gosh, yeah. You've got your tumbles. Yeah. You've got two different sizes of drops. Can you see that? Yeah. Smaller drops and bigger drops. And you've got rounds. Oh. Okay. What's the, what's the matter? I had pears. Yeah, there's pears. And drops. There's drops. Okay. Yeah, sorry, sorry. that's me. I had a, no, it. I had a pear and a drop. Yeah, we definitely I'm... had a pear and a drop. Ooh, I thought I got the wrong thing. Yeah. No, you've definitely got both of them. Yeah, yeah, cool. The quality of these... Yeah, it's amazing. And I, again, I know what they are going to. So it's, it's one of those... That oh. should be the price of the one of these strands. Yeah. Oh, gosh, yeah. Yeah. Now, there are only 80 opportunities. If you are an Ethiopian, uh, uh, Ethiopian opal lover, then start dialing because this is, like I said, last time we brought this idea, this concept to where it was actually a previous uh, deal of the day, they sold out. But going to make it fair for absolutely everybody. Let's put a 60 second clock on your screen. That's counting down to the graphics appearing. Um, that's when it will become accessible to absolutely everybody, whether you're shopping on the web or whether you're shopping on the phone lines. So in terms of, as a jewellery maker, yeah. Alison, to get this variety of cut, or cuts, I should say, what does that mean? Does that, you know, does that give you lots of different options yeah absolutely i mean i've made such different pieces of jewelry and i haven't used everything no i've still got pieces left that I've, i could probably have made another well you don't get sent a second sample now do you um i did this time but i ran out of time okay my big big problem was time so i've got so quite a few more pieces that i could have made okay so in terms of look at, i mean they they are they're opal stunning. heavy pieces oh oh yeah i didn't hold back I've not held back. Um, the, 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 the piece in the middle here, this one, this one here. Do you just tilt that towards yeah, yeah, Ethan sorry. a little bit? No, that's perfect. There we go. The colours oh, are wow. just amazing in it. Can you, you only use one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten? I had three left over. Eleven? Yeah. How amazing is that? Yeah. It's stunning. I loved it. I loved working with it. Five strands? Yeah of beautiful, natural Ethiopian opal. Do you know what these remind me of when we do, when we do these, these tasters? It is like going to the best um, Michelin star restaurant mm -hmm. and having their taster menu. Oh, yes. And you get to dip your toe in to see which strands you like without having to pay for that full course. You don't have to pay for that big strand. No. Nope. You get to try. And also, sometimes you want to combine them. Yeah. You know, you might think, well, I fancy putting a drop with that. I mean, I've actually kept mine, unusually, separate. I've actually get, kept them separate. But to mix them... Oh, look at that. Isn't yeah. that stunning? Oh, look at the orange in there. I know. They're absolutely That's, beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. The quality of these, yeah. Blown it, away. Blown away that we were able to get a parcel like this. Yeah. Again, it was a genius idea from the team upstairs. Absolutely. Um, and then it's like, instead of actually just having, okay, there's a round, there's your rondelles, how about we bring you all different shapes? Yeah. Because it does open those doors. That's why I asked you the question. Now, this is a brand new bundle. It's never been on air before, but there are only 83 available opportunities. Ethiopian Opal, you've got to remember, it was only discovered in the mid-1990s, so it's younger than me. Yeah. Much younger Aww. than me. It is mid 1990s Ethiopian no. opener. Hasn't got the history that Australia opener has, um, and it's far, far, far uh, scarcer. Yeah, you know, mines. Um, it's very shallow. And mine, harder to get. Harder to. to get to. Absolutely. The initial, the first uh, deposit that was discovered is already mined out. You know, they had to go to a slightly west, found a bit more, only small amounts. Mind out. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, Alison. I've just clocked something. <laughs> so that's just one of the tumbles. <gasps> you are so clever. <laughs> and that's using one. That's just one of the tumbles. Uh, They're just incredible. My goodness. So me. I had... Hang on. Well, let me have a look at the other one. How many... So about... I've got... One, two, three, four, five tumbles left in here, and I knew what no one went across my 
floor in the lounge. <laughs> one did? Yeah. You'll find so one, it. two, three, four, five, six. And, I, and that one, seven tumbles. So I could make seven of those rings. And what would you sell those for? Um, if it was in sterling, because that's obviously in plate, if it, if it, if it was in... Let's, well, let's take it in the plate. Yeah. I'd probably be looking at about £25 for that one. Wow. So what did I say? Seven? Yeah. What's seven twenty-fives? Uh, you're asking the wrong person here. So um, you're talking about... Se Ross, Ross, calculate. Yeah, 175 £175 just off one strand. Just for one strand and you've still got four other strands to go. How amazing. Yeah. How amazing. And that's one strand and you've still got yeah. the four left over. Now, we're at £199. Okay. So that's £40 per strand of your Ethiopian opal. So for £24, you get the other four strands. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and all the opportunities to yeah. work with. Right. Brand new premiere. We've got 83 available. How about £20 per strand? Oh, my for God. For Ethiopian opal. That's Here crazy. Here is a price point that we don't see for Ethiopian opal, especially on the back. Any Levion. Levion might be a familiar name. He's like mm -hmm. a... He's like, the pinnacle if you like everyone looks to eddie levy on um yeah he's the he's the um he's the individual that announced that that right christ appraise is the next big thing yeah, yeah next yeah. big thing eddie levy on is yeah every jewelry house and brand will listen to what eddie levy on says effectively because he's a huge influence and it was him that said um not that long ago not that long ago it was just after the christ appraise natural fact it was a, it's all about color we still had the color trend uh, the color sort of uh, excitement of yeah, color yeah. out of the pandemic etc um so yes we we love christ appraise absolutely beautiful gemstone um but right now he goes what's the next big gem opal wow more specifically Ethiopian opal. Wow. And wow. what happens then to the price of Ethiopian oh. opal? It goes through the roof. Absolutely. And yet, here we are bringing you Ethiopian opal at £20 per strand. That's, and that's crazy. Do you think we're stopping there? Oh. Um, no, no I don't think they're an inferior. They, 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 you have got amazing play of colour within these. Mm. I, I don't think these are far off the quality of the ones you had before at all. Absolutely. The, the colour, I, I mean, I could just sit here rolling these Me rounds too. forever. They're Look at that. Well, it's recording, Dan. Yeah. You're recording. Wow. The play of colour. Yeah. Remember what we said? Gemologists will refer to an opal of fine quality as exceptional when it has over 85% play of colour. Yeah. That's talking about the surface. So if you look, if you look at one, I don't know, pick one. Whichever one your eye gravitates to, you know, does it get colour? Does that co that, that colour metamorphosize at some point? And it's no, never mind how many, mm. does it change colour at some point? Yeah. Because then you can class that area as having play of colour. Yeah, yeah. For me, I'm looking at these. They're and, all over. Yes. They are exceptional opals. Yeah. And they're completely and utterly natural. Not doublets, not triplets. No. Nope. Nope. Little slithers with a backing. Solid solid, genuine, complete Ethiopian opal. So even here at £99, but it's not your price. Oh, my God. Do you know what they're going to? No. I'm not telling you either. Because <laughs> it's such a... You, yeah, it's honestly, it's such a deal. You see... Oh, gosh. I want it to be a surprise. So so the necklace is sterling silver, the, the, the main necklace. Yeah. That is sterling um i would want at least that for the necklace at okay least and you've used how many did we count 11 stones 11 stones okay it's not bad is it of one strand i think de most definitely 74 pounds yeah yeah pounds possibly possibly more actually because there's quite a bit of sterling in there yeah okay we have got the sterling i think ross has got the sterling if you to make that but how about if i said amazing. then alison yeah that never mind 15 pounds per strand do you feel this is something you're likely to say because i think it's getting silly it is getting silly oh my gosh who wants these at 10 pound per strand absolutely so wait alison yeah let's just say if you got this parcel yeah with them all not just one yeah yeah and you sold that piece yeah whether it's this or above yeah it's all profit 
Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. How amazing is that? That's incredible. I mean, three of those rings. Yeah. Again, you've made your, you've made your, your profit. Yeah. And they'll go. And I bet they would fly. They yeah, would absolutely. Fly. They, 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 they'd be what I gravitate towards. They don't take long. They don't take masses of wire. You could very, very happily make those. And it's one out size of, fits all. One size fits all. They're, they're an adjustable ring. Oh. They're so comfy to wear. Isn't that lovely? It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. The colours come out a little bit more now there. Yeah. It, it was quite a greedy on one. Hand. Yeah. That's absolutely gosh, could They're I do so the comfy. same then around the neck or the wrist line? Or oh something? yeah, if you it bangles. Yeah. It's gonna take you a little wires. bit more wire. But yeah. yes, absolutely you can. We did say it, Alison. Oh my under God. ten pound per strand, Ethiopian opal. That's crazy. Forty nine ninety nine. Goodness me! Make sure you check out though, because eighty three is not a huge quantity. They are brand new. They're premiering today. You know, even if you just did little signature sort of pieces like that using yeah. one stone, yeah, um, one stone per Quincy. Ethiopian opal. Um, just beautiful. And again, it covers. It, you know, complements all of your wires. Complements all of your um, your precious metals as well. You know, um, it is a brand new bundle at ten pound per strand. Right, so Ten I'm, pounds. I've made six pieces. Yeah. I've got it enough to make loads more, but I've made six pieces. Mm. So those pieces are not even ten pound a start a, a piece. Not but a in chance. terms of cost. Yeah, to make yeah, to make. Not a chance would I sell those for that. No. Even me, and you know me. Not a chance. I wouldn't even sell those little earrings. You know, well, that might be that might be fifteen pounds. No, twenty pounds. Twenty pounds. Yeah, pounds. they're Ethiopian opals. Yeah. yeah. Well, Absolutely. But everything else. Yeah. And those are those are just the ends of the slider bracelet. Look at that. I know the slider bracelet's lovely. Ross, what are you doing? He says no. I haven't sold enough. We're going even lower. Okay. Don't you buy it, Ross? I know. I know. He's just been a bit impatient, isn't he? Well, I get it though, Ross. Time restraints, isn't it? He says a third of the stock is gone. You said I don't want a third to sell. I want to sell them all out. Fair enough. I get it. I totally get it. Look at the quality. Here in the studio, you know, and we say it every single time, Ethiopian Opal hates our studio lighting. It does. Why? Because we've got floodlights. You pop into a luxury jewellers, do you think they have floodlights? No. <laughs> Definitely not. They have little tiny spotlights that will make the, the, the beautiful diamonds and all the gemstones look absolutely beautiful. Floodlights is not a great, it's a, you know, a, a, and it wouldn't work for us as a, as a shopping channel. You no. need a bright, a bright studio. You know, if you pop onto somewhere like, I don't know, Good Morning, you're probably going to see that they've got floodlights too. Yeah. But this gemstone absolutely hates it. You can see the colours when you look through, when you've got them all twisted like that, and you can see the colours underneath. Yeah, that's why I do it. Yeah. So you can shelter it a little yeah. bit from all oh, this gear look at that. and lighting. Look at that. I know. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And they all have Oh, that. completely unplanned. That's an extra £10 oh pounds back gosh. into your pocket. That's making Ross. them, what, £8? £8 each. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Amazing. So you can make that ring for £8. Yeah. Okay, let's say you're going somewhere in North Wales where... where Make it for want... £8. Oh, no, that's £8 for the strand. Yeah. So, actually, so, the, so you... that's a pound plus a little bit of wire. Let's call it £1.50. That cost you a pound. Pound Mate. 50. Okay. Let's say pound 50. Yeah. You're going to sell that for, like I said, 25 to 30. If you're going to a village fete, maybe, maybe sell yeah. it for, for £20. Yeah. But it's an Ethiopian open, yeah. people recognise it as well. Um, wow, £8 per strand, make sure you do check out. And again, any questions that you have for lovely Alison, do message us live wow. um, here in the studio. Um, okay, Alison, right. okay. talk us through your designs and which one are you going to demo? Uh, so I'm going to attempt, Yeah. we're going to be speed demoing, okay? okay. So I'm going to attempt to show you this one. Which but one? it is... Oh, the, the, big, the, the big one. Yeah. It is, it is repeated. Okay. So the, the top half should reflect the bottom half. Mine aren't quite 100% equal, but... Okay. I was, I was rushed. Um, so we're going we're gonna to do that one. Um, the piece on the end here, the sort of cloudy one with the, with the raindrops. That's lovely. Um, that was done on the, on the um, wig jig. Ah. So you can, you can weave your wire and then, and then take it round the jig. Yeah. 
Um, this is a very simple. I used to sell loads like this. I, I can Oops. see why. Very simple. Look at the blade of colour you're getting in there. Beautiful, easy wear. Do it on sterling silver. Elevate it. Again, I, I'd put it on um, bronze. Then this, this strand I put, like I said, I'd kept them all separate. So those two, excuse the mess behind. There you the, go. Little bracelet. No, the, the little bracelet. Yeah, yeah. He means bracelet. <laughs> He's looking for the white bus going. There's no white bus here. <laughs> there you are. Yeah. And th and then of course you've got the little the little oh, snake. Beautiful. Which, and you've got leftovers as well. Yeah. So you've got things from the easiest on a head pin mm -hmm. and just just a link either side onto onto the um slider bracelet. Beautiful. Um to a more complicated, more, more, um, th this is a more advanced piece. Yeah. Um, the figure of eight piece, the, the, the cloudy piece, that I think is, is very achievable. This, you're going to want to practice your weaving before you do it. Okay. But there's well, no reason why you can't messaging? do it. Yeah. Take it away, Lamar. Right. Okay. So, hang on. We're going to have to <laughs> scoot you a little bit scoot as well. Me, so. Scoot me. There you go. Okay. I move. I always move. So you, this piece is basically made up of um, three, three pieces of wire. So this is my basic shape. I love, uh, do you remember the, t the, the um, toothpaste that you used, to used to have that? Yeah. Um, it's, I call it my toothpaste shape. I love it. It's a very it's ergonomic. Like a paisley. It is, shape, it? except it would be rounded on the top. It's, yeah. it's, it's a very ergonomic shape. It's a lovely shape to use. Um, so I started off with this. You can alter the size. And my original, my original piece like this um, was bigger, again with opals. This is it patinaed in copper. Um, the other one, um, you could patina the silver. That is sterling, so you That's could patina beautiful, it. That so one. it's the same thing. It's got slightly the, um, more honey... Um, opals but it's the shape it's the shape i'm using and it's, so because i made it smaller i made the the middle simpler so start with the shape then i'm going to just do a figure of eight across the bottom so what i'm going to do i'm going to show you as much as i can um uh, and, and then you can extrapolate so so i'll show you all the weaves basic weaves there's nothing really complicated in what I've done with this. It's just putting it together. So starting at the base. Now, to keep the shape, if you, if you pull it together, then you've got to cut your wire. I like working from the reel because it, it, saves, it saves wastage. So with that in mind, I'm just going to weave. So we're going to start off with a, a basic figure of eight weave. So I'm going to start off with three weaves around one side slide it down to that tip and then you're going to take it so this gets a bit fiddly to hold and then you're going to do three times around the other side now as I do it you'll notice I push down with my nails and the the the, the very tip is harder so squidge it down you're now getting a little bit you can grip on easier so three times round one side pass through the middle three times around the other side. So you want to come up, not very far, I would say do four or five. So let's just whiz through another couple. Now I'm doing them quite loosely. You can do them loosely. I like my wire work to be a bit more um, compacted and, and precise normally, but I am, like I say, speed demoing. So I'm gonna do that side and then we're going to do that side. So you can take this as high as you want. And then when you're doing the top, you'd match that at the top. So you'd match the size. OK, so I'm going to cut that off. Uh, give it a decent, a decent amount of length. What? Well, it's about six inches. OK, so then we're going to put in our second frame. So I want, I want another piece that I'm going to put behind. So I'm just going to use this wire now. We're going to put that exactly behind that V. And we're going to just wrap it. And we're going to go through the gaps of that figure of eight weave to hold them into place. So I'm going to do it very loosely. 
but you do it so see where that crosses over you don't want to, you don't want that cross to be visible let's trim that end off where did I put me there okay so down through the tip and the idea that you don't see it is don't sort of cut across the front cut across the back so I'm not in the middle there but let's pull that down that will then slip underneath there and then around the other side there we go we've now secured those into one place okay we're then going to use this to add in our next piece which we want to curve coming up now we want it we want it to um hang on a sec okay so we, we're covering the cross and then we're going to take this up but we want to have our little gizmo section so i've coiled now if you haven't got a gizmo you can make one however it's it's quite difficult because because you're not using steel you're using soft wire but basically you want a a crooked um end to to a piece of wire and this is 0.25 i know it's in silver but I'm, going, I'm just going to cut a bit off because otherwise you're going to see there we go let me push this up a bit there we go so when you've got your gizmo just wrap it around the handle a little bit and then you're going to start turning and you will create your gizmo so be careful not to overwrite it and then round i'm putting my finger over it deliberately because what that's doing is forcing it to be in one place so just to that just controls the tension a bit and you can create your, your coil take that off when you've got about a four inch length one or a three inch length um, take it off slide your coil back onto the piece of wire tie both ends round the top and then you're going to coil it again so you're coiling your coil which is an amazing beautiful thing then when you've coiled it push it right down to the far end as far as you can go and take your wire and feed it back around um i don't know whether can we go to to two to to show um so do you ever use a normal gizmo i do yes not? but i forgot it i left it at home okay. <laughs> sorry so you can see where that wire yeah, yeah, kind yeah, of sits in the gap um, and it makes a difference. Yes, I would normally do it on the finest one I've got. Um, if you haven't got one, you can. It's a lot harder with that because it wibbly wobblies all over the place. Yeah. Whereas the the, the gizmos are steel. steel. Yeah, so they're tempered steel. Okay, so we're going to trim down our end. We want two, and we basically let's pull our frame back. We want this to sit up to halfway. So I'm going to make these two quite small, and then I've got one for each side so you'll have one up there and one down there and what we're going to do is pop this on and because you've done it i've done it using a 0.8 wire or, or the 0.8 gizmo coil it will fit on there perfectly so that slides down and that gives you this starts giving you texture and depth that's what um that's what really really helps with it so you've got that there we now want a couple so if i turn this to the side you can see there's there's a, a sort of a frame on the outside of that gizmo coil yeah lovely yeah so so you don't just see the bare coil so we need another wire coming up here so we're going to go around and back up we're just going to do a loop-de-loop -loop back up let me get another wire can you pass me the antique bronze one so yeah, I can yeah, yeah. show that as well in the meantime? I, I, the only difference I did was at the very bottom, I did the weave the other way. Wow. But that's that's after it's been patinaed and the opals are just well, it, it, Yeah, It makes those opals pop, Really pop, it? yeah. 
If you're going to, if you're going to patina it, don't put the opals on first, leave the wire there. Yeah. Leave yourself plenty of wire, so you've got, you, it's, only, it's only on 0.4 wire. Leave the wire there for all the parts where you're gonna put opals. Patina it if you're gonna use liver and sulfur. Take it out so all the wires patinaed the same as well, then you can put the opals back on. Mm. Gorgeous. Because you don't want to put those opals so in that's liver patinaed sulfur. copper. That's patinaed copper. Right. Okay. So the patinaed, the patinaed um, silver will go more blackened okay. rather than brown. Yeah. Okay. Um, the other thing, the other thing you can do, I haven't tried it, but I don't see why it shouldn't work. I'll try it with one little piece, is using a, a hard boiled egg. Hard boiled egg, yeah, the smelly way. The opal should be okay. Well, yeah. Liver is also smelly as well. It's all smelly. The, the opal should be okay because it's not getting wet. No. It's the water content that will damage your opals. Yeah. So don't put your opals in liver or sulfur. Yeah. However, I might put that one because I would like to patina that because it really pops when you patina it. In, your in with a boiled egg. So I'm going to put it in with a hard boiled egg and leave it good overnight. And it will, in a sealed container, so you're not getting all that smell. Um, and it will, it will um, naturally, Who the sulphur in the egg will naturally patina the, the what's the name? The silver. The silver. Do you know, right. that, do you know that, Ethan? Yeah. Put a boiled egg in with your silver jewelry? Yeah, all the time. It's stinky. So by putting this on, and I'm glad I've got the silver, so we're going to put this on here, and that will give us that side piece. Okay. So I'm going to take my silver off. I know I'm going to, I think I'm going to run out of time, but I will catch you up. No problem. Um, okay. So we're going to take these two. So we've got the one we've got the um, gizmo on and the other two. And I'm just going to figure of eight them. Same as we've done before, only obviously it's a lot closer. But we're only going to do two. So we're going to go around once, around twice through the middle. We're not doing it on that one, we're doing it on this one. Around once. Oops. Around twice. And through the middle. Now, the reason I have taken, and it looks really fiddly, I'm going to just take those and uh, secure them with a scrap piece out of the way. Um, the reason the reason I've taken that out is because every time you're doing your weave, you'll be catching that, and you'll be catching the wire we've put that, that runs round. So it's gonna it's it's not gonna help, mm -hmm. you know, it, it, and it could potentially damage. So for this one, you're going to go all the way up here, doing your figure of eight. Keep pass, push, pushing it down. Come here. Come on. It doesn't matter the majority which order you do this in. Um, and I know I've done this in a totally different order to the big one I did. But it's a few years ago since I did the big one. One, two. Right, I'm going to speed this by just binding those to get to where we need to be. Because otherwise we'll still be here at six o'clock. And hobby maker will get fed up of me sitting here just wire, wire wrapping on the end. I don't know, it's therapeutic. It is therapeutic, but, yeah, but they I might like want their show. <laughs> I so, like watching you. Um, it is therapeutic. Um, we'll get you wire wrapping as well as, as, well as um, doing that. So we're going to pop that on there. Right. Now the other side, on the other side, let me undo that. When you're doing wire wrapped projects, what you find is you end up with lots of wire sticking all over the place. I'm trimming them down. Leave them as long as you can tolerate. Um, it, it, it does help. So on this side, we've, we've woven our wires. We're now going to do a five and two weave. It's a very common weave. So one, two, three, four, five times round one, and then two times, one, two times round another. So, come here. Okay, so, one, two, three, 
four, five. So the silver one, if you're doing it in copper or plate, and if you're not used to, to doing this sort of thing, I would recommend you do it like that before you do the silver one, purely because, um, purely because, um, you know, you can, you can um, redo it. And it's good practice. You're practicing with, with stuff that doesn't cost much. So, so you're going to keep doing that until you basically get to the same level. So again, I'm going to expedite it. But you can see where I've got the five and two going up there. So, so that's, that's all the weaves you need to know. So you, you've done your weaves now. You know what you're doing with your weaves. We're now going to add in the extra bit. So this is going to come up here and follow that around. So they go up there like that. This comes across here more. So we're now getting our shape back. So we now need this bit going up the middle. And all this bit is, we've done it before, is the figure of eight. So open up your sides. So you're going to create a figure of eight here. One, put that on the other side. Two, three through the middle and you can do this tighter or open um, so if you see on this one and I'll use this one because it's here this weave is more open than this weave yeah. is a lot for, uh, you know you can see it here that's a lot closer than this and that's purely the number of times you wind round the number of the number of times you wind round will give you the the the, the closeness of your weave and it just gives you an, another texture yeah a bit like um, on this one, I've done three and three, as against five and two. It just gives you another texture. Play with those. It's the same weave, you're just altering the numbers a bit. Um, but it's the same weave. So once you've done that, and I'm going to pull this one down, if that's all right. Right. So once you've done this weave here, which is this one coming up here, it comes up through the middle. Um, if I turn it at the back, you'll see it better. So you can see all the bare bones at the back, really. So you go up there a little, you know, you, you, you're only creating a little, um, a little V section to add in. You're then going to stitch that into there. So this wants to attach underneath there. I've rounded it across the bottom. And how I did that, pop that out of the way, is I pop that in there. That's going to curve up there. And I've literally wrapped it onto the highest piece of this. Now, I know you're only wrapping onto 0.4, so do it carefully, but bind it to the top of that woven section there. And that will give you this line across here. So that hangs in, and this is where it always looks a mess. That hangs into there. So you've got that section now, mm. which is, oh, I've done it in reverse. Look at that doesn't matter which way around you do it, that section there. We're then going to take the wires. So this is the, this is the bit where it starts getting, you want two wires to go across there. So instead of using both the wires from there, this is where you start connecting things. I'm going to take that wire across, but then I'm also going to take the wire that came up from here and take that across. So that ties in and when you turn them, use the pliers, not your hands, because you'll get a much better. Um, and then just do a five and two across there. OK, so that then ties in those two pieces and solidifies them. We're now going to take this bit up here. We want another figure of eight coming across here. So I've used the one from the front of these two. I've kept the back one that goes straight up there and I've taken that across the top. And I've taken the one from the inside of the coil. So I'm going to take that one and that one and take them across. So we're going to bend that one across there. And then we're going to take that one across there. OK, so then you're going to figure of eight through there. And again, that's now that's now solidified everything you've got in there all together. OK, so you've now got that bit and that bit that can wrap around the back of there and then they can be reused. You can see even just in this very crude way, trim that out of the way, 
you can now see this is starting to hold together because different pieces, and I know it looks very messy like that, but different pieces, so these pieces weren't joined, they're now joined, these pieces are joined. We're taking the piece from the woven little um, triangle across the back, I've just bent it across the back there, and that then joins to the outside of here, so those now join. And, and then you, you just basically take, if I was going to go straight up, I wouldn't have taken those straight up because, because it, it makes those um, uh, unstable. This, this helps because you're, whenever you, whenever you, um, whenever you add or, or change direction, try and use ones. So I've taken those two and taken them in totally different directions. So it solidifies. I've taken that one up there and that one has come across here. So it, it always solidifies what you're doing. You just connect it. It doesn't matter if you do, if you don't do, if you don't do exactly the same ones, it, it really doesn't matter. Um, what matters is don't take the two that are together because then you've got, to, you've got to fasten them with something else. So it's naturally fastening. There's very few points here where I've actually had to connect them. Um, so very, very few points here have I connected. So then on the back, if I turn this around, I've used a spare bit of wire from here of 0.4, taken my beads smallest, uh, largest. Now that's not the largest one on the loop. Um, I think that was the, the, I think these are the four smallest ones on that strand going up to there. And then um, I've just wrapped another one. So that one there is two loops. I've got a loop on top and a loop underneath and sandwich that pearl inside at uh, pearl, opal. But it, I have just taken that extra piece of wire and, and added it across. So you'll just see, if I show that to Ethan, you'll just see in there that the, the wire is going across and you yeah. can see it just there that secured it into the loops of wires. So that's finished off two of your wires. The rest all now go in reverse and you're now doing the reverse of that up here. Now, you're going to get a different shape because that's, that's a, a wider shape. If you want them to be perfectly symmetrical, take, take that bit and do it parallel rather than expanding because that obviously makes that bit smaller yeah. than, than, than that. It's a different shape. It's a different triangle. But basically, you're doing exactly the same in reverse. Um, the, wires, the wires here, you haven't added in. You've just used. So we've taken a wire up here, taken it across there, and then taken it down. So And this one has gone underneath and back down. So you're now reusing all the wires you've got to give yourself the same effect as you've got up there. So that by the time you end up here, we've just got one that I've wrapped round that's secured everything together. So that's now tied everything at the top there. This one goes all the way around there. That then secures your, your pendant into place. You then splay two open. Those are going to be your, your, um, your what's it called? Um, Bale. bale, that'll be your figure of eight bale. Fetch one through, take it up and over. So I like doing that. It gives this cinched effect, which I really like that cinched effect. And then when you come down to the bottom, just wrap it round in a loop and you can pop another opal in. So that, that's a very, very whistle stop tour. Yeah, it's quite a lot. It's quite, it's quite a lot to take yeah. in. Yeah. Give me a shout um, when you get stuck, if you get stuck. But don't don't get hung on on exactly that one or exactly that one. No, you yeah. know it, it's and and just have a go, just have a go and play. And it, you know if it comes out slightly different. I mean, my two came out different. Yeah, but they, those, that's, those that's two, what you know, sand jewelry is about. Though, yeah, isn't it? absolutely. I couldn't make those two identical, but no. they're the same sort of feel. Well, if you are making that beautiful pendant, yeah. you're going to need a beautiful sterling silver chain. You are. You. So, um, yeah, you've got to squeeze this in because again, if you've done that. The, you want to put it on a silver chain. Do. Of course you do. Um, this you can customise because you have actually got a metre. So you've got a metre of your 925 sterling silver in a beautiful fine box chain. Um, doesn't quite do it justice on the spool, but yeah, it, it gives you beautiful luster. And of course you can customise it as well. So um, one metre, 2.4 grams. That means you can basically make at least two 18 inches, uh, neck, 18 inch necklace. Yeah. Necklaces and a matching <clears throat> bracelet if you wish. Or if you want to do one long line, <coughs> long line Sorry. necklace. Um, okay, let's, wow. 
It's not our price, really. Wow. Do you remember? Cast our mind back. The biggest quantity auction I've ever done here at Jewelry Maker, I know, was actually 2,000 quantity. Um, we sold out over 2,000. And I'm fairly sure it wasn't far off that price tag. What? what? Okay, so now you're beating that price tag, Russ. Russ. This is a meter. Yeah, the meter long sterling silver chain, which is the biggest quantity oh auction God. I've ever done. Yeah. Closed higher than that. So wow. if we had 2,000 of these, I reckon they'd all sell. There's 50. Okay. Wow. Now, we talked before. You can either, because this is, this is pure chain. Yeah. You can either um, solder onto the end of it. Yeah. Solder a loop onto the end crimp of it, it. whatever. Or you can crimp it, and it looks amazing, crimped. Because yeah. you get these loops of chain. Yeah. It looks stunning. And, and less likely to sort of rub away. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's 50 of those. That's the lowest price sterling wow. silver chain I think we've ever done. Uh, yeah. As in meter long length. Um, let's, let's do what, sorry? Jump rings. Oh, the big... Yeah. Oh, I love these. We launched them the other day. There are only 40 out of the 270 that we had the other day. Um, they are solid 925. And, and you could use these as components in yeah. what you just demoed, couldn't what you? What you could do... So, so I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to pinch one of those. Yeah. But I won't, I won't, I won't do it properly. So, whoops. I don't know if it... Yeah. Okay. So what you can do is you put your pliers in. You put your pliers in like that and you twist that way. Okay. I won't do it. And then you turn it over and you do the same and you'll end up with that toothpaste shape. Yeah. So you could make a pair like of a earrings. Leaf. It's like a leaf. Yeah. You can make a pair of earrings to go with your pendant. Oh, beautiful. And you've got that shape. And you just put a little bit of wire work inside with the remaining opals. It's be amazing. Seven grams of sterling I silver. Crazy. For, for £12.50. Those are such sorry, good Sorry, £12.99. Beg your pardon. I'm so surprised we've... we've uh, oh, there's a limited quantity got those there. there. Yeah, there's not many of them. Yeah, they flew Brilliant. out. And you'll notice as well, there's two different patterns. Yeah. So you get... Uh, two of the more rope twisted design and then two of the texture design. You could solder these, you could use them as jump rings, you could use them as individual pendants, incorporate them yep. into your wire work as well. Um, but yes, very, very, very limited now. So do make sure you check out your basket. Um, all our sterling silver, so components like this, chains, wire, I don't know, maybe, are we a little bit light on our sterling silver at the moment? We must be. I haven't, don't see it as often. No. Maybe, hopefully over the birthday we will. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully they're saving it. Fingers crossed. I've got the most beautiful earrings. I'm glad you said that, Ross. Uh, so how lovely are these? Here's me just... Oh, wow. Yeah, these are beautiful. Oh, they're gorgeous. I've not seen them before. No, nor me. So what, you get two of one design and then one of the other. Wow. All 925 sterling silver. With the little jump ring at the bottom, if I turn this one that way, you'll be able to see it a bit better then, won't you? Can you see that? They're just fabulous. Aren't they lovely? Yeah. So all you need to do is attach. Attach onto that jump ring at the wow. bottom. Or simply snip away and remove. <clears throat> Can I get out the box? Always out the box, you are. If you took, if you took one of those stars, yeah. opened it up a little bit, yeah. took, that, uh, took the loop around a ring mandrel, you could make yourself a little star ring. Yeah. That would work, wouldn't it? Yeah. 1999. That's for three pairs, mine. They're sterling silver. Three pairs of beautiful, solid 925 sterling silver earrings. I'm just They're quickly. They're so pretty. They're so beautiful. You know, if you're putting. Ah, oh, look at that. You've got plenty of opals left over. Put a little drop from below it. That would look amazing. Beautiful. And it's going to move and catch that colour. Love it. Love it. Love it. Wow. Um, yeah, we're running out of time. Well done, everybody. <laughs> How many did we have of these then, Roscoe? 50 available. Wow. If it's in your baskets, do make sure you check out. Um, 50 is not a massive quantity. <laughs> make sure... OK, anyway, we're running, we're running out of time today. <laughs> Alison, when are you back, lovely? Uh, I'm back on Saturday. Yay! Yeah, Have I'm back on Saturday. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, I can't. I the speed. Now, you put me on the spot. I do. We were. We were. 
And I can't remember. Oh, and gosh. You, get, uh, you, you seem excited. Got some amazing right. malas. I That's do know right. we've got some That's amazing right. malas. Um, now, I'm coming back bright and early tomorrow morning. I'm going to be joined by the lovely, lovely uh, Monica. We're going to do a closeout uh, um, showcase of your Clover selection. Um, and we've got Bursa Jade. Oh, um, wow. Yeah, loads. Beautiful kits. Have a lovely afternoon, everyone. We'll see you soon. Thank you.